Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. loud sorry <laughs> I'm excited because it's Debbie oh I feel so, feels like absolutely ages <laughs> how are you doing love now I'm good I'm a we bit made tired because it. it's January <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna say we made it we made it to the end of January we made it to the end of January we we made it to payday <laughs> we, we're here oh doesn't it feel like it's been like 997 days <laughs> of January. It really does, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, I, I like it when February comes because you can look forward to spring. Yes, me too. I got bought my first bunch of daffs. Yes. So you got to have a you got to have a bunch of daffs, I reckon. You do. Um, you really do. Through, as soon as they appear in the shop, they're only a quid, aren't they? Yeah. You know, and they're just little 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 flowers of happiness. They really are. I love daffodils. I bought them, and you know when they're just all closed up. Yeah. And they just look like sticks. Yeah. So when I was looking at them, going. Are they flowers? <laughs> just you wait. Just you wait. When they bloom, they're, they're just joyous. They are joyous. And they just, you come down and you buy them, like you say, sticks. And then you come down in the morning and they're like, hey, like that. Ah, I'm happy. Hello. Happy flowers. Um, oh, speaking of happiness, <laughs> um, this next five hours is just going to be pure happiness because we have got so many beautiful goodies in today's show. Gemstones that I don't often get the opportunity to talk about. The most amazing kits that we've been admiring on Facebook. Yeah, the kits are. I've been waiting to do this bead crochet. Oh! Because I love crochet. I taught myself and now my daughter wants to do it. It seems to be trendy at the minute, doesn't it, crochet? Does it? Um, and this is actually done with crochet stitches and thread. So it's not peyote or anything like that. It's actually crocheting with a hook to make these. So, I mean, you will have seen the one on the on the uh, the side there. That's a bit like we've done that with chips before. Yeah. Do you remember Katie Parker did yes. that lovely one? So that's that technique. But the technique I'm going to concentrate on is the necklace in the middle and the bracelet, which is actually... Oh. Um, a, a crochet stitch and once you get into it there's loads of different ways that you can you can do it so I'm going to go through some basics with you today Debbie that is so beautiful it's very mindful is it because you're just doing the set once you I get could started do with some mindfulness. <laughs> I, I was at yoga last night and at the last bit when you lie there I was nearly asleep and the woman next to me started snoring <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like my kind of yoga class I is wouldn't that, be that person <coughs> Excuse me, it's that January feeling, isn't it? <laughs> Amazing. Um, so, like, my sister-in-law crochets, mm. but obviously with wool. Oh, no, she can do that. So she could do this. If you already crochet, you'll be familiar with the terms. When I say slip stitch, chain stitch, you'll already know. But if you're not familiar with crochet, you don't have to, because it's a lovely... I mean, I could do it. <laughs> Anyone can do it. Um, it's a lovely mindful um, experience. That's why I got into crocheting with wool because once you get into this repetitive pattern, it's just repetitive and you keep going and keep going. And You know, it's one of those you can pick up and put down and pick up and 
nice. it down. It's really, really nice. I'm looking forward to that. So that's happening at 12 o'clock in your masterclass today, but yeah. also your nine o'clock kits. Oh, these beautiful brooch pins. Oh, they're so lovely. And do you know what's really trendy as well? My daughter was telling me, not that I'm trendy. You know when you, the little sort of beanie hats they wear? Yeah. You, you can put one of those in your beanie hat and the little tree one at the bottom, I thought would be a good tie pin. That would be lovely as a tie pin. You know, just yeah. to, because that's why I just did the little tree on its own quite plain because I thought that's quite unisex. Um, making quite the resurgence, aren't they? Brooch pins. They quite the brooches resurgence. are coming out. Now the nicest one I'm actually using to demo with and it's a little bee. Love it. Look at him. Oh, he's going to sell out in a heartbeat, isn't he? Absolutely beautiful. So these are coming up at nine o'clock. You haven't got too long to wait for that. You've also got... I'll, I've been nagging, nagging <laughs> and nagging, I, I literally have, to bring this gemstone to you. And Ross will, will agree, I've just sent him just, I don't know how many photographs on, on PowerPoint. Um, I'm talking about Amalite. I adore Amalite, and I know so many of our audience do, um, but we ha I, I can't remember the last time we actually brought you Amalite here at Jewelry Maker. It has been a very, very, very long time. And that's not, you know, um, not Jewelry Maker's fault, fault, quite frankly. When I was over in Tucson last year, and the team are there right now, I had the opportunity to uh, meet Tom. Who's, who literally is there right. at the Am the only Amalite mine in the world. Oh, really? It's a one-locational gemstone, <gasps> yeah. And, and many people argue it's the rarest gem in the world. Um, so, yeah, there's lo lots of people that I think a few gemstones battle for that, yeah. uh, for that title. But it's certainly up there, shall we say. But it's just fascinating, this gemstone, its occurrence, how it forms, and why it is only found in one location. And so not only... We can literally take you through a history lesson today. So Ooh, good. not only have we got... Amalite, the overall the gemstone, which only five percent of the world's amalite, not ammonite, amalite is actually of this quality. So we're talking mm. about real scarcity. We also have the ammonite shells as well. So I'm thinking here, guys, if you've got children, if you've got yeah. grandchildren or people that maybe do school projects, yeah. they will be the coolest kids ever if they're bringing in something like this. Show it's literally prehistoric. This is like 65 million <gasps> years of age. It's just so cool, isn't it's it? Very cool. So cool. Um, that's the fossil, the ammonite. The gemstone, the ammonite. Oh, I was going to ask you that. We'll explain that. What, oh, you know, I what's see. the difference between the two? And I'm also going to say this is this is double A graded, which is the best that you can get. Um, we'll talk about that. The, oh, you've got that. the chromatic shift. <clears throat> Excuse me, you've got the multiple colours. Amazing quality we have for you today, lovely jewellery makers. Honestly, I'm really excited to uh, to bring this to you. Also, we've got the most amazing... I just got a little bit of fluff in my eye. <laughs> The most amazing garnet selection. I love garnet. Uh, it's no secret that one of my all-time favourite gemstones is Zavarite garnet. Um, have you seen the sizes? Of, well, no, you won't have done. Let me show you the size of the Zavarite garnet that you have today. It is absolutely gigantic. Here is a gemstone that ordinarily forms in really granular sizes. Um, um, granular sizes. And, and the heart, of course, have that amazing, vibrant green. Discovered the same time as Tanzanite. Really? Yeah, so quite a recent discovery. Um, astonishingly expensive, ordinarily, not today. We've also got your grossulas. We've got some lovely hessonite garnets to bring you as well. So it's a real, sh it's, a, it's a show of really mixed gemstones, which I'm really excited about. Yeah. Plus, we've got the most amazing pearls to bring you as well. Um, we've got, oh, God, honestly, where do I start? Where do I start? Um, do you know what it looks like? It looks like a lovely shop looking over there. Okay. Like, I want to stand and look in the shop window. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, Ross was just saying, the one to your left, I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite myself at the moment, so I do apologise. <laughs> left, left. Yeah. Oh, that left. <laughs> Oh, oh, look at the box. Oh. Look at the box. I know, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. We were discussing pearls earlier on, weren't we, Ross? And oh. just saying that, you know, how universal, how timeless, but also just how amazing the quality of our pearls are. Oh. I genuinely 
don't think you can you could source your pearls from anywhere better than jewelry maker to be honest i never have. they come with the cla uh, clasp and they come with the thread oh, wow. um i'll put my teeth in in a minute um so yeah you can literally this was one of the christmas day um auction opportunities um and we have the final remaining quantity uh, really okay there's 23 available um, Ross, is that what I is this what I I saw on my sheet? You know when you're not expecting it to be. I'm going to show. Look at the quality. I don't think you can find pearls that are much better than that, mm -hmm. and I genuinely believe that. This is coming from someone that's worked with pearls for yes. 24 years. Yeah. Let me just put that down for a second. It comes literally boxed like so. I'm just going to. I'm I'm gobsmacked. Ross, because when I'm prepping for the show, I wasn't expecting them to... No, not at all. Can you believe that? There should be a zero on the end. Oh, what that... What a be and did you say you get the clasp as well? Yeah, you get this too. Oh, you get that... Do you? Okay, that's amazing. That Oh, that's really, really good. Um, Ross, I'm, can I buy these? Oh, they're so beautiful. Are we allowed as staff to buy these? Yeah. Yeah, why wouldn't we? Uh, that they are unbelievable. And uh, listen, I don't want to spoil the surprise, but I will tell you it's probably one of the best deals you've ever seen. <laughs> ever so, seen. Look at the colour of them. The quality of those. But they, they, they're so perfect, they almost look, and I, do, I can't believe I'm saying this out loud, they almost look fake. They're not fake. Yeah, I agree. They're that perfect, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Coming up at nine o'clock, lovely jewellery makers, so not too long to wait for those. Plus, let me show you your early bird as well, because it's a whopper. It's a whopper. Oh, again, you know, when you're just like, I was not expecting it to be this big, Ross. I wasn't expecting the citrine <gasps> to be the size. <laughs> that we, It's a whopper, isn't it? It's absolutely huge. Oh, that is a real I mean, right someone there. give the Princess of Wales a call because she's a <laughs> massive fan of this gemstone. <laughs> yeah. And I bet hers aren't this big. So unbelievable cool. and also let's bring, let's bring the sibling in shall we beautiful amethyst these are coming up within your early bird remember lovely jewelry makers it is lounge hour so all of these items well not the pearls there at nine o'clock um these items are coming up within this hour you can shop ahead and you can pre-order you can guarantee your place knowing that everybody will pay that final low price tag again just unbelievable absolutely unbelievable deals for you today i'm so excited about today's show just because the the real mixture that you've got as well in store i think we've got a gemstone for absolutely everyone um let's get cracking shall we yeah. right we'll get cracking with your beautiful creations it's the wall of fame Focus, I'll focus. Focus, focus. <laughs> Stop thinking about I'm the still pearls. Talk, still talking about those pearls. <laughs> um, starting us off this morning, speaking of beautiful pearls, Julia. Hello, oh. my darling. I love that design, that beautiful pearl scarf. And they're the little donuts on just. Oh, oh yes. What a clever idea. That looks really classy and beautiful. Amazing. Oh, what a lovely design. Beautiful, Julia. Julia says, hi, all at JM. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame draw. Um, I love these green jasper donuts mm. at the end of this simple long line pearl marla that can be knotted. I hope you like it too. Lots of love. Uh, Julia, we love it. We do. We love absolutely it. love it. I have number 65, which is from Leslie. Oh, beautiful, Leslie. Look at that. And also, can I just say, incredible photography to get yeah. that close. Uh, my entry to the Wall of Fame is a full Persian chainmail bracelet using jewellery maker jump rings um, and tutored by Laura Binding. Absolutely stunning. Wow, and I bet that took a while. Yeah, I can't get my head around. No matter how many times I try, I can't do chainmail. Me neither. Can't do it. Number 66 is from Kathy. Good morning, Kathy. Oh, that's pretty, Kathy. And Kathy is saying, here's my entry to the Wall of Fame. Rose quartz and labradorite clover necklace. Beautiful. Uh, lurking in the back is a nephrite necklace I Ooh. made a while back. Oh, it's lovely. I like the layering look. So do I. Um, the clover necklace has seed bead spaces. No class was both are over the head. All components are from Jewelry Maker. I'm loving wearing these necklaces with the shirt. They go perfectly together. They do. It looks absolutely amazing. And I'm the same. I'm with you, Kathy. I don't often put a clasp on these days. I just tend to, if I can, I'll go over the top of the head. Me just too. Easier. And I Isn't love layering as well. Yeah, me too. Um, here we are. I'm going to pass those to you. Ooh, there we are. 
I need my glasses for this. Put your, put your specs on or your bins. My dad used to call them so bins. So did mine. So did mine. Why are they by bins? I have no idea. So I've got number 67, which is Viv Thode. I hope I've said it correctly. Hi, all. Just wanted oh, to show you. Oh. There you go. Oh, wait. I just wanted to show you how many pieces I've made with the Lucky Charms paper clips, silver bracelet and gems that arrived last week. I added two jump rings to the bracelet so I could fasten first, then slide over the hand and attach the Amazon Amazonite bead to it. Unfortunately, the picture doesn't show the soft green of the bead. I attached the oval to my own long silver chain with a lark's head knot. The 7 mil pearl to my paperclip necklace bought last year, the 6 mil pearl to chain to make a bracelet, and finally made the 30 inch long overhead necklace with a cylinder shape, and I did 4 mil adventuring and agate dark green beads, all from JM, and under 30 pounds, not bad, eh? Not bad at all, Viv. What gorgeous makes you think? Is that all from one kit? I didn't see that. <coughs> Where was I? I'm loving that green. <laughs> beautiful. Number 67. Absolutely beautiful. Good luck. And I've got number 68, which is Margaret Eunice. Here are this weekend's makes. Earrings with tiny emeralds and chrome diopside. And earrings with striped <coughs> blue chal chalcedony and amber. 100% from JM. Good luck, Woffers. Oh, I love earrings. Look, I love what gorgeous colours on yeah, those beautiful. gemstones. Yeah, beautiful. And so wearable as well, Margaret. Love those. Ah, 69. Hi, Mandy. I know Mandy. I used to work with Mandy. Hi, Mandy. It's Mandy Alexander. Hi, everyone. I thought I'd show you all a recent make. It's a long line, over-the-head rosary link necklace made using neon appetite and peach adventuring with rose gold coloured copper wire for the links. This was my first jewellery make of 2023 and my first entry to the WAF for a while. All components are from JM. Good luck to everyone entering the wall this week kind regards mandy that's beautiful she's such a clever lady she can do cards clearly jewelry what a beautiful photo as well yeah and for, uh, yeah exactly and she's a Look great photographer as well yeah mandy multi-talented a woman of many <laughs> talents good luck everybody good, good luck, luck everybody um <clears throat> yeah don't forget you can uh, it's lounge hour so you have until the top uh, the top of nine o'clock or usually it's just a little bit over and those pills are coming up just after don't forget those beautiful cut stones are within this hour as well so you can shop ahead and pre-order on those um, <clears throat> do I have a big bundle of pills I most certainly do <laughs> I certainly do I'm gonna just borrow my star by sheet for a second just because I want to show you the pills literally <coughs> on the white background am I meant to have all this yes goodness me I, I, I've said it multiple times and I'll say it again. Genuinely, if you love pearls, there is nowhere better to purchase your pearls from, in my eyes, than here at Jewelry Maker. I think we buy pearls impeccably well. Um, the quality, I mean, literally, look. Look at that luster. They are they are absolutely beautiful. Um, absolutely beautiful. They're sizable as well. You're looking at South Sea pearls. Ooh. Doesn't get much better than your South Sea pearls. Um, basically, they are uh, well, they're, they're harvested, if you like, um, off the coast of Australia, um, and they're deaverish pearls. They will only be harvested in a very small location. However, those efforts do pay off. You get the most incredible luster, and arguably, these are the most valuable pearls in the world. I want deaverish pearls. And me. <laughs> I just look, every time I look at a South Sea pearl, I think, oh, Mariah Carey's. They're little Mariah Careys, aren't they? They're literally <laughs> the divas um, of the whole world. Um, you're not just getting that, those, though. Now, look, the graphics are already on your screens. Look at how many you're getting. I mean, you could pr practically make, I would imagine, actually, almost a full... You definitely can. Let me scrap that. You definitely can, because, look, you've got the clasp. You've got the sterling silver chain. And you've got all these lovely links. Sorry, Roscoe, I wasn't ignoring. What, what were you saying? Has always... Uh, yeah, because Charlie launched these, didn't he? These were a Charlie Barron launch. I was with him when he actually brought these to air the first time round. Um, now, get them gone, says Wayne from Jaipur. They've always closed at £499. Can I ask a question, please? Mm -hmm. You know those links? Are they sterling silver? They certainly are. What, and you get all of them? All of those. 33 grams worth of sterling silver. Whoa. That's sterling silver, sterling silver with your extender chain. Yeah, these are hammered on both sides, 925. And you're getting all of these amazing pearls. That is the lowest price by an absolute country oh, mile. Wow. We're actually saving you £200 today. <gasps> and that was already an amazing deal. Um, yeah, Charlie Barron. These are Charlie Barron pearls. Oh, right. That's you know, um, so, yeah, I had the privilege of, uh, of, of um, joining him on the show when he actually launched this for the very first time. And, and it was a long line, really beautiful long line necklace oh. that was created out of this kit. It's a, it's a very luxurious kit, effectively. How many have we got then, Roscoe? 
Six, okay, there are only six available. I can see you on the web, make sure you do check them out. You can still, even though we've reduced the price significantly, um, you can still get hold of it on your split payment as well. And they are huge, baroque, uh, huge South Sea pearls in that lovely baroque shape, which so many people um, are, are, are absolutely loving at the moment. You know that um, event I went to last Friday, there was a lot of baroque pearls there. Were there? Yeah, lots That's and lots. That's what I'd have been doing, looking at everyone's jewellery. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I was more interested in the jewellery. I'll be honest, more interested in the jewellery than I was the celebs. Yeah, um, I would. <laughs> Amazing. They're about to sell out. Well done. Let's stick with your beautiful pearls, shall we? And I sent you a slide, didn't I, earlier on, Roscoe? It, came, it, popped, up, it popped up on my memories because it was literally a year this week that I was over in Tucson. And, and I know I've said to you that over in Tucson, they sell pearls individually. Um, and I was kicking myself because I didn't actually get a photograph of it, but I did take a video and it popped ah. up on my... Um, it's, it's a terrible photo because it's literally... I've screenshotted it during a, um, during a video. Um, you know, when you do like one of those yeah. Instagram videos or yeah. something like that. Um, but you will see them literally displayed like so, sold as individuals. And I can tell you they were not 49 99 Pearls are, ex are really expensive, and they were particularly so last year. They're going to be exactly the same um, um, now because it's going to take a good 10 years to regenerate, if you like, the uh, harvest of pearls that was decimated quite literally during pa the pandemic. Um, you're looking at a beautiful keshi, so this is pure nacre. There's no nucleated bead in the center of this. Um, and we're going to do a closeout deal. We've got 30 chances. So here they are. Here's that photograph. I, I know it's dreadful. I know it's dreadful. That was literally done on my phone. You might remember me tagging you all. Um, but that's how they sold them, as individual pearls. Not at 49.99, though. They were much more than that. And that's at wholesale. Who wants a closeout deal today? It comes within the box itself. It is half drilled. Let me just double check that. Yes, half drilled. Oh, it says on the graphics. So all you need to do is put your, your pendant... I've got one like this, and I just put the little bale in the top. Yeah. And I have a little chain, but quite a, a, a short chain. And do you know, I wear it all, all the time. time. Because you can have one of these, and then you can have other pearls yes. that are longer. And then, or even your silver necklaces, or you go, if you're going to do gold. So you can layer. Do you know what I love about this one, the colour? It's beautiful, isn't it? It's like an apricot and purple. But yeah, you can see the purples yeah. and the lilacs in there. Beautiful. And then you get a hint of the pistachio light greens. It's totally natural. This is not bleached and dyed. You know, once upon a time, we used to bring you dyed pearls. There's not a problem with that at all, as long as no. you know what you're getting, uh, you know what you're purchasing. This isn't dyed, it's Mother Nature coloured. We're going to do a close-out deal. We've got 30 available opportunities. I mean, how beautiful would these be in earrings, literally just attached to um, a shepherd hook? I'm all over these opportunities. We've closed it much higher than what you're about to see. That's, that's, that's a steal. That's an absolute steal, <laughs> isn't it? Because they're not. it's not a small keshi. These... <laughs> You can't call a keshi a natural pearl. It's the most natural of cultured pearls, if that makes sense. Because yes. no pearl you can say is natural because it's they're initiated, if that yeah, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they are all cultured. However, a keshi is not initiated. There's no nuclear speed in there. These amazing little stowaways form on their own accord. <laughs> they are. Oh, how lovely. Look, what a good story they behind are. your jewellery, though. When yes. You, say, you, know, you can tell people that, can't you? I love yes. that. Yeah. You know, you, you've got this story. I know I'm always going on about this. I've been going on about it for years. But to have that story, and it doesn't have to just be a story like, oh, this is a bee and it represents this, but actually the story of the gemstone, yes. the story of the pearl. Amazing. It's fascinating. And because they fall, they're, 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 they're flat, that's because they actually form alongside the mollusk shell. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you put a nucleus bead into, an, uh, uh, say, an oyster, for example, to start, a cult start culturing a pearl. But that wasn't done with a keshi. It's literally done out of its own accord. Um, £19.99. Make sure you check out. Hello, Claire, Gabrielle, Kim, Patricia, Sandria. Uh, hello to you, Devon. Congratulations. Coming up, I'm super, super, super excited about this opportunity. We have um, beautiful, beautiful ammonites coming up, and they're all obviously going to be very different. Um, I've learned, I've learned actually in my preparation for today's show that, yeah, basically as they grow, they get another coil. So they grow compartments, ammonites, oh, or rather they did, I should say, because they existed 65 million years ago. Um, and they were like little squid. 
like a little squid-like creature. Look at that amazing irides iridescence. So just fascinating. It's absolutely so cool. These are coming up in the 11 o'clock hour. Um, now, I, I, when I spoke to I'm going to give you a little bit of inside information. See, I have been nagging Wayne for this showcase. And he actually said, look, you've got it. Uh, um, I'll put it in today's show. Mm. He said, if it goes well, then we'll do, we'll, you know, I'll buy some big, big, big quantities and everything. He says, but if it goes well, that, there's a key in, key in that statement, I suppose. I'm sure it will, because I think it's just one of the coolest stones, uh, gemstones um, and stories in existence. It's coming up. You haven't got too long to wait. So that's at 11 o'clock, isn't it, Roscoe? Yeah, 11 o'clock. Um, so make sure you stay with me for that. Well done to everybody that managed to get hold of that beautiful Keshi. Uh, shall we do the strand? Oh, I love it. I'm just going to borrow this for a second. Mm -hmm. There's only two left. Oh, look at the colour of that. Yes. Yeah, this bust isn't going to be big enough, actually. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to hold it a little bit up here as well. Um, but look, this is all totally and utterly natural. Olmec jadeite comes from Guatemala. It's the only location in the world that forms in this wonderful blue. Um, and <coughs> you get, um, yes, the, I, agree, I agree. I agree. Ross has just said this is the best run I think jewelry maker has ever have, had. I, I don't disagree with you there, Ross, because you've got just the most beautiful translucency, haven't you? You can even double this over, look. Um, most beautiful translucency, and that is all natural colour, so it's not been dyed in any way, shape or form. The lost treasure of Guatemala, it was literally lost for 450 years until husband and wife team, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the Ridingers, found this, rediscovered this gemstone. Now, what we're about to take it to is no reflection of the true value of this gemstone. You can pop along to the Ridinger's website themselves. Um, and I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. They, the, the necklaces I've seen on their website, it's not as good a quality. It's not. Um, and you're still paying thousands upon pounds for this gemstone. We are not in thousands of pounds. Already we're at £799. You can get hold of it today on your split payments for £199.75. It's the beautiful translucency that you're seeing within this. Look, there we go. I can show you. Um, here's the Rainforest necklace. 560, I beg your pardon, $569. However, look how it's a coarse texture. Does that make sense? You can actually see the texture of each of those beads. Not yeah. ideal, really. Still beautiful, don't get me wrong and I love how they've actually ombre it um, but ideally you for Olmec jadeite you want it to have this color you want it to be almost grand digerite esque mm. um, and the more of it the better look at the quality that you are getting it is actually a long line necklace that you can wear over the top of your head there's no clasp involved in this so as we were just saying if you are a lazy jewelry uh, jewelry <coughs> woman like myself um, <laughs> you should just pop it over the top of your head we've got two of these available for the last two in existence it would be entirely complacent of me to suggest that we'll be able to replace this. Who wants this under £500 today? Yeah, do you know, you can buy diamonds, you can buy sapphires, rubies, emeralds. You can. You can get all of those gemstones on the high street. This is one of the world's rarest treasures. And like I said, it lay undiscovered for 450 years. Wow. We knew it existed, but we didn't know where it was. To, this really is treasure. That's the thing. It really is treasure. It looks like Indiana Jones discovered it. Yeah. It's weird you say that. Doesn't it, though? Because that character is based on the Ridingers. Are you serious? I'm, I'm deadly serious. <laughs> Honestly, there you go then. It is literally based on the riding. I can imagine. Oh, okay. I was just going to say. I can imagine. I'm sorry. I can see. I can see before you do on the on the monitor. But I was going to say. I can imagine that they had that hat on that he yeah. wears, and then that popped up like proper treasure hunters yeah imagine finding that treasure i know that we, we knew it, it, it was there we knew it was in guatemala we didn't know where in guatemala though okay um so they literally followed a map and it, this this article kind of look x marks the spot you know, it was not that simple. We are talking about vast, dense Guatemalan rainforest yeah, here. Yeah. Um, so they had to move along tectonic plates and everything just to basically find the location. Um, you can remember, it was lost for 450 years. There is one of these left. I can see two of you with it in your basket. Again, you're talking about the story. This has got one of the cooler stories behind it. Uh, yeah, I mean, quick, get the Indiana Jones treasure. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 exactly, exactly. Uh, that is amazing. Well, the, the, 
there are masks displayed in the Smithsonian Museum of Guatemalan jade. Right. Um, oh, there it is. Wow. So we knew that jade formed in this Olmec blue. We knew it came from Guatemala, but where was it? Because the, literally the locals actually guarded it with their lives until that civilization died out. Ah. Um, so yeah, only rediscovered quite recently in the 1980s by the Ridingers themselves. Um, yeah, if you are the custodian, and I truly think we, we, don't, we don't own something like this. You do, but you know what I mean. Mm. Um, we are the custodians of something like this. We, we pass this on to future generations. What a story. Because it is, it is museum worthy. I mean, this is, yeah, it's got one of the most exciting stories, I think, in, in the gemstone world. Um, and yeah, when people ask you about it, you can say, yeah, this is jade, genuine type A jadeite. And it, um, it's sourced from the only place in the world that produces this Olmec blue. Um, and, and, and tell them the wonderful story of the riding as a hub husband and wife team we're over allocated on that one get it home use your 30 day money back guarantee that's an absolute steal let me show you again just because you know it, it is a lovely long line necklace that you can literally just pop over the top of your head there is only one of those left now so um well done to the person that actually gets hold of that and i tell you what while you're at it if you're treating yourself it's january do it you deserve all the treats January is rubbish enough as it is, isn't it? <laughs> um, uh, do I? Yes, I do. I love this. Um, oh. Guatemalan Olmec jade eye in an archer ring. But can you notice how it's got the like square edges? I love this shape. Yeah, me too. I love this shape. Ami, and it's so difficult. That's literally carved out of one piece of jade. I didn't know we did this shape. The ones I've got are sort of the round The D-shaped. D-shaped, yeah. yeah. D-shaped. We've got the last nine. And at 999, it's a great deal. Look at that translucency. Can you imagine carving by hand, by hand, this beautiful piece? No. Three have already gone. No, I'd, I'd break I mean, it. Can you imagine? I'd break it. Clumsy, clumsy year. We're going to go straight down to the price because these have already been snapped up. I love this one. We all say about this shape. I love this shape. I just think it's quite modern. It's got a little bit of a modern mm. twist. Five carats, type A. Claire McDonald's, yeah, she's got the D-shaped one. Um, £79 only. Oh, that's super good. It is. It's called an archer ring. And uh, that's because um, it, it, at olden times when we used to obviously use sort of bow and arrow, um, archers would wear it on their thumb to stop getting blisters, basically. So it's an oh. archer ring, um, but very, very difficult and challenging to actually carve. If you think about a bangle, then multiply that by I don't know how many. Once these have gone, they have gone. Um, I should imagine you, they lose the, uh, the carving carvers actually lose so much yeah. um, during that cutting process. London, you've got yours. Norfolk, well done to you, multi-buying. I've got Tina, Elaine and Maker there. Once they've gone, they've gone. That is a closeout deal on this opportunity. I love this side, uh, this shape rather. Look at that translucency and again, uber rare. Uber, uber, uber rare. Not many people on this planet could say that they actually own Olmec Jadeite. Full stop. Mm. But <clears throat> probably even... More so, not many people on this planet will be able to say that they actually own an, an, an Olmec Jadeite ring. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. bangles are probably more, yeah. more fruitful than yeah. the archer rings themselves. Tina, well done, lovely. You've got yours, not leaving anything to chance. You can get it home for £26.33. pence. I mean, seriously. Seriously, we shouldn't be able to source gemstones of this rarity with, you know, with, with, with that amount of money. Um, once they're gone, they're gone. Hello, Gabrielle, my lovely. I can see you there as well. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And I don't mean to sound sort of blasé, but we can all, you know, we can source many of the other gemstones. We can get diamonds, absolutely. You can get them on the high street, your local high street. But to get Guatemalan jadeite is not so easy. Um, have I what, sorry? I love this strand. It's beautiful. I'm going to borrow this bust again. Sorry, Anne and Sue. I'll put that back. In fact, this would look lovely with the, uh, with the garnets that we've got coming up in the 10 o'clock hour today. This strand is beautiful. So you're actually sourcing two shapes, um, two strands, if you will. You've got a mixture of your four millimetre rounds and these lovely columns. Isn't that lovely, oh, Debbie? That's absolutely lovely. They're perfect together, those two shapes. And like, if you think that you'd often put a spacer bead in between, wouldn't you? Yeah. But to be able to have your spacer bead, in inverted commas, in 
that material in Taipei Jade is incredible. Yeah, I agree. I'm tempted to put the Zavarite in this as well. That would be gorgeous. Wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. That's Maybe put... a very, very posh piece of jewellery. Oh, right posh. There. Very, very posh. Very, posh. You could go to your, to your celebrity dues with that on, that piece of jewellery. And I reckon you'd probably have nicer jewellery. There you go. I've said it. I've said Ooh. it. I reckon you would. Um, I was quite surprised, actually, jewellery makers, by just how many celebrities who were wearing costume jewellery. Nothing wrong with costume jewellery. Nothing wrong with costume jewellery. But I was thinking of all you guys at home thinking, well, are they wearing Taipei Jade Eye? Are they? You know, I think you'd have all knocked socks off them, quite frankly. We're at 39.99. 39.99. How? That you're right. Ross has just said that's a costume jewellery price point, isn't it? For a gemstone yeah. steeped in history, uber rare, uh, and also inaccessible, inaccessible. Harry Redknapp was lovely and his wife, Sandra. Oh, no, I can imagine that they would. They were very sweet. Mm. And they knew Chloe. Oh, right. They knew Chloe because Chloe's dad, Chloe, uh, head of TV Chloe's dad is, um, um, was he a football manager? Yeah, ex-Premier League football manager. Oh, right. So they knew each other, which was always quite oh, nice. I'm just nice. stood there like a lemon in the middle. <laughs> Going, oh, oh, my I chair don't. just went down. Can you explain the offside <laughs> rule? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, not knowing at all what they were going on about. Um, snap these up. That's a mad deal. Did you bump your head, Ross, at that price point? I'm not quite sure we should have gone that low. $39.99. How many were available? Oh, they've sold out. Oh, there we go. No That's wonder. how many. That's how many. Um, amazing. Okay, moving on. Rounds. Big rounds, little rounds. Oh, they're, oh, no, that's angel light. I actually thought that angel light was jade out then. Oh, this is lovely. Six millimetre, plain rounds. This would be nice as well alongside your columns or maybe you wanted to mix some jade eye in with your zavarite. And stretchies. Oh, good old stretchies. Daisy, my daughter, made loads of stretchies for her friends and she kept the jade one. <laughs> I don't blame her. She raided my stash. I love, and, uh, she loves her friends, but you yeah. know, they ain't having the jade. And she's just got this jade, six mil, or it might be eight mil um, stretchy and she wears it all the time. She even hides it. I hope none of her teachers are watching under her school uniform, you know, because you're not supposed to wear jewellery. And she just said, I, lo I like Jade, Mum. I don't know why. I just like the colour. Yes. Who doesn't? I, funny enough, I gave my niece a piece of Jade a couple of days ago and she messaged me. She's like, so pretty. Yeah, it's something so about, pretty. she went, there's something about it and feel it. And I went, I know I've worked with a lot of Jade. <laughs> She's like, feel it, feel it. I don't know what it is, Mum. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the, that's not a new thing, is it? We've thought that, we've believed that for literally thousands of years. Again, seriously, Ross, are you all right? <laughs> $39.99. You're right, mate. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? $39.99. Like, these have to be some of the lowest prices we've ever done on Burmese Jade. It's good though, isn't it? Oh, it's really so good. good. It is going to be an exciting show though. So hang on, let me just take this off the, off the bus for a second. I'm going to pop it on the back of my hand. Because can you imagine this piece of jewellery? Can you imagine? <gasps> Stop it. <laughs> I know. Oh, Wait, that. I'm about to make it even better because I'm going to put the most beautiful Groschilla. This is almost Demantoid-esque in its colour. And I, I, do you know, I might I might even say it is Demantoid because it's got that wonderful zesty green. Can you imagine that as a piece of jewellery? And you want green at this time of the year. Yes. You're opening your heart. You know, if you're thinking about chakras and you, you've got the green. And we're at yoga last night. We inhaled green into our heart, chakra said the hippie. Uh, we did, and it was lovely because you've been all surrounded by winter, haven't you? And all of the leaves, well, most of the leaves have gone. And then you're starting to think about spring and opening out. And, oh, it's gorgeous. So I think all the greens are just what you love. I, I, I love What did I say? No, I love it. No, what I did I say? It. You were saying it so poetically, and I was like, oh, Opening the heart, opening and bringing in, breathing in the green <laughs> and the cold. Oh, and the cold! <laughs> no, it was warm in there. I had a blanket on. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. $39.99. Why is there a clock on our screens, Ross? Um, sorry, was I being naughty then and not listening to what you were saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's Debbie's fault. She lost me in a in a spring inhaling poetry. Cold. Inhaling green and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> $39.99. Anyone who is there last night goes, we were, we were inhaling green. <laughs> oh, Back me up. <laughs> $39.99. What are you going to do, Ross? <laughs> there was a big pause. There was. He, Ross forgot what he was doing there for a second. 
Is that it's all, it's all that talk it's about inhaling green? That's inhaling really green. what it was. Lost Ross for a moment there. <laughs> Twenty nine ninety nine. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> Amazing. How many have we got of these available? Uh, okay, nine. <laughs> I think, Ross, are you all right? Are you OK? He's very subdued. Oh, he said, I made a mistake. I'm trying to get it fixed. OK. You may OK. Oh, and tomorrow. OK, no problem. You've got time to sort it then, haven't we? Not an issue. Um, 29.99, Linda. Well done, darling, because that has to be one of the lowest prices I think we've done on Taipei Burmese Jadeite. Six millimetre plane rounds, the most perfect shape, perfect size. You know, the most desired shape size. I think we're missing digits on that on that price point. So, yeah, but make the most of it. Uh, Capitalise on um, uh, Ross's current state of mind, I have to say, <laughs> because I don't think under £30 as usual. <laughs> Amazing. Um, Warren, hello to you. Maker, Paul, Lorna, Janet, Linda, multi-buying. I'm surprised this hasn't even sold out already. It should have done, to be truthful. Um, this with maybe, uh, again, those pearls. How beautiful would it be with those pearls? Yeah. How about it teamed alongside some absolutely gorgeous Hessonite garnet? Oh, that's the match made in heaven right there. Isn't it? Yeah, those in between, beautiful. I'm just going to warm it all up ever so slightly. I'm going back to your conversation. You can then now, just inhale I? warmth. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. I like the idea of that. Uh, breathing in the sunshine. Oh, uh, yes, lovely Hessonite garnet, twenty nine ninety nine. You can get to, for not. It's crazy. That's actually crazy. I can't believe we went as low as we did. Um, hello to you, Elsa in Gwent. Hello to you, Linda in Hampshire. Lorna in Fife. Um, again, up and down the UK. Good morning, lovely jewelry makers. I hope you're all well. Um, make sure you do check out because these are mad 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 deals and don't forget your early birds which are coming up this absolutely gigantic beautiful honey citrine in the most amazing emerald cut that mark was talking about yesterday actually emerald cut um how he loves it me too um so it's a whopper that's coming up you can shop ahead and pre-order on your um on your citrine also you've got the most beautiful opportunity of your amethyst these are part of your early bird um, remember that this hour only runs until nine o'clock technically speaking and then each and every single one of these deals will disappear and this will revert back to its original price so 29.99 i think i think you know at some point we'll realize that was far too low so make the most of it um multi buy maybe to create a really nice rope over the head necklace oh, i think yes. that would be pretty wouldn't it amazing 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 london congratulations stay where you are shall we do some lovely pears in your jade eye. Oh, we don't see this shape very often, do we? They are going to be on and gone, says Ross. Look at the price I'm doing on these, he says. Okay. Checkable faceted pears. They'd be lovely in earrings, wouldn't they? Or maybe yeah, at the bottom would. of the tassels. Oh, oh, oh. Behave. You can make a jade flower. Oh. There'd be petals would be nice, wouldn't they? It's wire work. Just twist them individually until you've got five, seven, nine petal flower. And you could have that on the side of a long line necklace. Oh, beautiful. Really and we rarely ever see this cut. No. Rarely ever see this cut. It's checkerboard faceted on both sides. I'm thinking back to, uh, was it Julia who created that lovely pearl scarf necklace? I mean, mm -hmm. if you wanted these on the bottom of the tassels, how lovely would that oh, be? Yeah. They're amazing there is only 10 available so we're going to kind of pick up the pace somewhat um do shop on the website let's bring you some lovely uh um some lovely squares again same applies we don't often see we don't often see this cut um of jadeite you've got to remember imagine when you're looking at one of the world's rarest gemstones which i was actually researching because it does change doesn't it the top five world's rarest gemstones jadeite is still up there is it of course yeah still up there as is granted you're right um, Grand Didurite has jumped up actually because the mining location has um, is is no longer operational. Um, but yeah, astonishingly expensive, and the same will apply with jadeite. It's going to jump up in rarity, and and it certainly has done in terms of its price point. We don't often bring you cuts like this. I would describe them as maybe your specialist or uh, specialist cuts. Really beautiful. You've got that kind of flat table facet at ninety nine ninety nine. No way near, says Ross. You've got black jadeite in this strand. The colours of these are amazing and they should be, just, some of them are moss and snow. Um, you've definitely got some of your black jadeite, which is the oldest 
colour of jade out in the world, it shouldn't be under 20 quid. Again, these deals are absolutely mad this morning. Um, just setting you up for what will be an exciting, exciting Tuesday morning show. <laughs> I am, I can't wait. But nice little punctuations, aren't they? They're lovely. I think I'd ignore the drill hole and just bezel nice. around them. Nice. Treat them as cabochons? Yes. Lovely. Yeah, because they'd sit beautifully on the hand, wouldn't they, they'd as rings? They'd be lovely as rings, yeah. Can you imagine? Or you know, a bracelet, you could uh, treat them as cabochons, bezel set them and then link them together. So beautiful. So you had them sort of the silver there punctuating the gemstone, that would be so nice. Amazing, yeah. great idea, because you know, this is a parcel. Mm -hmm. This is a parcel of, uh, of gemstones. Eight by eight millimetres in their size, I mean, that's crazy. They're, what's that working out at each? Probably about a pound, about a pound <laughs> per jadeite, which is just crazy. Um, totally natural colour. Well done. Make sure you check out on those. There's a lot of you there. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Um, oh, we've got a lovely selection of gemstones if you've just tuned in. Um, let's bring now different direction of drill hole, which does make a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, it really Oh, look at that one. Look at that one there. Isn't that beautiful? You've got some pure white jadeite. Got some of the lovely dark green jadeites, but they lay so beautifully They're on the so back. They're so comfortable. They sit together and they kind of move like a little. You remember those wooden snake toys the kids used to have yes. years ago? And they, the way they sort of undulate. And so when you have those on your wrist, you don't really know you're wearing them. No. No, it's like, yeah, it's beautifully engineered, isn't it? Mm. Amazing engineering. It just undulates. And so you haven't got anything sort of that irritates the skin at all it, it you could just wear it and not even know it was there i, I think your daisy would like this i think she would yeah yeah i think she'd like this one yeah checkerboard faceting as debbie was just saying across both sides um should we do it again i don't know why i don't know why ross is uh i i, I i'm a bit concerned to be truthful <laughs> if we should be taking them under 20 pounds but you're the boss ross you're the man in the know. He says you've only got 14 minutes, though, to make these confirmations. Um, yeah, under £20. Please know that's no reflection of the true value or worth. You can't get hold of Burmese jadeite at the moment. Um, <clears throat> you know, Sally Hure is a shining example of that, who literally, her life, her legacy has been in jadeite, and her team are actually working with type B and C, the treated varieties of jadeite. You're sourcing totally natural for £20. It's just ludicrous. Um, Ayrshire Gabrielle, well done you linda richard you've got 13 minutes remaining and at these prices or until stocks last um uh yes i do i do i do um now there's a couple of these already sold um on pre-order there are only two this is part of our coveted collection it does come box like this as well when it comes to fire opal, it's not necessarily which colour is the most valuable, because that's personal preference. It's about the translucency of oh. the gemstone. Look at this. It's, I've never seen fire opal um, on our screens here at Jewelry Maker with that wow. degree of translucency. Wow, wow, yeah, it's wow. beautiful quality. Um, I think this is probably one of the best pieces we've ever done um, out of our cover to collections. And I'm just going to hold it against uh, sort of a lighter background so you can really see that translucency as well. We are over allocated. Only three chances remain. Well done, Richard. Well done, Swansea. I've got London, Maria, Maker, and people on the phone lines. Four of you on the web now for the final three. Uh, for, it comes box. I mean, you would pay that for the box in many places. <laughs> um, it's triple A grade. It's the only triple A that we've ever brought to you on our screens. Um, I launched uh, American Fire Opal some time back. And um, yeah, it's all about the translucency. And you can see, I'll leave that with you. Now, there is one Olmec Jade strand remaining. We had to. We'll bring the graphics live for, the, for that if you were thinking about it. Took it under £500, which is just madness. Um, well done, Jeannie. You've got yours, but I've got Elaine, an anonymous maker as well, showing interest. There's just one of these left. Once they're gone, they are gone. Um, they are gone, yeah. So make sure you get hold of those. I've got a really beautiful strand. What's coming up? The citrine and the amethyst. Your pearls are coming up as well. I d I, they are unbelievable absolutely unbelievable um look at this strand of topaz <gasps> our topaz just gets better and better and better i love topaz and i just like the sparkle on it i love how it looks like diamonds uh, do you see what i mean the sparkle is just it catches the light and we're in the studio yeah and i just absolutely love the clarity of it and it just in some ways i think it's undervalued 
No, yeah, undervalued, definitely, but more stunning than diamonds. Yeah, in some it was respect. more brilliant. Yeah. And I mean that not just like, oh, yeah, you're brilliant. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, a, it's, it, it's more of a brilliant forming gemstone. It has better clarity and it can, pump, uh, it, it can play with light better. Yeah, you can see um, it, you especially can this sort of cut. Yeah, you can facet topaz more times than you can a diamond. Um, so you are going to get more brilliance. Um, this strand is amazing. It's so good. I'm going to go back to what I said before about those pearls. You know when something is so good, you question whether it's a Mother Nature gemstone? Mm -hmm. uh, that almost... If I said that these were Swarovski crystal, for example, I think people would agree, would, would believe me. They look like that. And that's why I think they're undervalued. Yeah. Because they're beautiful for your seed bead designs. You know, if you want to make oh, lovely. spaces on their own. Beautiful. I've used them a lot in commissions in the past. We're not stopping here. Oh, okay. How many do we have? How many? Oh, there's, there's almost 100. I will be honest. I'm asking for my own personal benefit. <laughs> because I want to get this strand. We're not stopping here. You have 10 minutes though to make the most of this deal. We are not stopping at 9.99. I'll ask you some questions. Can you find flaws? Are there any blemishes? Are there any dark inclusions internally? Are these poorly cut? Um, are, are, are they sort of hazy in any way, shape or form? Um, I just think I've just said no, 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 literally to all three questions. The quality of this strand is absolutely beautiful. I'll say it again, I think our topaz just seems to be getting better and better and better. I refuse to say it's a, it's a substitute to a diamond. It, 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 it isn't. It's a beautiful gemstone. It's a birthstone in its own right for all of you November babies out there. And I think you're lucky to have one which has got, you know, it's a, it, it, it creates that wow. Can you imagine these in something like a tassel? Yeah. Can you imagine these? dotted in between your jade or something like that yeah. or pearls and if you put like little spaces in between them as well and I just don't know why personally I'd much rather use topaz than use a cubic zirconia or totally. a synthetic when you can have a gemstone that looks equally if in my opinion better mm. and it's a gemstone so that's kind of my take on topaz absolutely and you know what if if we did uh, we don't but if we did cubic zirconia strands which we don't I'm sure that they wouldn't be twelve ninety nine. No, and they're synthetic stones. Yeah, that's what I mean. This is genuine. Mm. It's a genuine gemstone that is completely flawless in its uh, clarity. The reason why you're seeing such amazing brilliance and luster is because you can facet it. You can you can facet them more uh, more times than you can that of a diamond. It is so low. You know, this should have been this. If we had bigger quantity, this would have been a deal of day strand, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. Um, it, if we had a bigger quantity, it could have been a deal of the day because topaz, um, you know, to include topaz, we don't have many colourless stones, do we? When we do bring them to where they always sell out, think that zircon that we had the other day absolutely flew out the door. Um, we definitely don't see it in this kind of bicone saucer-like right. shape very often, very wasteful. So that's why few lipidarists will actually use um, uh, this, this cut itself, which is a real shame because it is absolutely beautiful. But twelve ninety nine. If we had a bigger quantity, uh, it definitely would have been a deal of the day strand. We had just under a hundred of these. There are a lot of you there: Mary, Claire, Elaine, Patricia, Ayrshire, Hello to you, Tracy, Erica, Suzanne, Richard, Lynn, Linda, Alan, Karen, Multi Buyers. I'm joining you on this. You don't see topaz in in this cup very often, and I love it. I absolutely love it. It's pure, isn't it? It's so pure. Well done to every single one of you that has com uh, confirmed. Remember, you have literally a matter of minutes now to make your confirmation. Seven minutes until we oh. close this hour. So check out your basket. <laughs> and definitely be ready for your early bird, because this... Uh, I'm thinking now, it's like, if the powers that be are watching, they're going to probably tell me off for this. <laughs> But I don't know how else to describe this citrine. It's beautiful in its colour. It's got that perfect saturation. It's got pristine clarity. And my goodness, it's a whopper. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Always has been. Always has been, yeah. Apparently, there's, she wears a citrine ring quite frequently and citrine earrings quite frequently. Um, the history of it, no one really knows, but um, they, uh, it, she's worn it since she was, since she was sort of a, a younger girl. And it's no way near this size. Literally, no way near this size. I'm just going to open it up for you a second because this is absolutely remarkable. Now... Can you imagine yourself walking through a gemstone museum and you see this? Oh. It is stop traffic beautiful. Citrine is, um, many would say, the most expensive of the quartz family itself. Quartz as a mineral is abundant. However, as a gemstone, um, obviously not so much so. But when you're looking at citrine of this size, please understand, and I know you all do, but how rare that is to get any gem be that diamonds be that sapphires be that whatever whatever the gemstone um in size is significantly rarer than getting one in a smaller size so can you imagine you have this beautiful opportunity to um you've got a boulder if you're not well, it's not a boulder but a piece of rough because it forms within geodes underneath the ground where ancient trees once fell then as they decay they create a void under the ground and all that the, 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 the pressures and the gases that naturally form um under the ground that's what produces your citrine and your amethyst so it's fascinating if you've ever seen geodes then um i know we've got one in our sister uh, sister channels uh, um studio but yeah, so you get these amazing crystals. Usually they have to be cut down into smaller sizes because you'll have natural inclusions. You'll have those natural inclusions and that's fine because, um, because you're still going to get a beautiful citrine at the end of it. Having one which measures 20 by 15 millimeters and it's completely flawless with wow. that perfect color yeah. is, is, is just remarkable. Well, here she is. We can show you. Yeah, it's her favorite gemstone um, of uh, uh, um, the Princess of Wales. I'll show you a photograph in a few moments time. And I think... I if memory serves me correctly, hers is actually an emerald cut as well. It really fa it really benefits, I think, this cut of gemstone because it really encourages those wonderful warm colours, um, warm tones. Let me explain what the difference between a citrine and a lemon quartz is because they are from the same same gemstone family. Um, the difference is all colour based. So a citrine is more honey, if you imagine, much more orangey like uh -huh. tones, whereas lemon is literally like. Lemons, yeah, so much, much, much softer um, uh, yellow um, than that you would find within your citrine. They're just so beautiful. And I'm going to try my hardest to pick this up with the tweezers. I might struggle because it is huge, as I said earlier on, you know. Yeah, 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 she wears it loads. Um, and I, I know there's lots of meanings. That's, uh, if you Google, and I did, did this the other day, if you Google what's the happiest stone, that citrine's the first one that comes up. It is a happy stain because it's like sunshine. It is. Mm. Liquid sunshine yeah. in a gem. Um, I don't think my tweezers are going to be able to hold it. It's, it's genuinely that big. I'll do, my, I'll do my best because, oh my goodness me, can you imagine this in that ring though, Debbie? Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> I wow. And also, you know, if you wouldn't wear a ring like that, a pendant. Yeah. Do you remember when our sister channel used to do the Lurique? Yeah, I, don't know if they still I was do thinking it. exactly the same. And that they used to do a Lurique um, collection and it that used to sort of drawl at the television. So one of a kind beautiful. pieces. One of a kind pieces. And often the centre stone would be like this, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. And they, they were considered yeah. purchases. And it reminds me of that Lurique, that very exclusive one-off piece of jewellery. Also, Debbie, as well, with, with the popularity of canary diamonds at the moment, yeah. the popularity of citrine has uh, very quickly followed suit. But obviously, you know, something like this, it would be like that Lady Gaga pendant that she wore, oh, that yeah. Tiffany's yeah. Um, canary uh, yellow diamond that, that Tiffany's actually said, look, it's priceless. We will never, ever, ever sell it. Oh, really? And it's this beautiful saturation of colour um, that uh, that she wore. She wore it on the red carpet. You know, when she got the... Or did she get an Oscar? I don't know, for um, A Star Is Born. But that's... It was... Yeah, Lady Gaga. She was wearing that big canary diamond at the centre from Tiffany's and Co. But it's this beautiful saturation, um, that wonderful, warm, zesty, honey, citrine colour. It's gigantic. I, and I guess we shouldn't be surprised that this is coming from Brazil. Um, Brazil produces some of the best 
citrine um, and amethyst actually um, in the world what is that 34 pounds and 99 pence I've got to be honest I was expecting this to be at least triple figures with you know citrine is it, it, it's not um, an inferior stone to that of your uh, to, to that of your canary diamonds you know I'm not saying it's the same value of course but if you're looking for beauty which is really what should drive our interest in all gemstones definitely and if you want that look you know, like you can say it's a canary diamond or it's a citrine, but you're looking at a beautiful piece of jewellery and that's what you want. You want something that creates that look. And yeah, that's beautiful, the one that Lady Gaga wore. It's stunning. But you could get the look of that easily with this gemstone. Totally. It's a big ray of sunshine that you oh can my goodness your neck. can you imagine the you know the conversations that this is going to uh, conjure up hello Alison saying uh, you were talking about brooches something um something that side would work so well oh my goodness can you imagine it in a brooch Alison that would be absolutely beautiful you could have little pearls around the outside oh seed pearls can you imagine that? Uh, South Sea. Very, very sort of Audrey Hepburn sort of oh, beautiful. antique looking. We started at what, sorry? Forty nine ninety nine. We're at thirty four ninety nine and we're not stopping there. Remember you have got a curfew to make your confirmations. I am all over this. I want to get hold of this as well. It's absolutely beautiful. Treasure, as my as my eldest says. That's treasure, what this yeah. is. It's complete I'll, treasure. We're at twenty four pounds and ninety nine. I don't understand personally how we can do that. <laughs> I've, do you know what, Debbie, I've given up trying to understand because we, I don't think we'll ever figure it out. I genuinely didn't expect you to say that and I've worked here for years. Yeah. I honestly didn't and I just think that that is like you could go into high street shops and buy a plastic piece of jewellery. Totally. You, could, you pop into Marks and Spencer's, That's Debenhams. That's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah their costume jewellery is, is around this price point, yeah, isn't it? for a pair of earrings that are, you know, base metal that will, and some rhinestone -y glass. Absolutely. This is genuine citrine. If you are a November baby, we've literally just bought you back to back two of your birthstones. So you had the topaz. Now you're, we're bringing you citrine of the best quality. And it's hard to get top quality citrine. Citrine can be quite pale, quite wishy-washy. Um, it can be quite included. You've got an emerald cut here, which is what Mark was talking about only yesterday. You know, you, uh, remember what we were saying? You've got less facets in an emerald cut. So therefore, for if there were any flaws, you can hide flaws in big in, yeah. in, in round brilliant cuts. You yeah. can you can you can hide them in your pear cuts. You can hide them in your princess cuts because there's more facets to do that with an emerald cut. That there's very few, so you need it to be the best quality. Twenty four ninety nine. I don't blame you for multi buying. I don't know about you. I'm thinking about your sand casting. Um, how perfect would this be in a big sand casted ring? That would be beautiful. I don't know how it would react to actually cast. Oh, you on would it. do the piece no, first. No, I, I would do. You had um, cast. You had the wax people on doing. Oh. Now that's how I would do it. So I would leave room for it. I would cast it in the wax and then take the gemstone out. Amazing. Cast the mount and then set it afterwards. Amazing. It would be a. Stunning piece of jewelry. Uh, I'm obsessed with those guys now. I follow them on Instagram. They're, it's so cool. They're, you know, their whole setup is absolutely amazing. It is um, amazing. Yeah, really cool. There's less than 20 of those now within the vault, so make sure you do check them out. Um, when we next end this, I'll start again. When we end this next auction, um, everything will disappear, including this beautiful citrine. So do make your confirmations. Um, I'm about to bring you Bolivian pink amethyst right now. It's beautifully faceted. In fact, I'm gonna take it out. Can you see it there? Look, yeah, you've got, you've got um, I don't wanna call it a concave cup because it's not quite a concave cup, but look at the top of the fa table facet. Um, it is like Kunzite, I agree. Yeah, if that was Kunzite, then you'd be talking four figures and then some. But do you notice how much you've almost got like a rose cut where you've got all those multiple facets and creating that beautiful curve on what is the table. It's just going to dance and play with light. The recording is absolutely beautiful. Um, you can see that fire. You can see that scintillation. You can see that really beautiful feminine oh, colour. That is Stunning. We're, hang on, we're at forty nine ninety nine. We're not stopping there. The first price crash, we're going to match the price of that citrine. I told you today's show was going to be an absolute feast of goodies. 
How on earth? I'm more than happy at 24.99, Ross. That's absolutely amazing. It's a mega deal. Look at look how beautifully faceted this is. Oh, I love that. It's so beautiful. Oh, look at it. Who wants this under 20 pounds today? It's mad. It's completely mad. That's an that's an that's an amazing natural. That's what N stands for. Natural pink amethyst. I'm mesmerised by that. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I just sit and look at that. <laughs> I used to wear stunning. a pink amethyst to um, the the Gems TV balls all the oh, time, yeah. and everyone thought it was kunzai. Everybody, everybody thought they were. It was a kunzai. It wasn't. It wasn't yeah. a kunzai. I'd agree. I'd agree. Uh, Ross has just said, I think this is as good as some of the kunzai that we've ever seen. You wouldn't pay 19 99 mm. for a kunzai of this size. It is a natural, genuine gemstone. But guess what? You're not paying 19 99 today either. We have got, did you say 100 of these, Ross? We had 100, but straight away we've got collectors getting involved. Richard, Cheryl, Gabrielle, amazing. Karen, Maker, Lorna, Paulie, new customer, Denise, Christine, Lynn and Kent. Karen in West Yorkshire, new customers, Cornwall wanting to multi-buy. Make sure you do check out. We're not even stopping at 19 99 I know, it's madness. Look at the quality of the stone. And I, uh, yesterday we were discussing, saying that it's about sourcing stones like this. What you do with it hereafter, that can come at a later stage. You know, can yeah. we continue to... To bring you particularly Bolivian which is only a small mining location as well um, <clears throat> can we continue to bring you gemstones of this ilk of this quality at under 20 quid moving forward I doubt it I very 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 much doubt it so you know you could get this home you could design amazing piece if you've got your cast kits that, 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 that they launched the other day this would be a beautiful piece to set within and the best thing is that 17.99 is still not your price point did anybody think that when you look at a piece like this, a stone of this caliber, of this quality, of this imp just impeccable cutting, did you ever think that you would get changed from £20? Never. And, you know, as somebody who works with metal, I have a collection of stones. As I like a stone, I collect it so that I can offer it or use it in designs. And I think most people agree with me that's what you do. Well, you, you've got, you're amazing as silversmith, so you could use this with your silversmithing techniques. You can claw set oh. you could There's so many things you could do with this. And I just think that to have this in your collection for under £20 is really, really, really amazing. It's super amazing because of the beauty of it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look any It's not of some kind of cheap, kind of murky, badly faceted stone. It's no. so beautiful. It looks so expensive and it's so and it beautiful be. to look at. Can you imagine holding that in the light and all the colours are just oh, going to go everywhere? Absolutely. They? Debbie? Oh, no. <laughs> Remember, you have until, well, we've gone over nine o'clock. When this auction ends, the entire hour will be removed and any item that is in your baskets, if you haven't checked it out, you still only pay the one poster packaging. Regardless of how many times you check out, you can just add it to your order. Nobody is paying £17.99. Really? Okay. But when we close this auction... Um, the entire hour, that's the citrine, remember, those beautiful South Sea pearls, remember, all of the jades, everything that we've brought you to in the show thus far will disappear from our website, so do check them out. That's how we honour such low prices. Um, thank who? Oh, the quantity. Thank the quantity. I mean, even so, even so I don't know if that would... Uh, oh. Twelve ninety nine. That's wrong. <laughs> it's a little bit wrong. That is. Oh, that's amazing though. I think I'd get a few of those. Yes, definitely. Ab it is a whopper, Adam. Absolutely. That's literally how I introduce these two gemstones. They're absolute whoppers, but they're whoppers of clarity uh, uh, of quality. That's oh, the yeah, difference. Yeah. You know, you you can you can have many people think. Let's use diamonds as an example. The bigger, the better. The bigger, not the case. You know, if you, you want to have a quality stone, otherwise it's just a big, ugly diamond. True. You know, this is uh, not even remotely, uh, th this is beautiful quality. It's got pristine eye clean clarity. You've got the perfect pink amethyst color and it has been faceted to perfection. Would we all agree? Mm -hmm. In fact, I, I know you agree. The call screens have gone nuts. <laughs> um, Tracy, Karen's got three. Alan, Natalie, Karen, well done again too. Margaret, 
getting to, Carol getting to, Dave, Gillian, well done to you, Neithport Talbot, Laura, Christine. Uh, you can get this and the citrine for less than £40 today. And they're so beautiful together, aren't oh, they? Oh, yeah. Well, they're siblings, aren't yeah. they? They're in perfect harmony with one another. So, yeah, imagine imagine that as a piece of jewellery. Less than 40 of, the, 40 of these remain um, within, <clears throat> within the vaults. So once they are gone, they're gone. Um, and this 60-second clock will close the entire hour. So not just this auction, it will close the citrine, it will close everything that we have brought you so far. Um, you have still got time to have a little look on the website, all the W's at jewellerymaker.com, but be quick about it. Um, yeah, check out, check out, check out, check out, check out as soon as you possibly can. Well done, everybody. What a way to start your Tuesday morning. And believe me, oh, it's the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> There's still so much to bring you. Amalite, beautiful Zavarite garnet is your deal of the day. Amazing kit with our lovely Debbie. Um, I'm really excited about these pin brooches that are coming up in the next hour. 28 seconds. Um, 28 seconds till we close this hour. And remember, those beautiful pearls are coming up. Um, they're coming up. They are some of the best pearls I've ever seen. I've ever, ever seen. And you get the box, you get the thread, you get the clasp, you get everything. It's amazing. It is it's fabulous. Beautiful. We've had lovely things this morning. Really lovely. Oh. And we got you. Oh. And we got you. So what more could we possibly <laughs> want? Um, down to the final four opportunity, uh, four seconds, sorry, two seconds, one second, check out, we're back up to this. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those new year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewellery Maker, Sewing Street and Hobby Maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker or Sewing Street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8am to 1pm on Jewelry Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8am and 1 to 6pm. And 8am to 1pm on Sewing Street. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Welcome back. Welcome, <laughs> welcome back. Oh, today, today, today. You've got the most beautiful kits coming up. The revival of brooches. The revival. They really are coming back. Massively. I mean, I've got a lot of my Nana's brooches that I kept. And I used to go around to sort of vintage fairs and that and get vintage brooches because I like to turn them into jewellery and yeah. I also like them on hats yeah. and on scarves. I'm a big scarf woman. On a trilby I like to wear them. And you know sometimes just on a plain blazer type jacket cool. just put something. So yeah these are coming back and as I was saying earlier I think you can use them for tie pins. Yeah definitely. Suit jackets, accessories. Um, I think they're so versatile. Especially given the fact that a lot of men are wearing more jewellery yeah, now I as like well. Them. So yeah absolutely. Yeah. So these would be perfect for gents as well. Um, just before we dive into the kits which are absolutely going to fly by the way I need to show you these pearls again for the for those of you that I will be really quick here um for those of you that that, that, that weren't with us there are 23 chances and both Debbie and I have are in agreement we've both been ogling these haven't we this morning <laughs> yeah, we have. like oh I want to buy those it doesn't get much better than what you're about to see I would I use this word very 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 rarely when it comes to a pearl um, but these are as close to flawless that I can describe. They are. So much so, you would be forgiven for thinking that they were fake. Yeah, Do you know what? they're so perfect. They are so yeah. perfect, yeah. absolutely. Now, you get the box. Here are the pearls. Just unbelievable quality. They aren't fake, obviously. These are genuine cultured pearls. I agree, they are definitely some of the best that we've ever seen. I love them, I love the graduation of these, metallic colour, literally 23 opportunities. They were launched on, they were launched on Christmas Day, right. they're that special. Now, you do get the pre-threaded silk and you also get um, the, the clasp as well, the box clasp. I mean, how unbelievable. Now, on Christmas Day, over 100 of these sold. We have the fine, I, I wasn't in on Christmas Day, so that, that's, this is my first time. Thank you. Ross is saying that's why I included them today because I knew you hadn't seen them. Do you know, my reaction, my reaction was instant. I was like, oh my goodness me, Ross, they are absolutely beautiful. And I've bought quite a few strands of pearls over the past couple of weeks, but I don't, if there's any of them left, I'm all over this. Yeah, yeah, Tom, if you are watching, because he did get me a strand. I, yes, please, please, <laughs> please. If you're watching, he's probably in the middle of the school run. That's a reality, but... Um, <laughs> If he's if he if he's not if he's not he'd be like that's that's his excuse then isn't it now <laughs> yeah, just sports. giving him an excuse yeah um, they're coming up at the top of the hour so not too long to wait we had twenty three the first one's gone is it on pre order amazing absolutely amazing and you see that see that price point that's not unrealistic in fact you know in fact that's probably a good deal in in certainly the jewelers that I used. In certainly the jewellers that I used to work at, that would have been a great price for pearls like that. Mm. Um, honestly, and I'm not exaggerating. Don't forget, you've also got your amalite coming up. You've got your beautiful garnets coming up as well. It's just unbelievable. Are we ready for the kits? Yeah. Shall we do it? Ah, oh, Debbie, show us your beautiful designs. They are just so lovely and elegant and you also get the little mushroom. I don't know if anyone's saying the little, oh. I don't know if it's a toaster or a mushroom. I'm so in love with that, I can't even tell you. Claire was obsessed with that as well. Oh, have you had it on before? Oh, it's it's here. Oh, hang on, it might not be the same toadstool. It's, it's a little... Oh, it's not quite the same. Oh, it's it not, not no, it's not quite the same. So you've got a little toadstool. Oh, Aren't they know. symbolic or something? I don't care, I'm obsessed with mushrooms and toadstools and I don't know why, they seem to be everywhere, don't they? But if I hold that up, Oh, look at the little thing. Now, I've soldered that little um, jump ring on the top. You can do whatever you want with it, but look at that. That's so sweet. So I didn't get to use it in a finished piece yet, but I just thought I need to show you it because I'd put that on a chain or a bracelet. That'd Absolutely. be so pretty, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Isn't it lovely? It's gorgeous. These pins are absolutely, uh, brooches are absolutely beautiful. Shall we start with the B? Oh, yeah. Which you're going to be demoing with, I'm right? Be demoing this. Bit. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So, hang on, is it all of this? Oh my goodness, yeah. you get loads. So just... you could put the bee actually, you know, smelling, smelling. I was going to say they don't smell flowers, do they? But you know, landing <laughs> on a flower. So you could have the bee and the flower on there if you wanted to. Oh, 
Because you can do whatever you want, basically. Well, look, you get two of the head pin, uh, of the not head pins, excuse me, brooch pins. I've got the hiccups. Um, two of the brooch pins, which are a silver. Yes. Beautiful silver, so you can do your soldering. You've got that little loop at the top there, which I assume is what you attach to, but we'll let Debbie guide you on that. You get one of these really lovely flowers, which I'll hold up in a second. In fact, grab my tweezers. Um, look at this. And it's even got the detail, even down to the stamen. Can you see that? So you've even got the beautiful stamen in so the centre of the flower. you can actually put a little pearl in there if you want. Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh, so that's literally for your... Oh, yeah, there's the peg. If I put my tweezers either side of it, you can see. Um, then, so you put your half jewel pearl on there. Yeah. Genius. Then here is... Let me put that down for a second. Here is the little bumblebee. Ah, oh, bless him. I like his little legs. Look at that detailing in his face. It's such a lovely little bee. And then you've got, again, the little peg there to pop on your pearl for his body. But if you didn't want to use the pearl and you could use any other gemstone where you've got the little drill hole um, could go on to there. It's just lovely because it's, it's his little tummy. It's his little belly, isn't it? Mm. I'm just trying to put this pearl on, but you'll be able to well, show I've got it. one here that's got the pearl on because I already put on. Ah, oh, here we go. He is, um, oh, there you've done that. He's adorable. Look He's got him. a proper little curvy bottom, hasn't he? <laughs> um, <laughs> I think I love, I can, I can relate. I can, yeah, I, 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 I I'm drawn to him all the more. Oh, he is super, super sweet. And again, sterling silver. Well, if you didn't want to wear it as a brooch, you can get these components and, and separate them. You definitely can. The pearls that we put on pre-order, down to 21, they are getting snapped up on pre-order. So well done, those of you that managed to get hold of that. Um, look at the, Look at him. This kit, there are only 40, though, so it's, he's quite limited. Look at the detailing. I'm going to turn him around because he's got the cutest little legs as well. Yes. Uh, it's uh, a lovely... Yeah, he's so beautiful on a... On a um, if you've got a lovely... Imagine you've got a lovely flowery scarf. Oh. And then you put a little bee on it. Or, you know, if you don't want to make him into a brooch, you can put a little jump ring through one of those little holes on his wings and make him into a pendant. I mean, Beautiful. You can make him into a ring because any soldering that you can do, let me say that all of these elements are solderable. Yeah. So you can solder him. Yeah. So if you wanted to, you can make him a ring. You can do whatever you want with him. And bees are so popular at the moment. Um, I had quite a long conversation with our... Um, Lindsay next door who oh, works yeah. on gems because she had almost like a version of the Alex Monroe bumblebee oh, pendant yeah. which is like 150 pounds uh, something like that in silver um, bumblebees are absolutely everywhere so if you Ross has just googled silver bumblebee no gemstone look here it is it's sweet it's really sweet 265 pounds um, it's lovely I prefer this bumblebee where's his legs <laughs> he's got them tucked under. <laughs> uh, why, why, are his, why are his wings right up there? I don't know, he's a bit disproportioned, I think. Anyway, um, much prefer this one. I like even down to the honeycomb on the wings. Can you see that? Me too. And I just, I like him. I think he works as a bee. Like you say, like the other one looks a bit waspish. Yes. And I don't like wasps. Like this one's definitely a bee. Oh, wa wasps, wasps, I know they're as important as well to our environment, but they're just a bit aggro, aren't they? But I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to wear a wasp around my neck. No, asbo bees, bees, that's what we call them. Yeah, and, you know, they can be a bit malicious. <laughs> <laughs> just a bit nasty. Yeah. Um, but look at that. Here we go. So you get two of the half-drilled pearls, which literally fit onto um, your two sterling silver components. So that's that lovely little, almost like a lily flower. Yeah. And then the two uh, sterling silver brooch pins as well. Um, we've only got 40, though. Buzz in the hive, love it. They've only got 40 of this. 10 have already gone. I'm not surprised at all. Not surprised. I mean, again, beautiful quality pearls, genuine pearls, obviously. Sterling silver, the little uh, little bumblebee that's just the sweetest thing ever. Um, look at all that lovely detail. Everywhere, literally, even if you look on his belly, sorry, little bumblebee, but look, look at that lovely detailing. Just it's the lovely angles. both sides. I mean, it's very, very beautifully made. It is. Uh, some of them are just very solid, like the one we saw just now. That seems to be what you get in a lot of places. And I thought this one was different, but not only different, but um, I liked it. Like, yeah. I don't like all the bee pendants. And I just really liked this. I thought it was different and very, very cleverly done. Like, the, like you say, the little honeycomb on his wings. Beautiful. And the fact that it's two layers, the yeah. two layers of his wings as well. 
Um, here we go. Look, Gucci, absolutely Gucci uh, um, are using bumblebees. They use them in sunglasses, obviously their jewellery collection. That's actually not a bad price for Gucci at all. Not a bad price. £410. It's still £410, let's be honest. Yeah, but that's actually not bad. Not bad. At, I don't know what it is. Is it a base metal? I bet it is base metal for that. I think so. Uh, yeah, met crystal with an glass glass pearls, not real pearls. Um, and it's it's a base metal, yeah, basically. But it's, it's I mean, £410. Yeah. Even the big designers, though, were actually using uh, little bumblebees. We've, we've named them so many times before, haven't we? Lily Rose, we've mentioned, um, of course, uh, Alexandra Monroe use it. Our sister channel have recently actually had the bumblebee as well. They are so, so, so popular at the moment. Um, we found one a little bit more affordable. OK, oh, that's yeah, really nice. that's lovely. That's see lovely. see what I mean by a bit waspish, though? It looks more like a fairy to me. It doesn't look very beeish. No. I like it. I think it's pretty, but I don't know what it is. It could even be like a little gnome with a hat on. Yes, I can see those little bits look like hair. Me? No, <laughs> I can definitely see a, a little lady. A little lady rather than a bee. We're already significantly lower though, aren't we? It's a pretty necklace, it is. Mm. We're not stopping at forty nine ninety nine. Look at him, isn't he lovely? Look he's at chilling. that picture of You him. can just imagine a little, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. little antennas. You go sleep in a flower. You go sleepy for the little fuzzy <laughs> butt. Thirty nine ninety nine. Lots of multi buyers getting involved. The revival of beautiful brooches. I love brooches, and I have a um, hat that I wear like a black. I should have brought it actually. Um, and it's got quite wide knitted and you could put it in there because let me say that what I liked about these brooch pins, it's not very sharp on the end. So it's not going to ruin your so clothes. So it's not going to ruin your clothes. And if you want it to be sharp, you just file it sharper. Yeah. So I like that you've got that option of depending on what you're going to use it. The only time I, I mean, I wear woolly hats when I do the school run and things like that. But when um, I, I like to wear a hat if I, uh, if, if, if like races and things like that, yeah. you quite often see a trilby hat and yeah. things like those occasions. Um, and a brooch is usually in there. Hannah, for example, yes. um, Osborne rocks a trilby hat so beautifully. So I can imagine this going in there. Um, just almost, uh, do you call it the lapel or just the side, the, bri the, I know the what rim? You mean. And um, it just makes pretty. all the difference. It does. It does. £39.99. Beautiful. Beautiful detailing within the bee. There it is. There's the Alex Monroe Bumblebee Sterling Silver Necklace. That's actually reduced in price, so uh, that's pretty amazing for £100. I actually have that pendant. Mine's in gold-plated uh, silver. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. And again, it's really intricate. Weird photograph, I have to say. That's the... That's the Oh, no, it isn't. That is the top of it. Yeah, it is because he's got his little feet underneath. Um, but look at that detail. Half the stock has already gone. Glynis, well done. Richard, well done. Vivian, Gabrielle, Linda and Eileen. Multi-buyers getting involved as well. Karen, Tracy, Mary and Jerry. Merseyside, Davinia, you're there as well. We're not stopping here, though. We aren't stopping here. And you, can I just say as well that you don't need to solder it. If you're not a silver work, if you don't work with metal, I'm going to demo a way you can do it with wire. So if you're thinking, yeah, I, I won't really want a brooch. I mean, obviously, if you want a pendant, just put a jump ring on it. But if you want the brooch, I'm going to show you a way that you can do this with wire so you don't have to solder. Because I know not everybody solders. No. So, um, and I'll talk through how you solder it, which is super easy. Super easy. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh get it. And learn that technique. It might yeah. be that little, that little push that we need to so to step into the world of soldering. It's not as scary as it first seems. 39.99, already an epic deal. Already half the stock gone. We're not stopping there though. We are going even lower. This is a limited edition opportunity. I mean, I have to say the little bumblebee itself, I think is a great price just for that on its own. Yeah, we're in limited numbers now, already. I can't believe you're going lower than 39.99. Oh, are we? Oh, okay. 15 left, that's it. That's all we've got left. So if you've... Suspense is killing me. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Oh, that's so good. 29. It's sterling silver. But, I mean, we're concentrating on the bee, but you've got two pearls, two brooch pins, and a little flower as well. A so beautiful flower. I'd pay that for the bee, wouldn't you? Yeah, totally. Let me see if I can, I can prop the flower up as well. See if I can multitask here. Look how beautiful this yeah, kit is. Really and you don't have to put the pearl onto that little flower because, as you said, it looks like the stamen. So it's it absolutely does. fine as it is. Yeah, it, it, it literally looks like that's how it's meant to be. Yeah. 
Um, there are 10 chances remaining and there's a lot of you there. Well done. Uh, County Antrim, Pauline, Davinia, Fiona, Linda, uh, Lincolnshire, Barbara, Lynn. Well done. Um, now we're going to go to the demonstration. Do check out the website because the other kits are already on there. You can shop ahead. They are going lower than the price point that you can see. And also those amazing pearls are. We had 23 of the pearls. We are down to 20, so they are already getting snapped up. They are going way lower than £7,000, don't worry. Um, yeah, significantly lower. So do shop ahead and pre way lower as well. Way, I can't quite believe we're doing it. Um, they're coming up, so I would recommend shopping ahead to guarantee your success on those. Um, so Debbie, take it away. I'm really excited about so these. So first of all, I'm just going to talk you through how I sold them. And it was literally so quick. I did all of them really quickly. And what I did was, um, and this, these are quite small little um, components. The little tree was tiny, but they're really simple. And I would use solder paste. And I used uh, easy solder paste because obviously it melts quicker mm -hmm. and bearing in mind that these components are really quite little and you don't want to have something that's going to take ages and melt your components so before you do any soldering you want to remove your little end cap because you've got that little um, silicone part in that that helps it to, to go on so you, you're just using your silver and what I did I put and the same with with all of it I popped my component down onto my fire brick and then what I did was I made it balanced because some of them can be like a little bit wobbly if you can see that I always use pennies or two two peas either side so that's not going to move um, if you find that you've got quite a round bump on the end of your little component which a couple of them did you just want to file that down so you've got a straighter edge because you want to be able to have a nice secure connection and then all I did was take a little drop of my solder paste I popped it on to that side and then if you have a look at the brooch pin you've actually got the little loop on the end so you've got a, quite a bit for your metal to adhere you've got sort of the whole of the circle as a touch point now you tend to find that when you put this onto your fire brick that it kind of sits at an angle so what I did again was pop a penny underneath here just to hold it to make sure that everything's in place make sure it's exactly where you want it to be and then what I did I used a low billowy flame and started to just heat around the outside first and you'll find that it'll start to get hot because you're heating around the outside you don't want to go in with an extreme flame because you're not dealing with a lot of metal here and you don't want to melt it and you'll find honestly in a couple of seconds if you start to introduce the flame um, take it away if you see your metal get cherry red take it away torch control and it will literally flow in in a couple of seconds and that's it done now i wouldn't quench this especially the ones with like the bumblebee and the celestial ones that you'll see in a moment they've got these little um i don't know if they're topaz in um or cubic zirconias but i wouldn't quench them uh, because they are soldable accents but you don't want to put that extra uh, strain on the stones so that is just the simple way to solder any of these components and I am assured that all of these are soldable elements so don't be worrying about little stones in there and certainly when I did the celestial ones the stars and the moons they've got these lovely little um, stones in they were absolutely fine they didn't discolor or anything they were great so I also I'm very aware that some people do not solder and do not want to solder and why should they be excluded from having kits so I thought, let's talk about how we can wire wrap if we want to. Now, the great thing about wiring, especially your bee onto your little brooch pin, is that if you decide you don't want him as a brooch anymore, you can just snip it off and use it for something mm. else, which I quite yeah. like the idea of that because sometimes our tastes change and fashions change. So this comes, can I borrow the one that you've got, Elle? Have you still got it? Which without, one do you want? Without the bee without the pearl on. So oh, I can just no, no pearl. Let me take his pearl just off. Just his pearl, just his, his oh, body. There you go. <laughs> his bee body. There's his oh, bee, thank buzzy you. bee body. So if we have a look at his bee body, here without the pearl on he's a lot easier to get wire through there's lots of little connection points on that bee that you can connect your wire to by just sort of threading it through the back um, and you'll want to do that really before you secure your pearl on now I did do mine afterwards and it was a little bit of a faff but I could still do it but for ease if you want to just pop your wire through your connection point wherever you decide to thread it through before you put your pearl on and then you just turn it upside down. You want a bit of um, epoxy glue. 
glue or jewelry glue on there, put your pearl on and then wait for it to dry. And when you've done that, thank you, no problem. you will end up with your little bee and he will have his bottom on. <laughs> <laughs> bottom will be a Oh, look at that. That's very cute, though. Look at his little bottom. Isn't he lovely? He is so lovely. So he's got his bottom on, and then he's also got his wire there securely behind the pearl. Now, as I say, if you do forget and you put the pearl on first, don't worry, I put this on. Now, these are all sterling silver, so I would suggest that you use sterling silver wire, mm. but obviously that's up to you. If you want to use plated, that's fine. And then you've got your brooch pin. So all you need to do now is really wind your wire around your brooch pin where you want your bee to sit. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to use this one because it's got my little end on and I can get hold of it. So what you might be thinking is, well, if I take him around, then he might slip up and down. But what you're going to do is anchor him on by just taking that. Now give it a nice pull so that you're sort of getting him really close and I usually would have my head right over the top I'm just gonna do it very loosely but you'll get the idea and so once you've wound that round a few times you'll find that you can probably still slide him up and down so this is when you want to move him up to the top and just decide how you want him to sit and take one of your wires actually can you see that loop that you've got on the very end take it through the loop so that this will anchor him into place when he's finally finished so that he's now attached to the loop at the top so he's not going to slip up and down do you get my mm -hmm. meaning and then all you need to do really is make sure you're you're sort of tidying them because you'll have longer but you want to take your remaining wires around the stem of your brooch pin a good few times so that he's really secure and if you wanted him to to sit sideways he can sit um, like he's flying sideways he can sit so he's flying upwards that's completely up to you that's a design choice and then you want to take your pliers and if you said tweezers and just sort of squeeze those wraps together a bit like when you're doing a pendant just so that they look neat and also give them a little squish so that they really are adhering to that brooch pin and that they're not going to move. And when you're completely happy and you're completely sure that that is exactly as you want it, then just take your flush cutters and go in and cut off any remaining tails. Now, obviously, if this is going to be a brooch, you don't want any of these little wire tails sticking out because that would be so annoying if it was if it was sticking into mm. your clothes so what i tend to do with anything like this is i just take my finger around and anywhere that i feel sort of a little sharp bit i make sure that i squeeze in with my pliers because you can't always tell by looking at it and just squeeze in and make sure that it's as neat as you can get it on the back there and then you've got your little b and he's Oh, right. look. So all you'd need to do, if you decided, you know, I, I, I want him to be on a pendant, is you could just cut that wire off, pop a jump ring through his little wing, and then have him as a pendant. Oh, beautiful. So rather than have that connection, that soldered connection that's going to be forever, um, you can have it so he's interchangeable. And if you are going to interchange, then don't use sterling silver wire, just use silver plate yeah, wire. Yeah, exactly, so it doesn't matter if you cut it then. It really doesn't matter. And as I say, the soldering, this would be a great one to start with because you just need to use a little bit... Shall I hold him that way? Look, there he is. Um, you just need to use a little bit of solder paste and but just be it's all about torch control just be careful it doesn't matter if you take that torch away from your piece as many times as you need to and introduce it again you'll see that with something like this because it's delicate it will go to soldering temperature very very quickly so there's nothing wrong with taking the flame around the outside and not even touching it and you'll see that it will start to take that heat on board so you just need to be a little bit more careful when you're dealing with something as flimsy as say the brooch pin mm. but you'll be amazed at how quickly it 
takes the heat and how quickly that your solder paste melts and the job is done. And then you can pickle it and polish it and do whatever else you want to do with it. But I thought it might be nice to offer you oh. just in case you're not a solderer. Yeah, well, that's it. We're not, we don't all solder, do we? Or it might no. be something that we learn at a later stage, but it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy wearing it right now. Absolutely. Um, well, we do have some other kits to bring you as well. Yeah. This one is getting quite limited. We are clearly a channel of bee lovers and rightfully <laughs> so. Oh. Um, these are really sweet. So, uh, yeah, they were very limited, though, the bumblebees. Are we moving into uh, the Celestial? I thought uh, I was hoping you'd say that because that's literally the ones that I've had set up for you all. Um, they tend to be actually uh, Celestial themes, very popular, lots of sentiment, lots of meaning behind yeah. your sort of stars, moons. You're a star, you know, if someone's graduating and oh, lovely. on and they're doing their A-levels, lots of, lots of my kids are doing their A-levels and their GCSEs, both of them this year. But, you know, you're a star. They can even put it on a bag. Yeah, You, know, you could put this on cool. a bag. Or... Can I borrow, if you, if, you, if you just pass them over, just so I can hold the finished piece um, literally um, up along, oops, sorry, um, okay. alongside it. So if I just show you, I mean, look how beautiful that is as a piece of jewellery. You know, and it's all ages as well, Debbie, isn't it? You get it really is all ages, and because you've got that stars and, and moon theme, and it's just literally a little piece of solder on the back. And look how lovely those um, have come up, and they've been soldered. They've been in the pickle. They've had heat on them, and they haven't discoloured. They're nope. really beautiful. So. Uh, I, I can really recommend these as solderable accents. Amazing. And if you're wanting to use them for something else, maybe you'd rather have a ring, uh, you can certainly do that yeah. and use your pins for something else. You could even hang beads off of the end of the lovely. pins for the brooch. That's a lovely idea. Um, so again, you get the two of your brooch pins, you get two of your half-drilled spherical pearls, and you also get your, uh, uh, your solder accents in your celestials, which are embellished with gemstones as well. Um, unfortunately, they're not available on their own. The only way to get hold of these pins is within the kit. And I, quite often is the case, I say this quite a lot, um, you're better off getting them in the kit anyway. Um, because you're cheaper. getting a yeah, it's cheaper. Yeah. It's actually cheaper. We're going to match the price on this. You get a lot of sterling silver in these opportunities. The pins are sterling silver. The brooch pins themselves. That's even down to if I just pop this one down for a minute. Even down to the actual um, twist at the end here. Um, so sterling silver, sterling silver, genuine cultured pearl, which is just beautiful, beautiful quality. And again, um, just just so wearable the revival of your lovely brooches it's nice to see it really is and, and pearl and that sort of brooch is timeless it's yeah. the sort of thing you could have seen a lovely elegant lady in the 50s yeah wearing. definitely you know, it's that kind of elegance that i liked about i can imagine my grandma wearing one yeah, of these my, my, my nana was massive on brooches yeah she was well, an elegant lady the queen as well, she was oh, she was always queen. seen wearing brooches, yes, wasn't she? Twenty nine ninety nine. That's working out at fifteen pounds per sterling silver brooch. That's amazing, um, absolutely amazing. And they are cultured pearls as well. Do we have many of these then, Roscoe? Thirty. Oh, so it's even more limited. Do make sure you check out and don't forget those pearls are coming up as well. You can shop ahead and pre-order um, on your lovely cultured pearls. Uh, the most ridiculous deal for the best quality pearls I've ever seen. Update on uh, stock. We're down to nineteen. We had twenty-three at the beginning. That price on the web is no way near what we're actually going to be taking these two. Um, both Debbie and I are in agreement that it doesn't get much better than that, to be honest, in the world of pearls, does all. it? No, it doesn't get much better. 18, another one has just gone as well. Amazing. So uh, very savvy, very, very, very much savvy shopping, getting involved in those pearls because, and shopping early, I should say, they flew on Christmas Day. I wasn't here Christmas Day and I'm not surprised we're going to bring them to you at a closeout deal today. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Make sure you do ch uh, check out your baskets on your um, celestial themed kit. I'm going to put those just there. Let's do, is it one of your favourites, Debbie? The little tree and the little mushroom. Oh. Can you tell by the little mushroom voice? <laughs> Is that your mushroom voice? Mushroom. I'm obsessed with mushrooms. I go in the wood and I go to my kids, look, there's mushrooms. And they're like, we're teenagers. So at least now I've got a, you know, granddaughter that I can tell her that that's where the fairies live. <laughs> you are so cute. <laughs> So I'm like, cute. That's where the fairies live. My husband's like, you're 53. Get no, it. they do. <laughs> they live under under little toadstools. They Thank do. You. They do. And you can. And again, I soldered this little mushroom and I put a little uh, jump ring on his head so that he could hang from maybe the loop or uh, 
whatever. And what I did was I just soldered the tree on on its own. So I didn't do anything too intricate because I thought, how amazing for a tie. Oh, it'd be beautiful you for know, a tie. My hubby has to wear ties when he goes to meetings. And I don't think he's ever worn a tie pin. I'm going to make him wear this on his tie. Oh, he <laughs> could, well, he's, take, he's taken a bit of your beautiful talent with him then as well. Look how lovely these are. It's a lovely little fir tree as well. And to actually pierce that out of metal yeah. would be fiddly fatty. Ve very much so. And the little detail in the toadstool. You also get two lovely half-drilled seed pills. Can you see those? Um, and, you know, they, these are little smaller ones, seed pills. Very rare, actually to get pearls of this size but they coordinate perfectly with the actual uh, soldable accents that you're getting within what this as well. What could be really pretty is if you soldered on a little peg so you could solder on a peg either onto the brooch pin or even on the top of the tree if you wanted Yeah. Um, and then you could have a little seed pearl yeah. in there as well or you, you could use them completely separately it's completely up to you um, but they will fit on the other elements in the other kit so they will fit on the celestial and they will fit on the little flower in the bee pendant as well. Ah, uh, beautiful. I was just thinking, you could do that. You could keep it really simple. You could glue that on. Um, use some strong jeweler's glue or um, two-part epoxy glue, but you could most definitely do that. Yeah, just literally glue it onto the end if you wanted to. Um, again, have we got quantity of this one? Oh, they're all very limited, aren't they? Um, the brooch pins are not available on their own. The only way to get... I mean, seriously, that's what we're always referring to when we say sometimes you're better off getting involved with the kit than... You, in fact, most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, you're better off getting them in the kit. All that sterling silver and the pearls for 14 99 And, you know, that's realistically, you'd probably pay that for the little little mushroom charm. Yes! Do you know, I walk past that Pandora... Mm. The other day, cues. They have like um, like concert a concert. Yes, yeah. they have those barriers outside our one, and people kind of queue. Do you know? And, and we walk past, it's like, oh my goodness. And by the way, fair play to them. You know, their, their marketing campaign is is clearly um, a successful one, but so expensive so 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 expensive. Here you are, and I know these aren't charms. I'm not comparing, obviously, but you know. That little toadstool charm would be probably best part of 50 quid if you were into Pandora. Yeah, right. It would be, wouldn't it? Apparently, they've got a massive returns rate, though. The returns oh, are really they? high. Yeah, the one in our local town actually opened a separate shop for returns. After Christmas, yeah. Oh. Um, $14.99. Love these. Absolutely love these. You've got your little toadstool, the little fir tree, the little pearls, and the sterling silver brooches as well. Now, um, if you didn't get the bumblebee, um, we have also got a little ladybird that you can incorporate into your brooches. Aww. That's very sweet. Um, <clears throat> here we go. Let me get her. Why ladybirds always she's? I was well, lady... <laughs> Be... I actually thought for a minute. I was like, oh, that'll be why. Oh, that will be why. <laughs> There will be that will be why. Uh, not even that early now. because we call them lady birds, I guess. They're pretty, basically. Oh, they are very pretty. Uh, um, oh, look. Oh, I've not seen. And right them. now you might be thinking, Aww. how's that lady bird? If you put your pearl on, that makes that lovely little little uh, non aerodynamic body that lady birds have. Yeah. They're sweet, aren't they? Again, like bumblebees, just a bit bumbly, aren't they? Just they're a little just bit clumsy. They're just beautiful. Really furry, beautiful. beautiful. The most carnivorous insect in the garden. Is it? A ladybird, yeah. Yeah, they eat like, they're very good for your garden, apparently. Um, so literally just gluing it into place, you've got your little half-drilled pearls, which if I can find the drill hole, I'll do my very best. I'm doing this at arm's distance. There we go. Um, but glue it into place. There's your little ladybug. Oh, that's Isn't cute. she beautiful? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. You've got a gram of sterling silver parve setting on the wings. Um, I don't know how true this is, and I, I need someone to tell me if it's factually correct or incorrect. But I heard that ladybirds can't turn when they're flying. <laughs> really? No, Aww. they can't turn, so they they have to land. Oh! <laughs> That's what I heard, and I, th <laughs> I think I think I love them all the more for that reason. <laughs> now I need to go over that way. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that's lovely. It is. It's so sweet. I, I don't know how true it is. I don't know how true it is, but I like them just. I like. I can just imagine them <laughs> doing their little shuffle. Um, how many do we have of these then, Roscoe? Because these are sweet. They do come within the bale as well, oh, so you can good. see. Yeah. Literally, you can feed this onto a lovely sterling silver mm. chain. Think Christmas. Think Valentine's Day. Think Mother's Day. Think just because. Think birthdays, anniversaries. I mean... It's the kind. It's a kind of piece of jewellery that I would wear on a regular basis. Oh, well done for getting through January. Yes, yeah, yes. <laughs> Think, treat yourself. Absolutely. That make me smile. Yay! No more beans or toast. Um, <laughs> it's what? What? Under twenty. And we're not even stopping there. Shall I hold it up to the neckline? Now this this pearl is not glued into place, so I don't want. Uh, oh. Hang on. Um, it's not drilled into place because obviously this is just a studio sample, but. Imagine for a second that it is. Yeah, I've done it now, and I'm going to have to hold it. But look how sweet that is. On a sterling silver chain. You can wear it as a charm or a pendant. Look how lovely that is. It's pretty, it's isn't so it? It's so delicate. It we're, nice and a bracelet as well. Yeah. We're under £20, Debbie, and we're going even lower. What is with the mad deals today? <laughs> Completely mad, mad deals. Be lovely alongside your brooches also. Um, I know that if my little girl was watching right now, which she may well be because she's, she's I've just uh, heard she's off school. Aww. Not very well. She hasn't been well for a few days. So uh, she's off school today. So hello, hello, darling. Feel better soon if you are watching. Um, I know she'd love this. She would absolutely love this because they're endearing creatures, aren't they, little, little ladybugs? And it's a nice size, isn't it? So I think that that would work for any neckline. It's not overpowering is it it's quite an elegant little, mm. little uh, ladybird we're going lower oh are we yeah there's a hundred of these available it's sweet don't forget to take my little tree off there for photography oh yeah sorry <laughs> <laughs> or i'll be shot there you go there you are. I need a photo of 14.99 for the pearl on its own. Look how beautiful that quality of pearl is as well. £14.99. Yeah. He's sweet. Or she. Yeah, beautiful. I think, I, I, I don't know how many, I'm, I'm no David Attenborough, obviously, but, <laughs> you know, I don't know how many countries ladybirds exist in. I should imagine it would be quite a few. But whenever I think ladybirds, I very much think quite quintessentially English country garden insect, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You know. It's funny because you go, there's a ladybird, and everyone goes, oh, like they've never seen one before. I know. Before, and butterflies. <laughs> yeah. You do it with butterflies and bees. And bees be you do, there's certain, there's certain insects that I think you, you don't go, oh, look, there's a worm. No, not so much <laughs> not so much um <laughs> although they are very important of course um but yeah you do everybody everybody warms to ladybirds don't they yeah they're just so beautiful to look at aren't they, and they yeah when they're crawling the over you and, yeah just chilling pit, working out which way they need to go <laughs> which direction i think that's brilliant <laughs> yeah. oh that way or that way will you stop moving <laughs> me around i'm trying to pivot <laughs> 1999, well done. The pearls are coming up. My goodness me, I'm so excited about these pearls. Um, let's have a little stock update, Roscoe. 18, okay. There is 18 available opportunities. Oh. These are outstanding quality pearls. I, I, and I've bought quite a few pearls recently, but I'm so tempted. So tempted because they are, you know, just perfection. Literally perfection. They're coming up in a few moments' time. Don't forget to check out your baskets on your little ladybug. Amazing. Shall we do it, though? Um, oh. Serious, serious head now. 18 remain. Nine are in baskets. Um, I don't know how to portray this any, any, any more clearly than, than hopefully I am doing. I, don't, I genuinely don't think it gets much better than what you're about to see, genuinely. Back in my early 20s, when I was put in charge of the pearls in the jewellers that I worked at, that stopped the likes of Cartier, stopped the likes of Piaget and Chopard and all those big expensive designers that made me feel really uncomfortable. They had top quality pearls. And this is the quality that I would be, wouldn't be surprised at all if it was in their cabinet as well. But if it was in their cabinet and not on your channel, I can tell you, it probably would have been closer to five figures than it is even four. But you're not going to be getting hold of this today at even four figures. I'm letting the cat out of the bag right now. It's just one of the best deals. Honestly, it's coming up next. These are nothing short of outstanding in a closeout deal.
long after I'm gone, I hope that my my two girls will go, oh, look at these pearls that mummy had. Oh, yeah. Do you know? Yeah. And they appreciate just how amazingly beautiful these are. Now, I know so many of our viewers have got such an amazing knowledge of gemstones and pearls, of course. But for those of you that maybe are new to pearls, um, it's all about the five virtues. Those five virtues are like the four C's to a diamond. And it talks about the size. Anything, anything uh, around about 10 millimetres is enormous and is equivalent, in the words of Charlie Barron, to that of a three-carat diamond. So they are huge. Then we start talking about shape. Spherical pearls are still the most expensive out there. Then we start talking about colour. Certain colours will command higher price points, particularly if they're natural. These are natural, and it has got some of the rarest, uh, the most sought-after colours, the pinkish pearl. You know, sometimes you can see a white pearl with a pinkish overtone. So, but these are a strong pink, purple, papaya, peach. You've got all those colours naturally. Then we start talking about the nacre, which is a bit like our skin. The smoother, the, le the less blemishes that you see on your nacre leads into your fifth virtue, which is the luster. Luster is how mirror-like. You know, you can have, you can tick all, you can tick four of those boxes, but the reality is if you miss out, if, if you lack luster, the pearl's not that great. Um, you want them to almost reflect the surroundings, reflect your natural skin tones. I, I, I'll say it again, I generally don't think you can get much better than what's on your screens right now. They're almost like a drawing of a pearl, if you yes. know what I mean, like how you would draw perfect pearls. The colours are, I can't believe they're natural. I mean, yeah. how incredible is that, that these colours are made by Mother Nature with no enhancement, that's just how they are, and it's perfect. But so rare to get those natural colours, yeah. you know. Um, over in Tucson last year, and we've, show, we've spoken about this, over the past year, multiple times, the pearl harvests were completely decimated over the, over the pandemic, mm. you know, because it's logical, actually. The harvesters couldn't get out to the, uh, to, um, to the actual crops. If, I don't know how to put it. Yeah, harvest, they call it harvest. So people couldn't get out to the harvest and they couldn't nurture the mollusks. They couldn't, you know, filter the water. They couldn't chip off all the barnacles. Um, they couldn't check on them, basically. Nurture them like little newborn babies that they do. So they were literally lost to the sea. Um, yeah, so de decades of pearl harvesting was lost to the sea. And if you spoke, for example, actually over in Tucson, there were literally empty pearl booths. You know, you'd have lots of other booths, you'd have loads of, uh, of your amazing diamonds, and you'd have, there was a couple of jade ones, there was all manner of incredible booths. But the pearl ones were actually very, very, very much few and far between, and that is all down to the pandemic. So it has made a massive impact on pearls. Um, add to that, though, the desirability. Human nature is we want what we can't get. It is. That's the, th that's the thing. And when big design houses like Elsa Peretti or Yoko of London start incorporating naturally coloured pearls into their portfolio, then, you know, other, other jewellery houses are going to want to follow suit. But so it's pushing the price up with something that there's no there's no supply of. The actual uh, harvesters are saying that they predict it's going to take a full decade to recover from the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. because I'll use South Sea or, or Tahitian pearls as an example. Those oysters, so the black lip oyster, uh, just as an example, it doesn't matter whether it's saltwater or freshwater, the black lip oysters have to mature to a certain size before they can start culturing. You know, when you've got pearls as, as big as this, those, those mollusks will be... Big chaps, right. basically, because you've got a pearl that's measuring, I don't know, say 10 millimetres in size. You can't have a little tiny mollusk holding that. No, that it's going to be a big, it's going to be a big mollusk that has been, you know, pampered, quite, free, quite frankly, for years before it even starts culturing pearls. So this was a really familiar sight when I was in Tucson last year and the team are there literally as we speak. That was a very sad, very sad, because they would have paid for that years ago. Oh, right. They would have paid for that years ago, and it would not be cheap. It would have cost them thousands upon thousands of pounds. Look, literally next door, you can see. 
Um, but unfortunately, Pacific Pearls was not able to attend because of the pandemic. They didn't have the pills. Um, so, yeah, it's, it, it, it is a real shame. Anyway, that aside, say even if that hadn't happened, even if the pandemic hadn't happened and everything was all tickety-boo in the world of pearls, you still would not get natural coloured pearls of this quality at anywhere near the price that we're going to take them to today. And I genuinely, genuinely believe that. No, yeah, you're so right. Ross has just said, for one, you wouldn't pay the price that we're going to take it to. Honestly, it's one of the best deals, the best strands that I can potentially offer you. And I'm so tempted to join you. There are 17, I haven't even shown them yet. They've been on pre... You, okay, and I, this sounds really, really, really uh, dismissive, and I don't mean it to be. You get a clasp, you get the silk. It's not about those. <laughs> uh, they're lovely. Don't get me wrong. You get a, a gem set clasp, and you get the silk. But it's all about this. It is all about this. Look at how flawless. Look at how spherical... Oh, no. Um, guys, I'm so sorry. You're going to have to wait just a little bit longer. Please don't go anywhere. There's just a fire alarm in the building. We will be back. I promise you of that. Um, please don't go anywhere. Oh, my goodness. They're on pre-order, so make the most of it. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those New Year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewellery Maker, Sewing Street and Hobby Maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start, as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker or Sewing Street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8am to 1pm on Jewelry Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8am and 1 to 6pm. And 8am to 1pm on Sewing Street.
Oh, we're back in the room. All is good. Don't panic. Yeah. Um, in fact, we barely got to leave the, leave the building. Um, are you ready? I hope so. I really do. If you are... Oh, look at them. Okay. Let's look at it from... Can we just for a second take another stance? Mm -hmm. Give me a reason why I wouldn't want these. There isn't a reason. <laughs> There's genuinely not. Don't ask me that because I want them. I know we've, we've, we've made you wait. It's not through our fault, by the way. We had to quickly throw to a break, but I genuinely... Oh, another one of them has gone on pre-order. Well done. I genuinely, genuinely... I can't, they are perfect. They are literally perfect. They come with the box. They come with the silk. They come with the clasp. And I have completely sidelined those. It is all about those pearls. You know, every time that we say, get them valued, get them appraised, I strongly recommend that of this. Strong, look at them. We're under magnification. Those are natural colours. It is the five virtues and then some. I'm so sorry for making you wait so long. But I promise you, it'll be worth it. And we're going to make you wait one minute longer. And then we'll bring the graphics to your screens. Natural pearl perfection. Oh, my goodness me. I don't want to call it a kit. I literally don't want to, because you know what? If you pick these up, you knot them, you put them on a platinum or an 18 karat gold clasp. I'm saying that just because I would expect them to be on that. Yeah. Um, and you put these in somewhere like Bond Street, you put them in somewhere like Hatton Garden, you put them in somewhere like Paris or Rodeo Drive, and they would be the thousands of pounds that are on the website right now. They would be. These are, I'm going to say this as well, better than many of the pills that I sold previously previously, not here at Jewelry Maker, pills that I've sold previously at that jewellers that I, that, that I started my, um, my career with. In 15 seconds, this opportunity is, well, it's available right now. Everybody pays the final low. I, I, without spoiling the surprise, you won't get a better deal than today. With, uh, honestly, I've shown you, haven't I, Debbie? It's mad, isn't it's, it? Um, it's amazing. The auction is open. Uh, yeah, by the way, there's a Ratnikiri Reserve on in that box class. But again, I don't want to talk about that right now. It's got to be about the pearls. You get a Ratnikiri Reserve on in your sterling silver box class. I personally wouldn't put it on sterling silver, um, but it's all down to your personal choice, of course. You get the silk, which is perfectly colour matched to go alongside the pearls. I don't think any of you are expecting the deal that we're... I'll hold it up to the neckline in a few moments. It comes box like so as well. Even here, that's amazing. And I know that's a considerable about of money listen it is to me as well absolutely four thousand nine hundred and ninety nine pounds is a lot of money but what i'm saying that is if you're in the market for pearls and say you you know this is a piece of jewelry that you've been aspiring to um that you've wanted to uh, get hold of and you know maybe i don't know uh, you've discussed this is a lifelong dream that i own the most amazing pearls you know is there are pieces of jewelry like that aren't they that we that we dream of owning that would be a great price. And I don't think many jewellers would be able to offer them to you at that price. It's not a jewellery maker deal, though. At the beginning of the show, I said, that's crazy. Already? Already. I'm not stopping there. At the beginning of the show, I actually said, hand on heart, if you were to ask me, in fact, a friend of mine actually asked me the other day, what, what gemstone should I be getting at the moment now? I said, Mogok Ruby, Jadeite, from any location. Mm. And I said, Pearls from Jewelry Maker. Yeah. Because I think this is one of our greatest strengths here at Jewelry Maker. The quality that we buy and the deals that we offer them to our lovely viewers, this is no reflection of the true value, even if we were to open and close this auction, actually, at £1,999. We're not stopping there. We are taking this under, under four figures. 
which is just crazy, absolutely crazy. Remember everything that we said before we were rudely interrupted by the fire alarm. Um, <laughs> only joking. Um, basically, the pearl harvests were decimated through the pandemic. So to bring strands, in fact, they're not bringing strands at the moment, our suppliers, they're offering pearls individually. I showed you that photograph earlier on today. You know, strands like this, if you want them, are astonishingly expensive. 999. No way near done. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> I, I'm going to get some of these. I will wait till the end of the auction to get make it fair. Under magnification, look how perfect these pearls are. And they're all like just perfectly shaped. Yeah, perfect. They're what you think of as a perfect Pearl. And they're totally natural. We're not stopping at 999. We have 23 available opportunities. Had. We have 15 now. These are big pearls. The sizes of the pearls, let me see if have we got those details. They go from 8.5 to 10.5. Remember what I said, 10 millimeter. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, uh, 8.5 to 11.5. Remember what Charlie Barron said? A pearl over 10 mils is like the equivalent in terms of its rarity to a three carat diamond solitaire. Wow. We're at 499. Everything that you can see before me, you get. That's not your price. It's not your price. I can't believe we're doing this. Has to be one of the most exciting pearl opportunities. Oh, look at it. It's the, oh my goodness me. You know, we took photographs over at Tucson. The reason why I keep referencing Tucson, it's the largest gem fair in the world. And you will see pearls of the finest, finest quality. So for example, um, now that, I mean, that's, it's, We've, there, let's show these. You found fireball pearls, for example. Look at the price tag. $6,995, and that's at wholesale. At wholesale. Pearls, which are spherical, are actually still more expensive. They are more exp expensive more often than not. These are completely natural in their color, beautifully spherical. That clock is ticking away. It is going even lower. Look at how perfect they are. It's just that piece of jewelry that you will wear and wear and wear and you will pass on and your kids will borrow and your relatives will borrow and it's a legacy piece. I, it, it's the colour that's doing it for me. I think the, I've not actually seen the no, colour like beautiful. it. No, it's beautiful. Debbie, are you ready? <laughs> no. <laughs> 200, two, £299. You got costume jewellery from Gucci earlier on that yeah. was a base metal for more than that. Do, do, do you yeah. see where I'm coming from yep. here? Gucci were bringing base metal in a little bumblebee design. It's got the label Gucci. No one knows that once you're wearing it, do they? Well, not many people would anyway. You've, these are some of the best quality pills that in my 24 years of working with gemstones that I have ever seen. And I wholeheartedly mean that. At 299, compare them to Yoko of London. Compare them. They're natural pearls. They're beautifully spherical. <clears throat> they're also 22 and a half grand. Oh. 22 and a half grand for those pearls. You know, we're what? Just over 10% of that price tag. Look at how perfect these pearls are. Oh, would we all agree? It's uh, just to the jury, to jury maker crew. Sorry, it's 1% of that price tag. Um, jury maker crew. Would you agree these are some of the best pills we've ever done? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Adam's saying yeah. Ross? Definitely. Easily. Lauren? Thumbs up from Lauren. I, 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 I generally don't think we've done much better than this, if, if at all. There are 12 of these left. Well done, Rita. Well done, Jackie. Well done, Patricia. Well done to Mary. Marion Cumbry. Mary. Audrey. Mrs. Wender. Maker wanting four. Denise Lanarkshire. Eileen. That's not your price. I, know, I can't believe this is even happening. Never was. It's not what I showed you, was it? I have been, yeah, stressing's the word, <laughs> that this price is going to be unbeatable, unmissable. There are 11 available opportunities. I had 23. Um, we're not stopping here. 
And we don't just take a little 10% off, do we, or 20% here and there, which is, would be amazing. You can get them home for 74 75 <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, amazing. Are you ready for this? We are about to take a significant chunk off that price tag. A significant chunk. And we're going to do so in 56 seconds. Please, we are so over allocated. They won't be on again. They won't be available. They will sell out. Um, and that's why I've waited. Listen, I thought, when you've got something of this quality, no, quality, quality, I was like, no, I'll just wait, bring the auction. If there's any left, then, you know, then, yeah. then I'll get them. Yeah. But giving you that opportunity first. And please, again, I know it costs money. At some point, get them valued. And I say that just for your insurance purposes. Um, because pearls like this, especially if you choose to put them with a high-end gold class, um, Go and do the traditional techniques that we teach you on a regular basis, not in them with silk. This would not be a triple figure price tag, I'm sure of that. We're so over allocated. In fact, we're over allocated by 29 collectors. Oh, good grief. I'm not taking 10% or 20% off that price tag. The time is now. Oh my goodness, those of you that, that pre-ordered at £7,000, don't worry. <sighs> you guaranteed your place and you guaranteed it and you're still only paying a £199. A hundred, look at them, hello Davinia. I'm in love with these pills, they're gorgeous and out of this world, perfection. Here, here, I totally <coughs> agree with you, my lovely. It doesn't get much better than this, if at all, to be truthful. Uh, uh, listen, I, I started... Uh, <sighs> Working with pills when I was in my um, early 20s, um, I sold, and I think lots of you know this, there's a certain footballer that used to be able to bend it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so I sold a pearl necklace to him many, 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 many years ago, and it was a five-figured strand of pearls. They weren't this beautiful, I can tell you that for certain. They weren't. I generally think these are some of the most memorable pearls that we've ever actually, I've ever experienced. So a huge congratulations. And I know you're not going to disagree with me, but if you do, you've got that 30-day money-back guarantee. There were 23. Believe me, we're so over-allocated right now. Christine, Richard, Susan, Gabrielle, Pamela, Mary, Cornwall, getting two, amazing. Wiltshire, oh, Davinia, no. Susan, uh, sorry, Suzanne, Marion, Cumbria, Rita. There are four, look at that, look at that split payment, 0% interest. There are four chances. Once those go, that's it. I can't repeat it. Venetia, I can see you there. Tracy, Lynn, Julie, Joan, uh, well done to you. Birmingham, Merseyside, Maker wanting three. Audrey, I can see you there. Mrs. Wender, have you got yours? I, I thought I saw your name. Um, you can still do it. There is four chances, but they're allocated to you on confirmations only. Not allocated if you just buy add into your basket. Um, we want to do. We want. I want to congratulate you literally live. Who's that? Who's that? Rita, anonymous maker. Well done. Well done to you. Um, I want to be able to congratulate you literally live as we speak because this has to be one of the best strands, if not the best strand of pearls that I've ever seen. I generally think that. I love that it's on split pay because it's given you even more opportunity to to grab it. Can you imagine <clears throat> going down to, uh, let's, say, let's say Bond Street, because it's in the UK. Mm. Imagine going down to Bond Street. You've seen this amazing pearl necklace in the, in the window. Uh, can you imagine then going and say, I, I want that lovely natural pearl necklace, which will be for probably thousands and thousands of pounds there. Um, but can I, can, I, can I do it on 0% interest, please? And still take it away. I only want to give you 50 quid today. And maybe another 50 quid there. You, you know, it would take you, take you years to yeah. pay off anyway. But um, that's what we give you the opportunity. You don't have to buy, you don't pay for this and then you receive it once, once you've paid it off. You can be enjoying this in just a few days. There are three genuine chances. These are the people that are competing for that final three. Jacqueline in Leicestershire, Helen, sorry, Venetia, Tracy, Lynn in Yorkshire, uh, Joanne, Julie, Merseyside, Cornwall, we haven't got four, sorry, my lovely. Maker, we haven't got four. Audrey, as you can see, that's the quantity of people that want it. Sussex, I can see you on the phone lines, Paul. You can get that next one. If you press your option one, you should be okay. 
As long as long we do, there's Paul. As soon as you're answered, Paul, oh, I'd love to be able to congratulate you. There are literally three of these left. Three of them left. I can see you there. If you haven't yet been answered, don't worry, our call centre will get you. It is very, very you've been answered amazing. Amazing. Three jet Fiona, I can see you there as well. Another anonymous bid has just got yours, well in London. Congratulations, I'm down to two. I'm down to the final two of these. Fiona, I can see you there with it in your basket as well. Um, it's, not, it's not confirmed to you. Not confirmed to you until you make that confirmation. Fiona, well done. You've taken us down to the final one. Amazing. Oh, Amazing. Jaw-droppingly beautiful. Well, as you can tell, we're massively over-allocated, so I'll leave that last one there. Paul, you might get that last one. Oh, Gillian! I haven't got two, Gillian. I've only got one. I've only got one. And Maker on the phone lines. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, this is exciting. Paul, you have got one. You did get yours. There is literally one left. Amazing, 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 amazing. <laughs> Woo. Well done. They've sold out. There we go. They have gone. Well done. Paul, Fiona, Christine, Richard, Susan, Gabrielle, Pamela, Mary in Birmingham, Cornwall, Julie, Wiltshire, Davinia, Suzanne. You actually disappear off the bottom of the screen, so I can't see everybody, but massive congratulations to you all. Um, now, because of the alarm, um, because we, yeah, it, it's kind of, yeah, disrupted us a little bit. I'm going to bring you some more pearls. Um, no any of that quantity, though. If you missed out on this strand, then don't worry. There is, and don't forget, you do get these uh, these components. And I apologise for kind of sidelining them, but I do think the pearls were the star of the show. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, in that in that occasion, definitely. Um, we have got another little grey box here. Oh yes. Oh, they're weighty. Ten to fourteen. Oh, I love ripple pearls. Um, I'm obsessed with pearls. I think <laughs> I, I, I am. I think they are probably up there with one of my favourite gemstones. Me too. Beautiful, aren't I they? I love them. I just, yeah, I'd love them. They're a fight. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wait till you see this colour. It's literally like oil on water. And it's all natural. Oh, yes. They're lovely. Oh, oh they're really lovely. <gasps> Oh, my goodness me. There are just five of these. Ripple pearls, as the name suggests, you get this lovely rippling. Do you remember back in the day, I'm showing my age now, um, when um, the flake, Cadbury's Flake advert, mm. and you had the lady seductively eating her, her flake yeah. chocolate bar, and, 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 and they threw the silk sheet. Yes. And it used to ripple across the bed. Yep. That's what the Nacre has done on the, on the, on the pearls, basically. How has it done that? Um, it, it's basically the formation of the nacre. So I don't know. It, it actually, I actually asked that question again to Charlie once upon a time, and he was like, he did. He said, I, it, we can't, I can't tell you. It depends what I don't know. Maybe the the movement of the ocean. I don't know. Oh, I love that the, idea. It, it could be maybe the temperatures in the water. So it's a natural phenomena. Yes. Oh, I love that. In the same way, like I, I don't know. Oh, that's this is a bad analogy. I was about to say in the same way that we don't know how our skin we inherit things like that, don't we? But, we do. Um, but but pearls, yeah, we can't tell you. So basically, I guess the position, positioning and the shape of the pearls. You can't predict the shape of a pearl. So either. you don't know that's going to come out. No. So to get a strand must take ages. Take a long time. Yeah. A long time and a lot of collecting. Um, but they're very popular at the moment, ripple pearls. And I get that because straight away you know that that is a genuine pearl, don't you? Yes. Oh, yes. Immediately yeah. you know. There are only five of these opportunities. Again, um, we're going to do 60 second clock. I don't want you to miss out. Um, natural colours. I mean, look how gold those colours are. They're beautiful. I mean, the, uh, th to be natural. Exactly. I love my gemstones to be natural. Me too. If you can. It, yeah, I mean, I, I 
I'm, I don't only work with natural ones. You know, other no. ones have their place, but they're just special. Aren't oh, they? if you can get natural pearls all day long, go for the natural. Yeah, definitely. All day long, because if you dyed pearls, you wouldn't get this mixture of no, colour. No, no, you would. You would literally have a gold or a purple, um, and it would be complete. But you wouldn't have this almost. I'm going to say it like an amalite chromatic shift of colours. Yeah, it is. It's perfect, actually, leading towards your showcase in the next hour. There are just five available opportunities. So if you don't want to conform to the traditional spherical shape, if you want pearls with a difference, like the fireballs or the baroques, if you like, um, which, as I said, there was quite a few um, of those on that uh, the award ceremony that I went to um, last week. Uh, but you want something that's going to really make an impact, then it's what's on your screens right now. You've got natural metallic beauty from a harvest of pearls. We don't know that they're going to be ripple pearls. Again, there's a huge amount of time invested into the culturing process. We don't know what colour they're going to get, and these have got multiple colours. But even more than that, less than um, one out of 10,000 pearls are naturally metallic. You've got an entire strand of metallic pearls as well. One of them is gone. I only had five. They're absolutely ginormous. Four of these are left. It comes boxed as well. Again, can you imagine? Can you imagine getting like a, a really lovely, I don't know, gold, whatever your precious metal of choice is, um, but replicating the ripple effect of a pearl in a class? Oh, that would be amazing. Yeah, can you imagine? You could cast that. Yeah. You could cast a, a silver or gold pearl. You could, you could make a mould of it and then have a, a gold one amongst. And that, or you can make it into a clasp. So it would be the mould of the pearl, but you'd have it in precious metal. Oh. That would be an amazing clasp. That's would. your idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can you imagine? We're at 999. We're over allocated. We've got four available, three figures. One's been confirmed already. Oh, I can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> Let's match it, though. We're going to match the price of the previous opportunity. Oh, Absolutely so amazing. Ripple pearls are astonishingly expensive because they're, they're, they're like the new trend, you know, you, you, you know, to get pearls which aren't the traditional spherical round. It's, you know, for the, for, I don't know. Well, I want to say younger generation because I don't think it is just the younger generation. I think it's of all ages. Yeah. But for people that are looking for something a little bit, a, a break from the mould, I guess, something mm. that's different that you don't see on every single high street. You most definitely wouldn't see this level of rarity on the high street and certainly not at, the, at that price point that we did previously. We are going to match it. Jackie, you've done it. Congratulations. They're ginormous. Probably some of the biggest pearls you've actually seen on your screens. You've got to remember, going back to, um, going back to what we were discussing, how sizable the mollusk shells themselves would actually have to be to house. And they would yeah. be, it would be one pearl per mollusk. How long would it take to get a strand? Like, you're just hoping that you're going to get these... Well, it depends on the temperature of the water as well, but right. some pearls can grow um, a millimetre of nacre per year. Oh, wow. It does depend on the temperatures of the water. Uh, we shouldn't be able to get one for £199. No. Pounds. No. You've got a whole strand, as Debbie just said, and they're totally natural. Yeah, as strands like this, as our suppliers have said to us, look, it's not impossible, it's not impossible to bring, but it is astonishingly expensive. That's the, literally their words. Um, we are waiting on confirmations because there are literally only five. We're super over-allocated on this. Fourteen of you have it in baskets. Jackie, you've got yours. Well done. Sit back and enjoy, my lovely. You've got the most unbelievable deal. I've also got Teresa, Andrea, Carol, Deborah, Helen, Cumbria, Anne, Joanne, uh, Maker, Elizabeth, Merseyside, Anne Lanarkshire, Gabrielle, I can see you there as well. Anne in Cardiff, you've got yours. Carolyn Devon, you've got yours, well done. Jackie in Essex, so I've got two left. Rita, I can see you there. I've got two left. Literally two of these left. Oh, Jill, you're there as well. Oh, I can't. Oh, this is tense, isn't it? <laughs> They're it is absolutely tense. huge in their size. Absolutely huge. 
You've got, again, to get to form a pearl of that size takes a huge amount of time investment. And again, you don't, you know, you can't just go, hmm, let me have a little look, see the pearl. You know, you can't just have a little look and then put him back. You literally have to keep everything crossed and hope for the best that yeah. there is going to be a culture pearl within that mollusk. And, and even then, if there's, you know, are they going to have that natural colour? Are they going to have that natural beauty? Are they going to have that very rare sought after rippling? We've got one left. 20 of you with it in your baskets. Oh. 21 now, there you go. There is only one chance remaining. So congratulations. Some of you want fours and threes and twos. We don't have that quantity. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Um, oh, amazing. Don't forget you've got a wonderful selection of garnets coming up. Don't forget you've also got your amylites and ammonite coming up as well. So I'm really excited to talk to you about that. Um, shall we do, oh, this is pretty. The single or the strand oh oh that's really pretty how often do we see keshis like this i was just gonna say i don't think i ever have these are pure nacre and i've got a lovely powerpoint on this i don't know if we can actually show it roscoe oh, i love yeah. the color as well because these are literally natural little stowaways <laughs> they are i love that when they you are say that. little stowaways it makes me want them even more <laughs> <laughs> that just just spontaneously decided to uh, to form pure nacre. So if heaven forbid you were to cut one in half, you wouldn't find a nucleated bead in the centre. It would literally be uh, nacre through and through. That's why they have some of the most amazing luster. Asyl uh, um, is a, a highly respected, amazing jewellers, and they've got a lovely article talking about keshi pearls. And I'll just share with. You. I mean, look at those lovely designs. Um, just there, you've got these wonderful irregular-like shapes, um, and they say one of the many types of pearls. Um, the brightest luster comes from the keshi pearl, beloved for their organic silhouette and their incredibly high luster. Keshis are often used by jewellery designers to make unusual, one-of-a-kind pieces that stand out from the crowd and become wearable expressions of one's individuality. Keshis also create distinctive strands for a pearl lover who needs the occasional statement piece in her fine jewellery wardrobe. Um, here we go. And, and by the way, all pearl varieties can produce keshis. So you're looking at Tahitians, you're looking at South Seas. They produce keshi pearls oh, as well. They? Yeah. Um, little stowaways even there. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Keshis are nothing but nacre. Because keshis do not form around a nucleus, they consist uh, of only pure nacre. For this reason, keshi pearls have the very highest luster. There is nothing inside to block the reflection of light. And that beautiful glow of a keshi luster is remarkable, almost breathtaking. Keshis are highly prized for their val uh, valuable because of their remarkable luster. Uh, since they are purely precious material, they are sold by weight like a gemstone. Uh, um, I uh, not always the case, but when collected and, uh, and designed into magnificent strand or a wearable work of art as jewellery, they become even more valuable. Yeah, it, absolutely. That makes sense, doesn't it? You know, when, it, when you've finished commissioning and making your designs, they're always going to have that much more desirability. Um, Keshis form naturally during the cultivation, um, uh, during cultivation and can form in any type of nacreous pearl. Uh, when the cultured pearl is developing inside an oyster, sometimes the mollusk secretes more nacre than necessary. Nacre is that precious, lustrous substance that makes up a pearl. The excess nacre deposits on the lip of the oyster and over time becomes a keshi. Uh, because they develop in such a natural process, keshis always have organic shapes. Some are long and thin, others are compact and intricate. All are beautiful. I totally, totally they agree. Are. Pure nacre, pure luster. And they are all over the catwalk at the moment as you can see just here beautiful i love those long line necklaces so and I'm she looks fabulous so making myself one of those yes <laughs> she looks gorgeous doesn't she um keshi keshi pearls are worn with pride uh, for centuries by princesses of arabian kingdom uh, their special luster creates a remarkable radiance when worn on the skin pile them high near the face in fun chic styles and or layers i love it i love this article um and you can see there's some south sea pearls you can see in your lovely keshis you, again you can see it on the red carpet this is tahitian pearls in your beautiful keshis um there's some lovely Again, South Sea pearls with diamonds in between keshi pearls, surrounding beautiful calibrated morganites in these. Just lovely and, and, and very expensive. Now, I've got 20 available opportunities of this strand. Totally natural. Natural colour. 
They're so artisan. They're so yeah. you can really can make some beautiful individual jewelry with this. You know, I, d I like to wear things that stand out that you can't get anywhere else, and you can certainly make something with a strand like this that fits that criteria. I mean, they're just gorgeous. Look at that natural colour. Yeah, that's amazing, isn't it? Natural. It's, it's literally ultraviolet, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We could stop here. I don't know what the price of the Asal pieces of jewellery were, but I've, I'm guessing it would probably be around about four figures and then some. We're going to do a big crash, but the next price crash is not even where we're closing. I've got 20 available opportunities. Get ready, pure nacre, natural little stowaways, natural amazing colours. That's not your price. We should be stopping there, absolutely. You've got a full strand, full 38 centimetre strand. Um, look at it, literally, greens, purples, pinks, blues, like a cobalt blue as yeah. well, all mother nature, all mother nature doing. And when you consider, let's bring it a little bit, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, closer to reality. Monica Vaneda, still an expensive jewellery house, widely respected for her amazing designs. A single Keshi pearl on a, on a pendant is still, currently in the sale, it's still £112. And it's not naturally purple either, so you no, pay a premium true. for this colour. It's still £112 for one. You're getting an entire strand. Do you think we're stopping at £99.99? No. Maker, maker, maker. I can see somebody who wants four. West Midlands, Karen in Berkshire, I can see you there. I've got 20 available. We're going to give you a huge saving today. Look at all the anonymous makers on the phone lines. Is this a, is this a, first, a first purchase, maybe? I think we've got lots of new buyers getting involved on this one. Oh, incredible. What a first purchase. £69. You can get it home today with a 0% interest split payment of £34.50. and pence. Natural Keshi pearls. Just beautiful, beautiful, pure nacre, organic ripples of luster. Lovely. Love them. Love them. So have you noticed that you start whispering when something's really nice and beautiful? You start, because your voice you, goes quiet. Because you want them. You do. And you're trying to keep it a secret. Everything that I've wanted so far is sold out. I know. <laughs> I know, me too. Because it's wish so lovely. List it. Oh, yeah, wish list, I forgot about that. Add them to your wish list if you do miss out, because believe me, um, our call centre do ring you if anything falls back oh, into stock. Yeah, yeah okay. they do. I've had phone calls quite a few times. So if something is, if you love it and you can't stop thinking about it, add it to your wish list and our call centre will call you if it does. You know, somebody might change their mind or whatever, mm. um, or maybe a payment doesn't go through. Our call centre will give you a call. Um, we're going to close this auction in 60 seconds because that is too low, far too low. Look at that intensity of colour. Um, hello to you, Alison, saying, uh, morning team, really enjoying the show. I bought the lavender pearls, £100, uh, uh, knotted them. Uh, they've been valued at £800. <gasps> amazing. Wow. Amazing. Wow. £800. I'm not surprised, though. Our pearls are amazing. Just 700 quid profit. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Well done. Thank you so much, Alison, for, ne uh, for, for, for messaging in. It's not unrealistic, and we say it on a regular basis, you know, and I can only ever talk about the experiences I've personally yeah. had with pills. You know, my experience are, they are astonishingly expensive. Pills can even be more expensive than that of your diamonds and, uh, and mm. other gemstones mm. um, when they are naturally coloured like this. I had just 20. In eight seconds, we're going to remove the graphics. You can still get it. There are only five left, though. Uh, Susan, Tina, Linda, Rita, and and Margaret, Michael, Linda, Gabrielle, Jackie, Karen. I've got Maya, Karen, Susan, Dorset, Maker, and West Midland still there on the, uh, within baskets. Good luck. Good luck, good luck. Um, oh, there are only eight of these. Fireball pearls. These were how I, I, I mostly saw them being sold over in Tucson. There are just eight chances. Um, yeah, to get fireball pearls in a strand now is pretty much impossible. Um, most retailers will literally sell them um, on their own. Okay, look, look at that, pure nacre. Well, it's not pure nacre, you have got your nuclear speed, but look at that lovely fireball blaze. 29.99, that's the lowest ever price point. We are literally gonna bring the graphics on and pretty much remove them because we launched this at 99.99 just because we're having a little uh, a little run of beautiful pills. So take advantage of that deal, amazing. I do, this is the bundle I bought. I bought this bundle. 
The last of the pearls for now. I bought this bundle. And do you know why? That strand. That, yes. I, I love the other strands as well, but I, I bought this bundle purely because of this one. Little seed pearls. And they're so useful. The How many? Pearls. There's 50 available. Oh, that's good then. I've bought this and I've bought some of the black jade dye and I've bought some of the uh, um, the Kotan recently and I haven't I haven't even thought about how I'm going to put it all together but these are the pearls that I want to put with it but this is the pearl strand that really gra grabbed my attention because again look how lustrous they are and the size mm. the smaller size pearls are incredibly usually very expensive because it's much di more difficult to drill oh of course oh yeah yeah, you lose, a, you, you lose a lot of the little ones, don't you? Because they literally split and shatter. The last of the pearls for now. Don't forget, you've got your beautiful garnets coming up. You've got Amalite in today's show. And you've got the beautiful masterclass, which I'm so excited about with our lovely Debbie. There are 50 available opportunities. Pearls don't have to be... Well, we know this. We've learned this. I, 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 in fact, you probably knew it already. But today, for example, you've had your perfectly spherical... You've had your ripple pearls. You've had some keshi pearls. They come in lots of different varieties, like we do. Yeah. Here you've got some lovely, I hate the terminology, but a potato pearl, which is more oval. Um, you've got your ringed pearls, where you've got these lovely sort of, uh, you can see them just here, can't you? These lovely markings, again, that form naturally. You've got pearl nuggets, which are these gorgeous organic shapes. This bundle absolutely flew. Um, genuine culture pearls, not simulant or fake, not glass, like Gucci had, for example. They had glass pearls, didn't they? That's £10 per strand. You happy? Very happy, thank you very much. Back in the day, if I put these, if these were in a kit, you can imagine it, four strands of pearls, it would be like a Linda boutique kit. Do you remember yeah. those? Oh, yeah. If, you, if these were in a Linda boutique kit, they'd probably have a couple of sterling silver components yeah. with them, maybe some silk and maybe one, uh, one other gemstone. Linda always used to like rose quartz or something like that, or smoky quartz. Mm. This, would be, this would probably be a 50, 60 pound kit at least. Which I think is good. At least, yeah. It's great. We're not stopping there. I bought this bundle. Oh, it's making me want to... I might do that. I might work with this tonight. Glass of wine. Make a long... Like that, like yeah, that necklace. That's what I want to do. Just keep threading. Yeah. Would you knot in between the pearls? No. Just keep threading. I would rosary link because they go further, and you can put things in between, very sort of Chanel esque. Oh. Well, at twenty nine ninety nine, uh, that's <laughs> achievable, isn't it? It's achievable. That, that is. beautiful. That. Do you know what, Debbie? I might steal that photograph, literally off the Keshi Pearl PowerPoint, and do that. And do that. Create it. Just oh, really beautiful. inspired by those because you can put them over your head again if yeah. you don't want them so long. Oh, he's going again. That's not the last the of the pearls, says our Ross. I'm going again. I've given you loads of closeout deals today, and I've loved the fact that you're enjoying the pearls as much as we are. They are beautiful, aren't they? I, I, I adore pearls, and I think they look absolutely amazing. We've got Amalite, another organic gemstone, coming up as well. Amazing garnets coming up. I mean, imagine any of these. I'm just going to hold them together. Can you imagine just dropping in some Zavarite yeah. garnets in amongst there? Yes, please. Um, or how about, how about then some gradients of green, type A jade. We're going to do a close out. Imagine those together. I love those two together. I think they're stunning. Oh, it does look aqua, doesn't it? I agree. That's a meter as well. Yeah, it's amazing. Do you love pearls and, and jade together? Absolutely love it. Me too. I wear a lot of that together. Me too. In fact, probably all the jewellery that I've made recently has been jade and pearls. Yeah. <laughs> that combination. I have to say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Close out deal. This is coming up, by the way. The gradients of green. Four strands. I'm fairly sure I paid more than that. So you are definitely getting an amazing closeout deal here. Fabulous for you. Um, the, I mean, I was happy. I was, I was happy at 39 dollars It's £10 a strand. Yeah, for, yeah. For it's very good. Pearls. Rupal, Sandra, Veronica, Mary, Cumbria, Richard, Anelia, Hello to Sheila, Michael, Karen, Rita, Gabrielle, Sorel, well done, Anne, Sheila and Lucy, Christina, Kate, Patricia, Sandra. Super duper busy today and we've still got so much to bring you. Do you know what I also like the idea of? I've got a grossular garnet strand, which is often quite, well, as the name suggests, grossular is named after gooseberries. Oh. So it's got that kind of gooseberry-like yeah, colour. Yeah. Um, I love the idea of that. 
Look how pretty they are together. They are beautiful together. And it's um, I haven't really found anything that I don't like with pearls. No, <laughs> that's true. That is true. Can I keep this bundle of pearls with me for a second? Because look, uh, uh, you know, when we do the, the garnets, because look how beautiful that is together. Can I keep it here in the studio? It looks amazing, doesn't it? Love that combination. Um, hello to you, Kerry, saying, morning, ladies. Morning. Um, I bought a strand of nucleated pearls for £69, valued at four fifty. after I knotted them and added a 925 class. Amazing, 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 amazing. I'm so pleased. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, and do you know what? I, I, I genuinely wholeheartedly believe the, these valuations. Absolutely. Um, and some of them, I think you could, be, you wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised at four figures. Um, okay, I'm going to do one more closeout deal before the break and your deal of the day. You know what? We've, we've been ignoring the clock today. It doesn't really matter as long as we get all of this yeah, in definitely. and everything. We'll get there. Let's do a major closeout deal. Type A, not B or C. <laughs> loads. Oh, loads, loads, loads. Oh, I, I love the colours within that. Yeah, you've got you've got your literally. It's like an ombre, isn't it? Mm. Um, a meter length. I hope your Daisy's watching right now. <laughs> it's her birthday on Saturday. I'll be getting a call, Mum. <laughs> you had a, a gradients of green. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's no better time to get it. You get involved than right now. Literally knotting this in a beautiful long line over the head necklace it doesn't get any more elegant than that in my eyes. I think that's so beautiful. And it's something that you know you you wear this, you make this intricate jewelry, and you think, oh, I love that, it looks amazing, and you wear it like once a year. Mm. Jewelry that you make with pearls and jade, or this is my experience anyway. It just goes on every day. It goes on with All jeans. All the time. It goes on with leggings. It goes on with yeah. a blouse. It goes on with a t-shirt. It goes on with anything. Yeah. And that's why I think why I make it so much because it's so wearable. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I've got pieces of jewellery that never see the light of day. Me too. I, I, I love, don't get me wrong, but I don't have the occasions. Whereas r rounds, beaded jewellery... It, it, there is that sense of nostalgia. But let's not lose sight of the fact that this is type A jade. You know, type A jade, I think historically has always been in a spherical strand like this and is astonishingly expensive. This has not been on your screen since last year. Oh dear, Ross has just said, you're about to get a massive closeout deal, even bigger than I realized. 540 carats of type A Burmese jade. It is a meter strand. Major, major, major deal. Oh, really? I, I, I don't know. I don't know, Ross. That was pretty mega. He says, okay, this competes with that closeout deal of the pearls. There are only 30, though. Look how beautiful that is mm. as a combination. So much made in heaven. Though. It is. It, it literally is. Oh, my goodness me. All the history of your jade. And it's lovely as well. I'm finding that it's lovely to see sort of a uh, um, younger generation. Like, my niece is 16. Um, she's doing her A-levels now. And, uh, you know, how enthusiastic she is about gemstones and learning about jade in particular. You know, she's really fascinated by jade. Um, well, yeah, this has been celebrated for literally thousands and thousands of years. Green still is the most sought-after colour. It comes in a wide selection of... You get your apple blossom greens you can get your imperial greens you can get your moss and snow you can get colors like your lavenders and your blacks and all of the above but every single one of those let's be frank is expensive and 1295 pounds is a great deal for a, you could make easily two necklaces out of that yeah definitely full beaded necklaces yes yeah. 540 carats Crazy, says Ross. Massive closeout deal. First time to air in a long, long, long time. Oh, gosh, that is good, isn't it? Do you know what this makes me think of, Ross? Like, um, do you remember that, was it, I think it was Sotheby's, those two beaded necklaces that sold, um, and they were gradients of colours. Mm. Really simple, knotted necklaces that sold didn't they sell for like two grand or something like Is that it jadeite yeah jadeite and it what well, i'm not talking like imperial colors no it was there it is yeah christie's here we go so two jadeite beaded necklaces no clasp 
literally just knotted together, and I'll give you the details, each composed of a series of very coloured jade beads measuring approximately 14 uh, to 15, let's say. Okay, so they're a little bit bigger. Um, one necklace 70 centimetres long, the other 67 centimetres long, accompanied by two reports, uh, laboratories stating that no evidence of treatment was observed exactly like yours. Um, so these went to auction in 2014, price realised, look at that, 2,250. That's amazing. And I didn't realise, I've learned something because we're uh, recently, because um, I'm in the process of actually sort of uh, selling my mum's house. Um, I didn't realise that it's that easy to sell on these auction sizes at sites like Sotheby's and everything. I didn't realise how it is really simple to oh, do. Is it? So if you uh, give it a go, this is a perfect gemstone to do that with because they specialised in these levels of rarity. We're not stopping at 499. If you think about it that way, 499. Even if you split that price there in half. We're at 199 pounds for type A grade. That's not why we're closing. That's where we launched it. Do you know when you think, gosh, I wish there was more minutes in the day. I wish I had more time. Mm, <laughs> because I, I would 100% be doing things like that and, 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 and approaching Christie's and Sotheby's and, and all the above. We should. We should be doing it, you know. I suppose, yeah. We should. It's just time at the moment. We're at the launch price. 200 sold at that price. With Dave. This was a Dave strand, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember it. Oh, how many have we got left? 23 left. Should we do one of the biggest closeout deals? 23. Listen, it's not a viable quantity. Let's, let's do it. Let's get it gone, as, as Wayne would say. Get it gone. Let's get it gone. Not it. That's what he said, but he put the price in, and, and Ross says, I don't understand why he's gone that low. Do you know what? Just make the most. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because you know what, if you knot it, and okay, half that price, because it's talking about two necklaces. So let's say that's 1,000, let's say 1,100 for ease, ease of maths, yeah? Um, we're already at 199 pounds. Mm. If you knotted this, and that's probably with just a silk, there's no, there's no, and one of the beads looks to be chipped, actually. I don't know if it is, but anyway. Um, but no class, there's no precious metal in those at all. <coughs> Do it. Approach, approach Christie's, approach Sotheby's. See what they say. What's the worst that can happen? You've, got, you've gained yourself an amazing piece of jewellery at £99. 90 pounds. Yeah. That's half. Yeah. Okay. But Wayne said it was okay, so. Oh, okay. That's such a large strand for it that, is. Look, for that cost. It, 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 it's easy when it's sort of draped over the back of my hand right now. You, do, you, you lose sight of the fact that's over 500 it's carats. It's a large strand. You get a lot, a lot of gems for your money there. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's a lot of the long line necklaces we were talking about that were on the catwalk walk will be thousands and they certainly will not be jadeite. No. That no way. No. And a lot of the times, those necklaces are f fake, fake um, gemstones. Like and they're Chanel. still thousands. Yeah. And you can make something so stunning with that strand. You really could. It, it's beautiful, isn't it? And, and again, everybody loves how... Do you know you were saying, like, like Daisy was saying, oh, Mum, there's something about yeah. it. Yeah. There, there is. And that's been a feeling, I think, that we've shared for, um, for, for, for literally hundreds, thousands of years. I mean, imagine this knotted, literally. How beautiful is that? It's stunning. It really is. And so wearable. Yeah, absolutely. You know, spring, summer, and throughout the, you know, throughout the year as well. You could and look how it lifts, sorry to interrupt, look how yeah, it lifts your outfit. Yeah. It, I just find that jewellery lifts your outfit. You know, you, you have no jewellery and suddenly you put jewellery on and it's something else. Mm. And it can lift your mood. And look at how that's just lifted you by putting that on. Do you know, we could talk about gemstones, the history, <laughs> etc. And I know a lot of you know all this. But let's just look at it. Let's just admire. Look how beautiful they are. They are, so they are so beautiful. And I always say it, valuation, the story, the rarity and everything is a bonus. Mm. That's a bonus um, that, that you know, we can get excited about afterwards. 
ultimately we should be drawn by the beauty of the gemstone but yeah. naturally everybody gravitates to um to to to, to, to jadeite particularly your type a um now we are going to hold this for 60 seconds and then we're going to dive immediately straight into a break we're coming back with your beautiful garnet that's the biggest zavarite garnets that i've ever brought to air bar none um that's your beautiful beautiful grossulas we can't hold it at this price for very long um so do make sure you do check them out you've got amylite coming up as well i've been nagging and nagging and nagging i hope i'm right in this i hope you want amylite because if you don't <laughs> then i'm gonna have to go and eat a big old slice of humble pie um yeah i've been saying look this is such an exciting stone and our sister channel really get it as well so i think there's going to be collectors migrating across the two um, I adore Amalite, yeah, and it's fascinating uh, in terms of its history. 20 seconds to make your confirmations. I've got just six left. We're hugely over allocated. Um, amazing. Wait until you see. In fact, let's do it now. Look at your deal of the day. Look at your Zavarite garnet. It's coming up in a few moments' time. Plus, Debbie's amazing masterclass. We'll be back after this. <laughs> Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those New Year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewellery Maker, Sewing Street and Hobby Maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start, as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker or Sewing Street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8am to 1pm on Jewelry Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8am and 1 to 6pm. And 8am to 1pm on Sewing Street. to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Welcome 
welcome back. How are we all? Um, my name's Elle. Nice to meet you. And I'm joined by the fabulous, fabulous Debbie. Hello. Oh, do you know? Good morning. What a show it's been so far. We've had such gorgeous things and we've got gorgeous things to come as well, haven't we? We really have. You've got, between now and the end of the show at one o'clock, you've got garnet of lots of different varieties. You've got demantoid Esque. I'm not saying it is specifically demantoid. It's actually grossular, which demantoid is a part of that uh, type, if you like, um, which is absolutely beautiful and certainly one of the rarest varieties. You've got my all-time favourite gemstone, Zavarite, literally is your deal of the day right now. And they are hands down the biggest Zavarites I've ever seen. Hands down. You've still got Amalite, a one locational gemstone that we haven't brought to air in a long, long, long time. And also the story of the Amalite, how it forms. So you've got Ammonites itself, you know, and then at 12 o'clock, we've got the most beautiful masterclass, which I'm really excited about. Yeah, there's a lot to squeeze in between now and the top of the show. But starting your amazing garnet showcase is arguably the most in-demand variety of garnet in the world. Zavarite garnet. Do you know, it's so funny. When I was over um, in South... I, I almost hate, hate saying it. When I was over in Tucson. But um, again, it's, I say that because I want to share the experiences that I had with you over there. Um, every time I approached, say, a coloured gemstone dealer and one of the high quality ones, the ones that the... So the AGS awards, you know, mm. the biggest events. Mm. Because if you can imagine like a whole city which has been taken over by gemstones, you had your fossils and your minerals, you had your, your rocks and your beads, you had all different selections, all different varieties, and the AGS was like the most expensive, oh, okay. the red carpet one, if you like. Um, it's funny, you'd have conversations and you'd be looking at, say, the, the, the gemstones, and, and they, uh, uh, I kid you not, literally about, I don't know, four or five different ones. Have you seen my Zavarite garnet? If they had a Zavarite garnet, they'd always want to show it to you. Because it was one of the gemstones of the year. Yeah. Um, and it still is incredibly popular. But here is a gemstone regarded as the Rolls Royce of greens. Because you know what? An emerald, I love emeralds, but they are in the shadows of a Zavarite garnet in terms of its intensity and its vivacity. And I've got an article here that talks about, in fact, it's, it's sections of different articles that really cherry picked, if you like, at the best bits. But Harry Platt, Tiffany's and Co. in 1967, uh, spoke, uh, speaks about this beautiful gemstone, a relatively new gemstone in terms of market exposure, but it is one of the oldest forming gemstones in the gem kingdom. Forming two billion years ago, before the mighty Mount Kilimanjaro, Africa's highest mountain, was even formed, and before the dinosaurs trekked the earth. Zavarite began its journey. That's amazing. This wonderful gentleman as well, uh, uh, Campbell Bridges, um, his son was actually at Tucson, and I was hoping to actually uh, uh, to speak to him, but again, everybody wanted to speak to him, oh, as yeah. you can imagine. Um, so in 1967, Scottish gemologist Campbell Bridges discovered um, a beautiful green gemstone hidden in a potato-shaped rock in Tanzania. After performing gemological tests, he declared it a grossulite, an extremely rare member of the garnet family. Unfortunately, very shortly after discovering the gem, the Tanzanian government nationalised all mines and Campbell was forced to leave the country. Not a man known to give up, and with Tiffany and co. having already shown interest in the gemstone, Campbell traced the vein in which it was originally found back to Kenya. And in 1971, after searching for the gem for over a year, he rediscovered it in the Zavo National Park. In order to protect his find, Campbell resided in treetops using a pet python to guard his gemstones. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, <coughs> Campbell was finally able to officially register the deposit and obtain permission to mine. In 1974, Campbell agreed with the then president of Tiffany's & Co., Henry Platt, uh, that the gemstone should be named after the park in which it was found. The name was Zavarite. And it is breathtakingly beautiful. But when we say the Rolls Royce of greens, 
I don't think I'm the only person that totally agrees with this article. Zavarite has earned its place as one of the world's finest colour gemstone. Its high refractive index and dispersion levels translate into wonderful brilliance, and it is far less, uh, um, uh, sorry, and its brilliance far less than its cousin Emerald. Its stunning pure green hues, durability, purity, and rareness have attracted gem collectors and jewellery lovers alike. But look at it there, straight away you can see, you know, it's the Zavarite that most people will gravitate towards. Yeah, definitely. Not all, of course, but most people would. Zavarite is, uh, is the highest priced garnet on the market today. Um, in the lower, lighter color grades, it's relatively easy to come, to, come by. Um, hang on, I can't read it right. Come by. Uh, in the in up to one carat in size. However, fine top color, clean Zavarite is harder to come across and stones over two carats are rare. Please remember that now. Size, again, plays a big impact, if you like, on the price of your Zavarite. And we are about to bring you huge Zavarite garnets as well. Stones with deeply saturated pure green color will command the highest price. It is vital to make sure you do your research before buying your Zavarite, as there are so many different factors to consider. But um, this is broken down in the most simple terms. You do, when we're talking about uh, color gemstones, there's three criteria. There's the saturation. What's the color? Yeah if you like. Then you've got tone, how light and dark it is. And then you've got hue. So if it's got secondary colors with it as okay. well. Saturation, how intense it is. Light and dark, if you can imagine it on a dimmer switch. Mm -hmm. And then hue is a secondary color. So we've actually, you can see it there, literally boxed off the idyllic color of your Zavarite. Not too dark. The one photographed previously was actually a bit too dark, but not too dark, not too light. Um, jewelry oh, editor wow. wrote about this beautiful gemstone. Yeah, price and application. Blue Book Zavarite ring with specitites, which is another grossular garnet as well. It's just beautiful color contrast. I mean, look at it. It's absolutely amazing. Beautiful, beautiful stone. This Tiffany Blue Book wave basket ring features an alluring 11.79 carat, wow, it's a giant oval <laughs> Zavarite as a center stone. Um, the stunning green gemstone has a long history with the brand originally uncovered by British geologist Campbell Bridges, who was working as a consultant for Tiffany's & Co at the time. A thousand times more rare than an emerald. You know, and re emeralds are very rare. Um, this precious green gemstone sits within um, a yellow basket of specitites. This ring is priced, there we go, at $115,000. Yeah, it's expensive. Um, Van Cleef and Arpels have got this beautiful uh, butterfly ring. They're tiny little melee stones. You know, beautiful color, lovely design. It's Van Cleef and Arpels, so you do expect it to be expensive. 16 grand, but they are tiny, tiny little Zavarites. Yeah. Um, um, Elizabeth Gage, seventeen and a half thousand pounds. Love that. It's beautiful, it's isn't lovely, it? Lovely, really. Yeah, amazing. I like that kind of vintage vibe that you get with this one. Um, this is probably my favourite. Oh, this is the Queen of Sheba Zavarite wow. ring. I love it. The marquise, the texturing. Um, Lydia Cortil, um, yeah, uh, price and application. So, which usually means that I can't afford it. And me. <laughs> Unfortunately. But it's stunning, isn't it? When we think of gems, we imagine ancient stones that have been in circulation for millennia. Lapis lazuli, yeah. jadeite, for example. Set into jewels and crowns of civilizations long lost. Yet this is not true of all gemstones. Gemology is constantly an ev uh, evolving field, and some of the newer discoveries are the most exciting, such as Zavarite garnet. Though the best known garnets are deep red, garnets can be found in a variety of hues, including orange, purple, and rarest of all, green. Green garnets are known as Zavarite garnets, uh, named in homage to the Zavo National Park in Ken Kenya near the borders of Tanzania. It was here that the rich deposit of green gemstone was discovered in the late 1960s by, by geologist Campbell Bridges, the same man who found Tanzanite. Hmm, I'm going to be tentative on that last statement, but... Um, yeah, but there's, a, there's speculation on the old Tanzanite. But listen, we can only give Campbell Bridges the credit when it comes to uh, when it comes to this gemstone. It's, a, it's got an amazing history, hasn't it? It really does. It really does. Um, but just lastly, you think about it. It's been formed for form fifth, two billion years before Mount Kilimanjaro. And we only discovered it recently. 
Over the 50 years since its discovery, the, uh, the price of Zavrite garnet has escalated, particularly in the past few. When Campbell Bridges died in 2009, uh, 2009 his son Bruce Bridges estimates that the price of the gem increased by 800% in the following seven years. Um, I would liken it to, uh, to, to very much to when um, a famous painter dies, their artwork goes up. Mm. And that's his son saying that. Bruce said in an interview with the National Jewelry magazine, I don't know too many other gemstones that could imagine that sort of appreciation. 800%. You can literally see the Zavo part. You can see how it literally stretches across. It, it, it straddles, doesn't it? The border of Tanzania into Kenya. So first discovered in Tanzania, however, first mined in Kenya. Um, it's, you know, all that. It's, it's lovely to learn the stories of your gemstones. The fact that literally Campbell Bridges resided in treetops with his pet python to protect both himself, of course, Isn't and also his, um, his gemstones. Um, but, you know, all of that, if it's not a beautiful stone, then, yeah, it's just a story, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, believe me, it's a beautiful stone. <laughs> it's one of the, In fact, I'm going to bring these pearls back. This is why I asked lovely Kinga to, um, to keep them here in the studio. Because if you can imagine... Oh, my goodness, in fact, well, I've got to get this deal of the day. If you can imagine these with... The biggest Savorite garnets that we've ever done here at Jewelry Maker, bar none. Oh, they're lovely. They're so beautiful. Yeah, aren't they're they? lovely. How many have we got, Ross? There's a hundred. Look at the size of these Zav Look from the distance here. Look, look, look at that intensity of green, the Rolls Royce of green gemstones out there. But they are huge. Remember what we said at the beginning? They were talking about the size of, of Zavrite garnets. Finding anything over one carat is incredibly rare. To find two, here it is. However, fine top color. No, no, no. Hang on. Where is, this? Where is it talking about the carat weight? Carat weight. There. That's it. Um, fine top color. Clean Zavrite is harder to come across. And stones over two carats are rare. Um, and the price per carat jumps dramatically. Um, I don't know what size these are, uh, these are averaging out at, but they're the biggest that I've actually seen. Mm. It's natural, beautiful color, natural color. There's a hundred available opportunities. I hold them against the pearls because I think they elevate that color even more. They really do. Very few people in the world can say that they actually own Zavrite garnet because it is extremely expensive, extremely. In fact, I've, I've shown um, in the past or mentioned in the past, I was watching those, uh, do you remember the, so those um, fine jewellery or watches or supercar pawn shops oh, down yeah. in London? Yeah. I was watching one of those, um, those programmes and um, a, a jewellery designer actually came in and she was trying to pawn some of her jewellery to raise some funds. And, of course, they get into the story, what you're raising funds for, and she's like, I need to, I, you know, I want to make a piece of jewellery. Um, basically, I've got a special commission for, uh, for a Hollywood A-lister. Oh, interesting. What gemstone are you looking to buy? Zavrite Garnet. Who's the Hollywood A-lister? Angelina Jolie. Ah. So this literally, a very successful British designer um, had to sell some of her pieces to buy the Zavrite garnet to then make the piece of jewellery, to sell it to Angelina Jolie to go and buy it back. It's an, it's an expensive stone. We're going to open your deal of the day, open for 35 carats of natural Zavrite at double figures. I don't know. I, I, it's, it's my all-time favourite gemstone. We rarely ever get to talk about it, though, because of its extreme rarity. Mm. Look how beautiful this it's is. It's so special to be able to own and make with something this rare. Yeah. Because I love having something that not a lot of other people have. <laughs> and people will notice as well because of its yeah. colour. Yeah, and they'll ask you what it is, and then you've got this lovely story behind it, and that's one of the joys of making jewellery, is being able to work with a gemstone like this, in my opinion. I totally agree. Mm. You can literally say this formed two billion years ago. That's what I mean, the story, it's all about Two story. billion years ago. And we only found it in the late 1960s. That's incredible, yeah. isn't it? Amazing. Next price crash. Oh, I can't believe we're doing this. I'm joining you. I love Zavrite. I'm obs oh my goodness me, we shouldn't <laughs> be able to get it under 50 quid. Think back, think back to the Van Cleef and Arpels. They're literally what we call melee size. So they'll be millimetres mm, mm, in their size. Well. Beautiful quality, amazing quality. Of course, it's Van Cleef, they're going to be. But melee size uh, Zavrite garnet 
Sixteen thousand pounds. Wow. You know, but but they're not wrong. All the other jewelers and pieces that we've shown you aren't wrong. We're the ones in the wrong because Avrite Garnet should not be a double figure gem. No. The next price crash says Ross in my ear. Is not where we're closing. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm going to do. If you got this bundle, it was available earlier on in the show. How beautiful is that together? It just sings, doesn't it? What, pardon? A pound a carat. But you just said not. Still not your final price. I can't, I can't believe we're actually doing this. I'm obsessed with this gemstone. And I'm amazed. I'll be really honest. I'm amazed that this hasn't, isn't flying out. This isn't, I'm amazed it should be flying out. The rarity and the collectability of Zavarite Garnet. Um, but $34.99. For one of those stones, that would be absolutely incredible. One of the smaller size. Look at the size on this one here. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. An amazing natural colour. That's a pound per carat. When we've just showed, we've spoken about, yeah, increased by 800%. Um, and that's the years after, sadly, Campbell Bridges died. And I think seeing as the rarity i'd probably use these separately mm. so i would probably use them as pendants as charms as a focal centerpiece of mm -hmm. a piece at, like with pearls or whatever so that i could make the strand go and further. I, I, and i agree i think you're you're, you're very i'm being complacent here saying oh imagine these were <laughs> first that's no, a lot you could but, i don't know what they're going to already but for what they are now you could you could use the whole strand you could get two strands well but, if yeah. you, a year ago, I designed a, a, a pendant for, uh, for Gemporia and it had, I wanted it to feature, knowing that Bruce Bridges was going to be over at Tucson, I wanted it to feature a Zavarite garnet. The, the size of the Zavarite garnet was teeny. Tiny, oh, really? tiny, 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 yeah. It was, it was probably, I don't know, barely 20 points. Oh, really? To be yeah, tiny. And it was more than what's on your screens right now. We're going to give you 60 seconds and then we're going to get to your deal of the day price tag. The collectability of this gemstone um, discovered very recently, round about the same time, in the same on the same sort of gem belt, if you like, that stretches across Tanzania right the way into Kenya um, and Mozambique. So really gem rich location. Uh, uh, just incredible. This gemstone was formed prior to that of your tanzanite. Tanzanite formed 585 million years ago. This formed 2 billion years oh, ago. Well, it's I just amazing. My head explodes when I try and think about that. I can't. I, just, I couldn't even write that number. I can't wrap my head around that. No. That I can own that. That I, That's yeah. why I love gemstones. Everything you just 2 said. billion years old. Uh, it's, it's amazing. I need to touch it. I know. 2 billion years old. Think what these, <laughs> these beautiful Zavarites have seen. That's the thing. Think what they've seen. Mm. They've seen all the the, 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 the the Jurassic eras and they have. It's incredible. They've seen Mount Kilimanjaro pop up. <laughs> and who can say that? Who can say that? Zavarite, it, that's just wrong on so many levels. Z Zavarite Garnet, 35 carats, should not be £24.99. We are not going any lower than that. That's an absolutely ridiculous deal, quite frankly. You know, I could, I, we, could have, we could have literally taken this deal of the day over to America, over to Arizona, literally set up our own little booth and sold them um, in loose stones, absolutely, individually and sold them at a higher price than what's on mm. your screens right now. All day long, even at £30 per stone, each. We could have done. That's the reality. It's Zavarite Garnet. This is one of the world's... It's, it's regarded widely as the, the, the most beautiful green gemstone in existence. And I know that's all very much in the eye of the beholder. Um, but it certainly has the most incredible um, energy and presence about it. We are only going to hold it on your screens at this price for, for a limited time. I've got so much to bring you in a very short period of time. We've still got Amalite. We've still got to bring you that beautiful uh, um, Hessonite. We've got that kind of demantoid -esque beautiful greens coming up as well. Um, and you're noticing all these strands. So there's loads to squeeze in. Check out your baskets. Check out your baskets. Now, for those of you that are looking forward to um, the Amalite stroke Ammonite, um, showcase, then we're going to put these on pre-order. How many have you got, Roscoe? 
You got a hundred of each. They are brand new. They've never been on your screens before. Just cool. So cool. Just as little ornaments. Do you know how old these are? How old? 66 million years old. It's blown my mind again. I see bead bezeled round one of these ones. I think I did it for a show. Once upon a time, there was a little squid-like creature living in there. That's what I love. Oh, and imagine that in um, sterling silver bezel wire. Oh. You can pre-order on these. They are brand new. There's a hundred of each of them. Um, yeah, you've got the two different, you can see the iridescence in there. It's just down to personal choice, whether you want it to have this sort of more polished effect or whether you prefer it in its more. It's a bit like, you know, when you see megalodon teeth. Yeah. Megalodon teeth are either polished or they're not. So it's just down to personal choice, oh, which right, one okay. you would actually prefer. Oh, look at that. Um, wow. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yes. And the older the uh, ammonite actually gets, the more coils, they grow, they grow little compartments. Also, we've put some of the amylites, um, the loose stones, on pre-order with the corresponding mounts. Now, it won't take you long to do this. Have a little look at prices of amylite elsewhere. It's always considered. Many say that it's actually the rarest gemstone in the world. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of people, actually, a lot of gems clawing at that status. Um, it certainly is rare, though. It's from one location. Um, if you pop along to all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, <coughs> Click watch live. If you scroll down, there's your Zavarite. Oh, there's that pearl bundle, there's the fireball. But if you click on uh, coming up on today's show, they are all there available. Shop ahead on these. Um, and you've got the mounts as well. You can see those just below. Um, so you can choose the color that you wish. Um, and they will be going lower. So how amazing. Look how beautiful. Full chromatic shift. Um, the Ammonites, Ammonites, the Ammonites are always very, very popular and um, they're already flying apparently. I mean, I'm just thinking as well, you know, for, for kids, for, for, for kids projects, I think that would be absolutely as well. Let's do the Grossula. I love this strand and I'm not saying it is Demantoid Garnet. If it was Demantoid Garnet, it would be astonishingly expensive. Um, there's a hundred available, but... Uh, gross, uh, uh, Demantoid is a type of Grossula garnet, usually, uh, like Zavrite, very, very expensive. Um, to simplify it, Grossula is a group of garnet. So in terms of the various families of garnets, Grossula probably features the widest array of colours. Um, the variety of garnet gets its name from the botanical name of gooseberries. <laughs> oh, yeah. It and does look just like gooseberries. This one in particular, like yeah. Um, the, the tones of Grossula garnets are often light to medium, making them a very pe popular gemstone um, uh, in the gemstone world. This is literally off the Gemporia Learning Library, so uh, you can easily have a little look at that. But certain varieties of your Grossula, certain colours, if you like, are incredibly sought after. I love this so strand. So do I. I love that. It is gooseberry-esque, isn't it? You can, almost, you can also have, imagine it having a tart, yeah. a tart-like taste. It's, yeah, it's like Mother Nature, it's just Mother Nature again at, at her finest. And then you've got that, I like the silver in between, like the yeah. separation makes each colour stand out, doesn't it? I love it. I love it. Smooth tumbles, nice long line necklace. Yeah, beautiful. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the long line necklaces with these. So am I. Should we do the most unbelievable deal? Massive price crash, and it's still not your closing prices, our lovely Ross. The phone lines are going to go crazy. Amazing. Um, however, in its purest form, Grossulite is uh, pure white, basically, um, and only becomes different colours, such as pink, green, brown, when found in different chemical compositions. So slight variations, if you like. Um, but yeah, this beautiful, very gooseberry-esque, quite sharp, isn't it? Zesty, light green. We're at 19 99 and you're not stopping there. Oh, again, I'm feeling about, I'm feeling uh, putting it with these lovely pearls. I think that would be absolutely amazing. Um, we don't often get to bring you gemstones like Zavarite, like Grossula uh, garnet. So I am hoping that um, you do love them as much as we do. Look at that. Equally, like your jade, it looks stunning with pearls. And I can imagine, I mean, I've never owned a strand of this, but I can imagine that that looks lovely on anybody's skin tone. Yeah depending on what you put with it. And also mixed metal. You could definitely put gold with that nice. colour green as well, couldn't you? And rose gold. Absolutely. It's, it's just beautiful, isn't it? Look at that colour. You know, it's, it's almost Peridot-esque in its yeah. colour, isn't it? Yeah. You've got that sort of tart, sharp. You can almost, uh, if, it, if it had a taste, it would be quite zesty, wouldn't it? Yeah. 
19.99. There are a ton of you there. Lots of multi buyers getting involved as well. Look how pretty that is. If you want that bundle of pearls, um, I don't know if they're still available. They may well be. There's a couple, okay. Couple still available. Just beautiful. One of the best deals, says Ross. It really is for Grossi Garnet. You know, IGS speak about Grossi Garnet. They talk about uh, Grossi Garnets come in almost every colour, even colourless except blue. However, unlike other garnets, they, uh, they're they rarely red or dark, often light to medium in tone. They make brilliant, vibrant jewellery stones. Yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. I totally agree. Um, but yeah, it tends to be actually quite an expensive variety of the garnet family as well. Tons of you there. It's an absolute steal of a deal, don't you think? And it just looks beautiful, I think. Think about, you, you know, we're looking forward to spring, aren't we? We're looking yes. forward to summer. And yes. I can just see that these like little fresh shoots. They are garden. like, they're like the shoots of the new leaves, aren't they? They're that colour, that fresh green. And you know all that. Brand new. All that aside, they're so pretty. Yeah. It's such a pretty colour, isn't it? It is. Uplifting. Very much so. And natural. Mm. Literally natural. Uh, Jenny, well done. Aisha, Karen, Mary, Anne, Lincolnshire, Irene, Pam, Maria. Hello to you, Lynn, Sandra, Teresa, Frida. New customer, new customer, Louise. How many do I have, Roscoe? We had 100 available, but they are flying. Channel Isles, Nottinghamshire, Maxine, June, Leslie, Suzanne, Pam. If you can, I mean, can you imagine those two together? Oh, come on. Oh. Come on. <laughs> oh, it does. It works, doesn't it? And, and, you know, they're like, you know, almost they're related. They're both grossulars. So absolutely beautiful as a combination. Can you imagine that as a kit, Debbie? Can you imagine that as a long line necklace Ooh. on the catwalk? Yes, please. Yes, and here is Debbie wearing her pearls and grossular garnets. I just interspersed the greens every few pearls. Oh, yes, please. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely stunning. beautiful. 14 99 Well done. Keep on dialing through for this. Not too long until I actually bring you your ammonites and your amylites. I'm going to bring you one more grossular. It's just a slightly different shape. Same carrot weight. Shall I just load them all up? Shall we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's lush, this one. I love this shape. This shape's really good. Oh. Oh, I love, that's my fave. That's my fave. Oh, it's yummy. No, I'm going to take these out just because I don't want to con uh, confuse anybody. Hang on, hang on. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I love those. They're my favourite. I really love those. <sighs> Faceted tumbles. Look at the shape of them. They are unusual, aren't they? They're beautiful. I like that it's just modern twist. Yeah, absolutely. Looks very designer. We're going to do it in one price crash. There are okay. only 50, though. Be quick on these. Zesty, warm, beautiful deliciousness. Oh, there's some lovely earrings here that our Anne and Sue has made. Oh, and I put some earrings in. I forgot. <laughs> oh, they're $14.99. They're at $14.99. Um, make sure you do check them out straight away. Rita's there, Kate, uh, Kate's there, Northumberland there. Half the quantity that we had previously. I don't know if these are, oh, these are the previous cut, but look how beautiful they are. Yeah, aren't they lovely? So wearable. Amazing. And super simple makes, aren't they? Super, super simple. Um, amazing, well done. These are more limited though, this cut. Um, you've got 150 carats of grossular garnet for 30 quid <laughs> if you got this in the previous round, which is just crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. Um, okay, now we're about to bring you a two millimetre strand of hessenite, also a grossular. So I think we're getting it now, aren't we? So grossular is a, is, is a variety of garnet. Um, I always revert back to things like your family tree. So, for example, if you can imagine, uh, imagine you've got your grandparents mm. and then you've got uh, yourself and a sibling, say, and then you get married and you have your, set, your family. So yeah. you're still one big family, yeah. basically. but Different branches. Different branches, absolutely. Hess and I, again, very popular variety of the, um, of the Grossula family. One of the most refractive. It, it has this amazing ability to uh, perform what we call treacling. So if you have, have you ever poured water in a glass of whiskey? I'm not a whiskey drinker no. myself, but um, yeah. And, and my husband will go, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> if I did. Um, <laughs> uh, but if you do, just saying, um, if you do, it, it, it kind of creates this really lovely swirling. It's oh, treacling. Yeah, yeah. So that's what this gemstone does. 
This strand is going to blow your mind. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, that is be oh, that is beautiful. My voice has gone quiet. Guess <laughs> that. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, look at it. Oh, nice. L. I'm excited about that. Oh, I think it's beautiful. I'm not going to get these either, am I? Oh, aren't they gorgeous? Oh. I think these are three mils rather than two. So win-win scenario for you guys at home. We're going to open this up. Twelve ninety-nine. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's really good. She's not plucked it yet, is she? Opening it up, Deb. Debbie. Oh, we're not stopping there. I've got my glasses on as well. <laughs> we're not stopping there. Look how beautiful, and that's completely natural. I love the colour of them. I just, you're teaching me all about garnets. I just, just think red, really. Everyone like. thinks that, just red. And the green. There's so much more to garnet than just red. Oh, amazing. You've got your Zavarites, you've got your Hessonites, you've got your Demantoids, you've got your Spessartites, you've got. Well, we showed you, didn't we, earlier on mm -hmm. with that Zavarite garnet? Was it a Tiffany's and Co. piece where it had that 11 carat Zavarite with Spessartites, which are very similar, if you like, in their appearance. It's not the same. Um, Hessonite tends to be a little warmer mm -hmm. in its colour, more whiskey esque, yeah, I yeah. guess, in its colour than, it. uh, than your Spessartites. But beautiful dance of refraction. And we're looking at it in the worst possible light here. You know, if you were to get this outside, literally your Hessonite commands attention. To be starting at, at £12.99. Is it incredible? Absolutely incredible. Starting. How many have we got, Roscoe? 100. Plus, Mark yesterday was, to, was telling us about um, that beautiful flat weave that he demonstrated. Right. And he was saying, put these gemstones in between, how nice that would be. He's going to demonstrate the micro kiss cross, which you could use these rounds for. Oh, yeah, yeah. What about, yeah. What, what about? You can crochet anything. So I can crochet with these. That would be beautiful. Oh, imagine. I, let's see what they... Oh, are they 7 99 Yeah. Uh, let's see how long the strand is. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> I'm shopping full, now. It's a full 31 cents. Oh, my strand. goodness. So I would probably get one, two, three of those and then intersperse them and you could have this most beautiful crochet design oh, with these. Amazing. Wow. Amazing. That's such a good price. That's really good. For Hessonite garnet, oh, natural so beautiful. Hessonite garnet. beautiful. I love it. Because it's my granddaughter's birthstone and I just always get the red. Oh, no. Get all. Yeah, there's. Oh. I'm definitely getting this if there's any left. Yeah, beautiful. Can you imagine? Because, Ross, remember us showing yesterday that lovely woven pink uh, rose quartz, sorry, rose quartz bracelet. Can you imagine Hessonite garnet with it? And you'd be able to make this. What's it? It's Debbie Kershaw. Oh, it's like imagine a that. Capriccio. Imagine that, but instead of rose quartz, doing it in Hessonite. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it lovely? Where's that from? I found that picture ages ago. Ages you and ages and ages ago. You can do it with that zircon from this morning as well. Those yeah. Little, um, oh, imagine that in garnet. You'd need maybe 10 strands, but... You could do it. It's achievable at seven ninety nine, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Make sure you do check out those baskets. Absolutely awesome. Right, shall we get into your Ammonite stroke? Ammonite. Yes. Um, they are all available on pre-order, so I would encourage you actually shopping ahead because I must never assume, and um, I would get told off if I did, I must never assume that, that everybody understands each and every single gemstone. So it is part of my job really to talk about the story and uh, you know how this gem actually formed um and amalite has got one of the most fascinating stories behind it as well um I, again i had the privilege and pleasure of meeting a gentleman called tom um who actually wrote towards this article so some of this has been taken off our sister channel so what is amalite well firstly amalite is an organic gemstone what that basically means like your pearls um, it for, like amber, it forms from a living organism. Oh, right. And it is measured not in carat weight, because actually it's very, very thin amylite. What we tend to, what, what, what we do is we put a quartz on top and we'll back it with the underside of the shell as well. So oh, yeah. otherwise it would be too brittle and it would literally break uh, mm. just, you know, mm. very easily. Um, so it's not measured on carat weight, it's measured on millimetres. But what is this amazing gemstone? Well, amylite, and I agree with this, is a marvel 
of the prehistoric world. Metallic iridescent flashes skip across the surface of this gemstone in a mesmerizing manner. Turn it into the light and see how the initial colors give way to the whole new array of beautiful hues, like a never ending kaleidoscope, uh, there for your enjoyment. We're delighted to welcome Amalite miner John Reed, who is lovely, by the way, uh, so lovely, to the Gempora Studio. This was this was this was written um, a few years back, but I know he has been here quite a few times um, to uh, to share his personal take on the incredible natural wonders and his fascinating story. Now, I'm not going to read that too much, but yeah, I met John Reed last year. It, it, it was so funny because he's got this lovely this amazing booth and of course this huge amylite oh, whole amylite shell so you're drawn to it yeah. literally it's one of the busiest booths for sure and he's there like ah oh, as soon as he knows you're from 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 gem it's like that do you want a beer John yes. B. John B. I, oh, like, oh, I like you. <laughs> I like you a lot. But yeah, he was lovely. Uh, you may remember. So what is amylite ultimately? Sorry, I will get to it. You may remember studying amylite fossils at school. Uh -huh. They are one of the most instantly recognized forms of fossils to be found on this planet. An ammonite, um, when it was alive, looked similar to a squid, and their habitat was uh, warm tropical waters. Along with dinosaurs, they became extinct around 65 million years ago at the end of the uh, uh, Mesozoic era. The gemstone ammonite is found on the upper shell of the ammonite fossils. But, so ammonite is on the top, on the surface okay. of the ammonite. Uh, but only those found in southern Alberta. This explains its rarity. Here is a gemstone that can only be found attached to a fossil and, can o uh, and, and, and only on a particular type of fossil that came to rest in just one location. Wow. Yeah, exactly. So in Alberta, a particular geological event, movements of tectonic places, uh, plates, etc., cetera, and... Uh, um, the warmth and there's lots of different factors really that perfectly preserved these uh, these fossils um, and created that amazing iridescence of colour. According to miners, so firstly you've got to find a fossil, mm. you've got to find a fossil, yeah. and then you, it's literally a wafer thin amount if it's on that fossil at all. And then in be, even beyond that, the miners actually say even once they find an ammonite in that region only 5% display any iridescence. So let me just show you these that are available on pre-order. This is part of that 5%. Oh, look at it, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's magical almost. It is. It? So this is part of that 5%. Less than 5% demonstrate any iridescence. Um, you may have noticed that the, that, that the shell is called an ammonite um, with an N, the gemstone is called amylite with an L. But these ones here are of that 5%. They're not amylite, right, these are you. ammonite. Yes. Let's read on. Ammonites were a sea creature that were a close relative to today's octopuses and squids. They lived inside a shell. The shell was made uh, from a mineral argonite, a shiny mineral that pearls um, are also made from. As they grew in size, ammonites added new chambers to their shells, forming in a spiral. The hollow inner chamber of the shell acted as air tanks to help them float. Ammonites lived through the sea um, and uh, swarmed by squirting water in one direction, uh, sorry, swam, uh, by squirting water in one direction to push themselves along. Ammonites appeared 425 million years ago oh. and were very common ocean animals throughout the age of the dinosaurs. They died out 66 million years ago. So I've been saying, look, are you 66 million years of age? Could have been even older than that, couldn't yeah. they? Yeah. And this is what they looked like. This is what he looked like. In medieval Europe, people thought ammonites were fossil snakes. Ooh. Fossilized snakes, Oh, I really like way. him. I can just imagine him swimming along. You can. Bobbing along and, mm -hmm. you know, releasing, squirting his water. Squirting so his he, way, squirting yeah. Squirting his water so he can actually move, yeah. Uh, but 66 million years ago, these actually died out. Mind-boggling. The IGS talking about ammonite uh, and look at that. That's uh, that might well be. It's very similar to the one that uh, um, that we spoke about a few moments ago at Tucson. Fossilized ammonite shells are comprised primarily of aragonite, the major uh, constituent mineral of of pearls, with trace elements of aluminium. Uh, 
barium, is that right? Barium, yeah. Uh, chromium, copper, iron, magnesium, manganese, uh, silicon, uh, strontanium, titanium, and vanadium. The iridescent outer layers, look at this though, maybe 0 0.5 thickness. Um, prior to the polishing itself. So it is incredibly, incredibly fragile. Um, so when you see amylites and it has what we call, they're, 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 they're called either doublets or triplets. Triplets will have the host shell underneath. That's that black that you're seeing on this recording. And then it will have a clear quartz just to protect right. the amylite shell itself. But there is more that, you know, to really highlight just how amazing the quality of your amylites are. To achieve, uh, there is a grading system. Double A grade is the highest grade. Mm -hmm. To achieve AA grade status, the amylite gemstone must meet a certain criteria. It has to have at least three colors. You have at least three colors. Definitely. Um, well, look at this. Blue. Blue, green, yellow. Green, yellow, and orange. red. <laughs> orange, yeah. Um, um, one from the blue, one from the green, one from the red, you've got all that. Orange and yellow shades are categorized under the red group and purple is included within the blue. To be top grade, the stone must also be naturally bright and not have dark areas. Well, look at that. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, it is naturally bright. Here is the grading system, which isn't actually, uh, you know, they haven't agreed on one particular grading system, but this is generally what most jewelers will go through. Um, double A grade, three or more colors, iridescence bright, chromatic shift, that's that movement of color. Do you notice how the spectra is referring to the fact that you see all of those colors blend into one, like the colors of the spectrum? Not dye would be diachroic, where you only see a couple, oh, yeah. mono, one color. Uh, and then you've got the rotational range, 360 degrees. It's double A grade. Literally, <laughs> you can see that color from whatever angle um, that you turn it at. Uh, here's some photographs. You know, the one on this one. The uh, reason why I screenshotted this to show you is because your Amalite today is better. Is actually better. You've got less scaling yes. than what's on these. Um, sometimes you can actually have kind of prehistoric prints almost. Um, but ideally, a, a, a scaling will prevent that movement, that rolling colour, basically. So yours is actually better than the one photographed. Just like Tanzanite, Zarite and Laramar, all one locational gemstones. Amalite is only found in one location on this planet. And similar to claims by the biggest mining organizations in all of these single location discoveries is that amylite will run out in the near future. Oh, wow. Not only have you got to find a fossil, you need to find a fossil that has been perfectly preserved. And even then, when you find that fossil in that one location, less than 5% of it will have iridescence. And of that 5%, a tiny fraction will actually be of gem quality. And it's not like we can find it again or no. get it again because these creatures don't exist anymore. No, nope. so this is can't really, make more. Really, no, you can't make more. No. It's, it's just really, really special and really rare. Which one are we starting with? We're going to start with the Amalites and then we're going to, you can pre-order on these. Okay, cool. Don't forget all your mounts are there. It won't take you long. Um, it won't take... Which size, Ross? Because there's two ovals. Hang on. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it won't take you long to see this gemstone at high price points. Really high price points. I mean, look at that piece of jewellery. That's beautiful. Yeah, look at the chromatic shift. Um, look at how vibrant and bright all the criteria that we have discussed. And I get it was quite lengthy, lengthy but it's so exp important, if you like, um, to understand, you know, the quality that we are sourcing and offering to you. Remember, at the beginning of the show, Wayne said to me, I've been nagging for this, uh, for us to bring you Amalites. And he said, look, if it, if, if it goes well, I'll, I'll buy more. Look at the quality of the colours. My tweezers are ever so slightly sheltering this. So let me just try my hardest to move it a little bit closer. There we are. Look at... Uh, that chromatic shift of color the quality is double a graded it gets no better than what's on your screens can you see the blue you see the green can you see the red can you see the orange 
Can you see that wonderful paraba running through the center as well? It's all totally natural. And in a, in a, this is what we call a triplet. So if I was to show you the side profile, which I think you could see in the recording, it's responsible to do that. You wouldn't want an amylite if it was literally without, without the, 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 if you like, the insurance either side. Yeah, to look off. Because it would just break. It would literally just break. And that would be a real shame because this is millions upon millions and millions of years old. Um, but it is about that quality of color. Double A graded and then some. Count the colors. Can you see more than three? Yeah. I mean, every angle. I'm, I'm kind of, let me, I'm literally moving this around. Red, blue, orange, paraba, turquoise, yellow. Look at the amount of colors. And I'm, yeah, I'm literally, all I'm doing is pivoting round and then into the green. Just amazing. It's absolutely fascinating. I reckon there's going to be people getting involved today for the very first time. We shouldn't be at a double figure price tag. Most people will never have even, oh, maybe may not own, uh, maybe not even uh, heard of it, I think, re really. There was only actually um, John Reed there with Amalite in Tucson. Only John Reed, and he's just wonderful. I'm sure you'll see him on our screens again. This is crazy. It's, it's crazy. You're going to get so many comments on any jewellery you make with this. Totally. As people look at you, the colour's going to change as you move and they move. And it's like magic. It's like having the Aurora Borealis in your, around your neck or however you're going to set it. It's just fascinating. It and you really were saying is. earlier on, Debbie, that you know you love that gemstones and jewellery ultimately has a story. You know, I'm literally moving this sort of as much as I can, so you can see all those different colours. There is no greater story than the amalite, I don't think. Oh no, I agree, and it's, it's cool. fascinating. And we all did about, you know, these little creatures at school, didn't we? I remember drawing the diagram of yeah. them, and we've all done it. And then to think to associate this gemstone with that story, yeah, people wouldn't think of no. that, would they? But perfect geological conditions in that, only in that location of the Absolutely world. Absolutely amazing. Created this gem. At under 50 pounds, we should be closing. We so should be. You know, the only amylites I've ever brought in finished pieces of jewelry on our sister channel, can I just tell you, were all in gold. We never, mm. never brought, it. oh. And, and, and Ross Adam, you didn't have silver, did you? It wasn't in silver. It was always in gold. Always, always in gold. Usually if we brought Amalite to where it had a guest as well, um, we've had John Reed on our show. Um, and you can read that article. It's on the Gemporia Learning Library. Yeah, you can probably watch some of the shows back. He's just amazing. He's a lovely guy. This is as good as it gets. Top grade. You've got that perfect chromatic shift of colour. That's why I'm literally causing down a bit of a headache here, just moving back and forth. But that's to show you that wonderful dance of colour. Look at the electric blue even there. Half the stock is gone. How many did we have, though? Is that all? 60? I know that it doesn't say the grading system on our, um, on our graphics. Um, we don't grade our gemstones purely because... Uh, Basically, we bring so many of them to air. Um, yeah, and, and technically speaking, it's not like the four seas of diamonds. It's not, it's not like a, um, a global uh, a description. However, most people use that as a bit of guidance, if you like, when sourcing this amazing gemstone. Um, you can get your certificate of authenticity. It's an amazing, amazing stone. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know a single other gemstone that brings you this wonderful performance. That's ridiculous, though, $39.99. That's actually ridiculous for Amalite, this gemstone that existed millions of years ago, this amazing creature but oh, that, was, that was global, by the way, but only in Alberta did those specific geological occurrences literally preserve um, your Amalite shells, uh, uh, this wonderful spectrum of colours. Well done, Catriona. Well done, Gabrielle. Well done, Isabel. Well done, Stephen. Uh, well done to you, Gloucestershire. Well done to you, Sally, Cathy, uh, Beatrice, new customer. I can see you there. Cumbria, Channel Isles, Maker, Lorraine, wanting multiples. Amazing. And again, that photograph that we showed you, showing you the different grades. So you can see A, that's one colour. So start from the beginning. A grade, hmm, 
It's more like the fossil, isn't it? Let's yeah. be honest. Yeah, it's yeah. more like the fossil. Um, so A minus, rather. Then you've got A, one solid colour. It's still pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. It is still pretty. A plus, you're getting two colours, aren't you? But have you noticed the texture, the surface texture of that one? You've got a little bit of scaling there. And then double A grade, even though it is the bulk of it is actually green, if I was to move that stone, I should imagine you'd get a blend of colours. Yeah. Um, so you'll probably get the blues, you'll probably get the purples, you'll probably get some oranges in there. But as we look at it, now bird's eye view there's three colors there isn't yeah, there yeah. three colors there so it is double a graded yours is better though it's far better well done well done well done let's bring you now i only have two amylites that's it and the mounts are on the website oh my goodness the color on these are amazing did wayne get these from john it's got to be from John. Oh my goodness. That, look at this colour. No. Uh, eh. See, thank God, uh, thank goodness for that doublet, or triplet rather. Doublet, triplet. Are you ready for this? Oh. Oh, look at that. I'm not. Wow. Ha, ha. Oh. Oh my word. Do you know, there's another, there's another photograph, um, Ross, that I sent you that I, I included on the back of this um, PowerPoint because I wanted to show you, please be mindful of synthetics. And these, it was, it, they're terrible. They're, uh. but they're literally terrible because, you know, when something is, and we said it earlier on, so perfect, uh -huh. you can tell straight away that these are fake, but they were actually selling them as amylites, which... <sighs> of course is so wrong um i'll show you in a few moments time this is perfect idyllic amylite isn't it i mean even if i just keep it like so you've got almost like a, a, a trio split yeah you do but then if i turn it like so look how sorry hang on get the yellows as well can you see the yellows yep see the orange this is what we call chromatic shift how the colour literally blends across the stone. No scaling. Look at that red. My goodness me. We're going to go straight down to it. This is a slightly smaller stone, seven by five millimetres. You can easily get your mount. Yep. Um, or Debbie, how beautiful would this be to work with as a silversmith? Yeah, definitely. And also just be very careful when you're setting it. But you've got all that extra security of having those those layers to protect it. Yeah. So, but our mounts are so pretty and we've got loads to choose from. I think that I'd pop it in one of our mounts. And you don't have to be have lots and lots of knowledge to use our mounts. You just need to push your prongs over the top. Yeah. You know, you want to see as much of it when it's that beautiful, don't you? Definitely. As you, as you can. Absolutely. So there's you can see there, there's the, the there's the triplets. You've got the host rock underneath. You've got some clear quartz on the top, which you need. You need that because it protects literally your um, your amylite stone. Um, Thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Well done, everybody. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, let's do your ammonites. These are going to fly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not surprised. These have been available on pre-order. Whenever we get them, they always sell out. Because, I, I don't know, if you love gemstones, you're going to love, I think, geology, and you're going to yeah. love paleontology. We're just fascinated by Mother Nature and what she offers. Um, it's more than just a gemstone. It's history, isn't it? You know, oh, it, it, it takes us back to our school days when you, uh, you know, show and tell and things like that. <laughs> I never had an ammonite, uh, an ammonite, sorry, to take into school. How cool. Would, in fact... Willow's just had a, um, an email saying uh, she's going to a dinosaur th show of some variety up uh, up in, in Birmingham. You know, she'll probably see this kind of yeah. thing. Um, but I can guarantee they're not going to be at the price that you're about to see. These are literally prehistoric fossils. Starting to th with this one. Oh, remember what we said, less than 5% has iridescence. Are you ready? We have 50 available. Oh, it's beautiful. The only difference is this is polished, basically. Look at that. Multi-buyers straight away. It's just cool, isn't it? And by the way, that iridescence is on front and reverse. 20 have immediately been confirmed. It's a big, uh, it's a big ammonite. So this is the original creature. 
often asked the question, what's the difference between amonite and amylite? So amylite is the surface of the shell, effectively. This is the, actually out, the ammonite that literally died out millions and millions of years ago. Um, they're a very common sea creature um, back uh, in, in sort of thousands, millions of years. What am I talking about? Millions of years ago. Um, and basically, as they grew, they would get a, an extra chamber on their shell. These are flying out the door. Just fascinating, aren't they? Absolutely fascinating. Look at those colours. But of all your ammonites discovered, if you're lucky enough to discover an ammonite, ammonite fossil, less than 5% will have this iridescence. Under 20 pounds, Karen, wow. Gabrielle, Lynn, Sally, Leslie, Caroline, Elaine, Derek, Richard, Alison, West Midland, Susan, Gary, Warwickshire, Margaret, Frieda, hello to you, Julie, Nottinghamshire, Sue, Patricia, you're there, Fiona, there. Um, I mean, cool, just cool. I'm going to get one of these if there's any. Yeah, if there's, if there's any of these available, you know. You want to, I want to encourage sort of uh, my two girls, you know, to have this enthusiasm for gemstones yeah. and certainly history and geology. This is going to do that. Definitely. I mean, it's beautiful as well. It is beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's helped. Really cool, like a Moana style. Oh, yes. Like a Moana style pendant. That would be beautiful. Wouldn't it be lovely? Yes. And again, what a conversation starter as well. Um, I've got this ammonite and I've got the one which is sort of unpolished, which is absolutely stunning as well. They are brand new. They're absolutely flying. There's a bit of a queue on the phone line, so please do bear with our call centre. Elaine, Susan, Christine, you can shop ahead on the other one. Um, same thing, it's both Amazonite, uh, sorry, Amazonite, Ammonite rather, um, both Ammonite but literally just presented differently in the same way that you would see with your megalodon teeth. Some megalodon teeth are polished, some megalodon teeth aren't. Hello, Anne in Aberdeen, she's saying, I bought an amylite uh, from JM years ago. It's truly amazing colors. I'm so happy with it. Yeah, the, the quality of the um, of the amylite that we bring you here across the Gemporia partnership is amazing. And that genuinely is, Anne, because of um, a, a long friendship that we've had with John Reed. Right. Um, so, so many of you with your, uh, with a phone in your hand over 100 people on the web oh and there's 30 of you on the phone lines you are being answered though oh what really there's one left it's sold out God, wow that was oh, quick oh no listen stay if you are on the phone lines don't worry you can get this one instead it's beautiful i can't i'm, I'm yeah. struggling to choose between the two I actually i like both of them because they're so different aren't they they are, and they're all going to be different. They're organic treasures, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Amazing fossils. I just want to go up to them and go. <laughs> We've had lots of cute creatures oh, today, haven't we? <laughs> little cuties. <laughs> Look at them. They're amazing. Absolutely incredible. Millions of years ago. How many do I have? I've only got 50 as well. But remember that it is so important that we realise and appreciate just how exciting this, these, these opportunities are. Less than 5% of any amylite discovered will have natural iridescent. The bronze is sold out. This is the only one, again, let me flip it over, that you can get hold of in this silvery colour. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Amazing. I'm literally holding something that is millions and millions of years <laughs> that's of age. just incredible to think it, about it like that it is yeah. and literally once upon a time there was a little creature <laughs> there was a little creature 1999 the bronze sold out this is going to follow suit very very quickly well done everybody can we get, just skip back to the sort of the ammonite description so what an ammonite actually is there there ammonites were sea creatures <laughs> Uh, <laughs> close, <laughs> close relatives of today's octopuses and squids, but they lived inside a shell. The shell was made from uh, the mineral uh, aragonite, uh, from a shiny mineral that pearls are also made from. As they grew in size, ammonites added new chambers to their shell. Clever little, <laughs> <laughs> Clever little Amazonites. Uh, sorry, Ammonites. I said it again. Um, the hollow inner chambers of the shell acted as air tanks to fill uh, to help them float. Ammonites lived throughout the season and swam by squirting water in one direction to push themselves along. Ammonites appeared 425 million years ago and were very common ocean animals throughout the age of the di dinosaurs. They died out um, 66 million years ago. Just cool. 
Cool, cool, cool. Well done. Lots of multi buyers getting involved. Oh. We had more of these. 60 of. I didn't know we had more. Oh, okay. We need that, though. Look at the core screens. So, Maxine, who's got five, well done. Emru, who's got three, well done. Um, oh, Stephen, Anne, Lynn, Rachel, Paula, Christine, Julie, Maker, Julie, Elizabeth, Cheryl, Richard, Sorrell, Derek, Caroline, Nottinghamshire, Leslie, Kath, uh, Beatrice, Christine, Liana. I can't keep up with you. We're on three rows of names. I had a hundred of these. Um, I didn't realize. I thought it was the same quantity. How amazing. But again, where does it say? Where's the slide that talks about 5%? 5% of the world's ammonite will actually have this natural iridescence. I think that was the one previously. There. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Um, according to local miners, even once they find an ammonite in the region, ammonite in the region, only 5% demonstrate any iridescence. And of, the, of these, only a tiny percentage are of gem quality. The gem, we've brought you the gem quality, but 5% of a fossil... You know, it's rare to find a fossil, isn't it? And only a tiny percent of gem quality. Yeah. Only a tiny teeny. So you're talking like sort of less than 1%. So that's incredible rarity. Massive rarity. But it's such um, a teaching aid, like these especially, are such a teaching aid for your kids, for your show and tell. Mine were always into fossils and gemstones, still are, but they're always interested. They'll stop talking even as teenagers if I'm talking about something that they haven't heard of before or they ask questions about it and oh how rare is that and then where's it found and blah 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 yeah. and I just think that these are talking points I've, I've said before I've got a table with glass in it and I keep things like this in it it's called my gem table and it's wood and I have a window in it and I have all of things like this in it that are unusual and I've got sort of gemstones in there got an ammonite I haven't got an ammonite, but then my kids, if they used to go into my table to take things to take yeah. to school, you know. So just having it on the side in your uh, workspace is, Absolutely. you know, Do you know lovely. what? Imagine that in a box frame. Yeah. Imagine exactly. that in a box frame in a bathroom or Where something like Where you can like look that. at it. It's really inspiring, isn't it? It is. It literally is. This is part of our Earth's history. Yeah. It's just fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. What a lovely gift that would be as well. Yeah, that would be actually. Really lovely gift. Um, I'm so I'm so excited about these. I will be getting some because I, I, yeah, I, got, I literally came home from work yesterday, and my husband was saying to me, "Oh, well, Will, uh, Willow's going on her first school trip." Um, so yeah, she's off to um, a museum about all about dinosaurs oh, in that, the Hippodrome in Birmingham. So yeah, um, so something like this. I've got single figure quantities now. Single figure quantities. You do need to check them out. That the reality is, people are multi bought, and I don't blame you because they're great gifts. You know, my niece, who's what, 16 years old, she, she collects crystals, as she puts them, she calls them yeah. crystals, as opposed to gems. I bet she hasn't got an ammonite. Yes. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now, what we're going to do, what we call um, ghost auction, some of the mounts that will be perfect to go alongside your ammonite. So that's the gem quality variety. So 5% of, uh, um, of ammonites will actually have iridescence like this. Less than that are obviously a tiny percentage um, uh, are of gem quality like the stones. So we're bringing you the mounts, um, literally ghost auction in those. I have one more amylite to bring you. A what? A small oval. Oh, this is beautiful. The, the, quality, of, the quality of ours are just amazing. Because even using that photograph as an example, when, we're, when they're literally showing the grading systems, every single one that you've seen today is far better. Yeah, it is. Look at that little teeny explosion of colour. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? I'd like to be described as a little teeny explosion of colour. You know color? those beetles that you get and they've got those really iridescent shells on yeah. their backs? It's like that. It's, it's just like this explosion of colour that moves i love it. I, I absolutely love it this is it this is the last of the amylite it, it mentions the triplet let me just show you what the triplet is sorry dan i know you're doing a great job literally following me here can you see you'll notice amylite, uh, amylite is literally millimeters in terms of its thickness mm. um, and the reason for it's a tiny tiny very difficult to actually uh, to actually cut um, and it's very fragile. So what they do is they will either put them in doublets or triplets. Um, your amylite has part of the host 
um, on the bottom. So that's that dark piece that you can see just here on the underside. And then just here you've got uh, effectively a cabochon, if you like, of clear quartz. So it perfectly protects your prehistoric wonder. They are truly, truly, truly fascinating. Look at the colours. Count them all. You've got a beautiful... You've got a beautiful blue, you've got your amazing turquoise, you've got your greens, you've got reds, you've got oranges, definitely three plus colours. Um, if you are a collector, we're going to give everybody the opportunity. We're at $39.99 for something that is millions of years old. Amalite, arguably, many people say this is one of the world's rarest gemstones and it will run out. Today and today only. Did you say that? We've got 60 and we're going to do Amalite under 20. That's good. That's amazing. That's never been done before. Surely not. Do you know, I remember seeing Amalite. I went on a cruise years ago and I remember them having Amalite on a cruise. Mm. Gosh, they were expensive. They are on cruises, aren't they? Yeah. All, the, all of the jewellery. Super duper duper expensive. It definitely wasn't double figures. <laughs> and it definitely wasn't under 20 pounds. Definitely, definitely, definitely not. In 55 seconds, we are going to take it under 20, giving everybody an opportunity to say that they are a custodian of this gemstone. And the reality is, you know, when the inevitable does happen and it does run out, because there is only one location in the world that actually offers well, yeah. this, and even that location is unearthing a tiny percentage, as we've, as we've shared. Those aren't my words, by the way. Those are literally John Reed words mm. and he's talking about look only five percent uh, percent of ammonites the shell the fossil itself will display iridescence and a tiny percentage of the uh, are of gem quality this is absolutely gem quality we shouldn't then go and say tell you what under 20 pounds because we've got 60 of them that's you know <laughs> uh, even even on our sister channel we only ever brought ammonite or, or well, certainly when i was presenting on there anyway we only ever brought ammonite in silver mm. makes sense Sorry, in gold. I meant to say never in silver. Yeah, because it was never in gold. Never in silver. Always in gold. Always in gold. Are you ready? Sixty available. To say that you own an amalite, and most importantly, to say that you own an amalite with three plus colours. If we go back to that graph, let's let's do it together. Show you the graph. Here we go. This is off the eye. Not that one. There. This is off the IGS, so you can, you can look at this too. The Amalite industry has yet to agree on one grading system. However, most systems refer to colour, brightness and iridescence. So, double A being the best, you have three or more colours. Okay, let's, let's start, we'll start here. Let's count the colours. Blue, turquoise, green, red, orange... And there is a yellow in there as well, yeah. didn't we? Um, iridescent, brilliant, bright, included or dull. Would we all agree this is bright? I don't think it can get much brighter, to be truthful. Um, chromatic shift. So that's talking about the movement. That's talking about the movement of the colours. So if you can imagine, um, how do I word this? If I was to, if I was to just literally shine a, a, a torch into the sky and, and move it, so how it actually sort of flows yeah so imagine that movement of color literally gliding across the surface that's your chromatic shift if it had like scaling and things like that that can interrupt the movement yeah. of the light yep. uh rotational range well listen how you know how many angles can i actually show you this beautiful gemstone with it still having those wonderful performances top quality for under 20 quid amazing now i've got one more auction to bring you a little carving of a dragon Ooh. where I don't see it. Oh, here it is. It was hidden under my board. Oh, look, it's the dragon and the pearls. There are 20. Oh, this is new to me. Have you seen that one? No, not that one. Oh, that's lovely. It's beautiful. I'm just literally put that on a cord. Pop it on a cord. Lark's head knot. Away you go. Hand carved type A Burmese jadeite. Hand carved. Oh, look how clear that is. Isn't it beautiful? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. So uh, these are the pearls. Again, there's the story of the dragon and the pearls. I'm just going to show you the level, the quality of the translucency. Um, it has actually. It's funny you should say that. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking that too, Ross. Ross is saying, oh, I can just see a little bit of a, almost like a Welsh dragon in there. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. 
Ooh, magic. That Look looks at amazing. Him. Look at that. Really beautiful. Oh, yeah. I think it's the feet. Yeah. Because on the Welsh dragon flaggers, they are quite like that, aren't they? Um, beautiful. Look at that amazing translucency. Again, it is totally and utterly natural, and this has been this amazing gemstone created by Mother Nature, um, placed into the hands of the most skillful artists after years upon years upon years um, of learning this amazing, amazing talent. Yeah, so it's 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 the artist. Artistry is so important, as important really as the quality of the stone. How many did you say that we had? 20. Natural certified Burmese jadeite, hand carved. I love this one. You've got so much excitement. Uh, I'm with you, Debbie. It's always about the stories, but you can also talk about the dragon and the pearl and that amazing yeah, story and, as well. And some people love dragons. Yeah. You know, they might not know about that, that story, but they love dragons so it's great Absolutely. for somebody who loves dragons to be able to give them something with something with this level of detail like mm. these craftsmen must have had this passed down over generations haven't they because yeah. this is not something i've tried to drill through jade and I, I did it but you know to think that's just one hole through you know a flat surface but to think of doing this the level of artistry in an abrasive manner it's incredible yeah without a machine yeah we're at 499 pounds which is absolutely incredible Today, look, at it's, it's the edging as well, it isn't is, it? That yeah. really beautiful edging that you're seeing here. I mean, that scalloped-like effect, isn't it? There are only a couple of them left, though. You can, oh, oh my goodness me. Uh, straight away, I saw the, the split payment, £26.33 <laughs> for a work of art. Remember what Sotheby said? When you're looking at a jadeite, it should have that wow factor. It does. It is <laughs> as important. Yeah, I agree. Um, the colour, the translucency and the texture obviously are imperative to the valuing of this gemstone. But <clears throat> it's also super, super important that you have um, a jadeite which has been carved with real skill. The artistry is as important. Approach jadeite jewellery not as a commodity, but rather as a work of art created by nature and shaped by human, ha uh, human hands. That was Wan Hao Yu, um, who is one of the jade, uh, I think, specialists within Sotheby, highly respected. And that's it. You know, you can't measure a, um, an amazing painting, can you, by, oh, the canvas is this. No. This many inches, that many centimetres, and they've used this particular brand of paint. No. You, you measure it by its artistry in the same way that you do jade. Um, I only had a limited quantity, though, and these are proving popular. I've got nine left. Well done, Liz, Gabrielle, Janice, Valerie, Alison, Kimberly. Um, I've got Jackie, Northamptonshire, Celia, new customer, Maker Wanting 3. Beautiful. Research if you haven't heard it, it before. Um, the, the, the Dragon and the Pearl, so it's quite an ancient Chinese story as well. But I agree. If, if, if um, for the my Welsh friends out there, I think lots of us will be seeing our, your, our, you know, literally our flag. You can see the Welsh dragon in there, can't you? Yeah, you definitely can. Love it. Absolutely love that. Uh, Ross is saying, I've got to bring these to where I've just found them. Natural red boomies, jadeite rounds. Price is crazy. There's 20 available, says Ross. Okay. I'm getting the white sheet because I want to show you them on the white sheet. They've been on air once. This is the last 20. One of the rarest colours, of course. Not dyed. Six, seven millimetre oh, rounds. Wow. Can you imagine? Those on there. I just literally have the red maybe coming from here. Oh, that think. would be beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Just some red jadeite. Talking about the bale. How nice would that be? That would Any be gradients of green that we had earlier on? Oh. Oh. Making me want to make jewellery. Good. Go home and make Good, more jewellery. Because you make beautiful jewellery, <laughs> which I can't wait to see in the masterclass, by the way. We're learning a new technique. £199. No way near your price point. Remember, we've shown you little photographs of different auction house pieces of red jadeite where you had little snuff bottles and there was just a little patch, wasn't there? That's because the red colour forms on the exterior of a boulder. Jadeite grows in boulders, and where the jadeite has oxidized, you get these lovely warm colors. You can get type B and C, uh, which is basically dyed. Um, ideally, you want type A, which is totally and utterly natural. Here it is, but you can see this is how rare you get red jadeite. Because if you imagine an apple, 
or this diagram shows you perfectly, that's a section of a boulder of jadeite. You can see how little of it actually has this red colour. Oh, just a tiny bit on the outside. It's like the skin of an apple, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. So that's how rare it is to actually get this colour. But yet they still, we still hold on to that colour. You know, you've got a rare and finely carved red jadeite bottle, price realised 18,800 US dollars. Wow. Um, they don't say it's green, do they? They, they? they focus on the red. Okay, I've got one more to bring you one more opportunity before we dive into your master class six um sorry six millimeter rounds oh these are pretty look at this lovely color oh, oh yeah. they're beautiful emerald green i think this is as close as we're going to get to to imperial isn't it yeah it looks it doesn't it if you want Imperial, you're going to have to go to places like Sotheby's. <laughs> you're going to have to because, yeah, it's astonishingly expensive. Um, I'm definitely beyond most people's budgets, myself included. How many have we got? Oh, wow, 19.99. 50 available at 19.99. Again, look at the quality. Uh, just because these bottles are still in front of me on the monitor, look at the green colour. Not talking about the lids, that's like an imperial. But if you look at the bottle green mm. colour, now look at yours. It's a, it, it's a deeper colour. Oh, it it's is. actually a deeper colour. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Lovely little uh, sort of punctuations maybe in between your hessonite strand that we had a few moments yeah, ago. Yeah, definitely. Pearls. You can use them for pearls. You can space them out in a stretchy bracelet. Oh, so lovely. You've just got that touch of jade beautiful well done everybody make sure you do check out your baskets and do not go anywhere we are learning a brand new technique with our lovely debbie which is a little bit of crochet beady crochet oh, can't wait i, I want to get into my zen moment <laughs> get it's very that. zen um so gorgeous kits are going to be available we'll probably put those on pre-order as well we'll do it now so you can actually okay. shop ahead get your kits um and then sit back and enjoy the demonstration don't go anywhere debbie's up after this <laughs> Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. 
And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those new year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewelry Maker, Sewing Street and Hobby Maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start, as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker or Sewing Street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8am to 1pm on Jewelry Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8am and 1 to 6pm. And 8am to 1pm on Sewing Street. <laughs> I'm just having some fruit and I literally just put one out there. Oh, <laughs> sorry, can't take me anywhere. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm so ready. excited for this. Debbie, talk us through what your masterclass is all about. Well, we've done bead crochet before. Uh, as far as we've done chain stitches. So when Katie Parker did the seafoam necklace, and if you have a look at, uh, you'll see that there's a necklace there that I've done with Eslon that's very similar. So you can certainly do that. But, and there's also like all of the crochet stitches that you can do with wool and to make garments, you can do with this kit. So this one is just a very um, plain kind of crochet stitch. But what we're going to, concentrate on and I want you to make something of sort of different things to show you how versatile this is so that's sort of a choker it could also be a bracelet and that's just basic crochet stitches so it's like a single crochet stitch mm -hmm. um, just going along as you would if you were going to make say a scarf or yeah. a hat or anything like that but where bead crochet has become very very popular is in the tubular bead crochet so in the necklace that's here. amazing. So that one is a larger circumference. So that's made with a 12 bead round. And if the larger the circumference, you can actually fill them. So you can put some stuffing in there to keep it nice and fat. But the one I'm going to be showing you today is typically the crochet stitch that you start with. So if you have a look at my bracelet, it's a slip stitch. So it helps you to get used to the bead crochet um, technique. So if I bring this over to me, I'm going to remove it. Then this is actually made with cord and beads and actually crocheting in the round. Beautiful. Now, you can make it sort of all a bangle. So you can make it go all the way around if you wanted to, so that you just sort of rolled it on your wrist. I wanted to have a bit of a kind of trendy, modernish flair. So I've put sort of a couple of gemstones on there as well. And the great thing about this, if you do kumihimo, you can use all your kumihimo findings with this sort of thing. So you can use the, these little carriers we did a few years ago that I think came in the, with the kumihimo. Um, and you can use all of your bead caps. And, and your ends but what I used for this one which I thought was quite interesting was you know the little lucite flowers and I think Hannah's been doing a lot with these lucite flowers you can use your lucite flowers and you can also use any of the larger bead caps that you've got as ends to this sort of bead crochet as well because what you essentially essentially do is kind of zip it up with the crochet thread mm -hmm. um, and then you can put anything you want on the end so I'm going to be showing you different ways to finish it off and I'm I'm going to be showing you how to do a basic slip stitch with a six bead round now why this is easier is because if you've got three different colors of beads and it will become more apparent when i do the demo it's much easier to see which bead you need to go into next and not get yourself in a pickle because the first five rows are about as hard as it gets and then after that you've actually got something to see in front of you and something
something to hold on to mm. so it becomes much much easier but even at times with that sometimes it's a little bit confusing which is the next stitch to put your hook into which I will go into but once you've mastered this and these are great kits to do it you can actually get patterns where you make patterns so you can make little flowers you can make patterns you can make all sorts of different things um, with the bead crochet so it's an absolutely brilliant technique to learn because you can absolutely do so much with it amazing and if I've never done this before I can do it you don't need to have to crochet let me say that because I'm going to show you a, a beginning stitch so I'm going to show you the very first stitch to get started if you crochet already it's a bonus because you'll understand what I mean by the stitches mm. but you certainly don't need to, to, to crochet at all to be able to master this so if you're a beginner absolutely fine well all the kits are available on pre-order the only real difference is colorways that's all that's the only difference um, you've got different colorways of your Mayuki beads and your threads and this is the Mayuki thread and of course the lovely thing about this thread I mean look at that color four it's lovely yeah <laughs> that's a four color that really is um, if you used seed beads that were a bit more see-through and I think a lot of us have got those clear and kind of whitish seed beads left over in our stashes you're gonna have some of this thread left so yeah. if you use this thread you'll see the color through any transparent oh ones. lovely can I say <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, you don't just have to use seed beads, you can use any of your micro gemstones oh, as nice. well. Anything. Imagine crocheting your micro gemstones. Yeah, and you can crochet anything. So obviously it's easy when you start if they're all the same size. Um, but you can crochet anything. Uh, okay, so get your kits. We'll bring a kit to air, mm -hmm. then we're gonna dive into the demo. Debbie can cue me as and when she wants me to bring the other kits. Okay. The only real difference, but again, if you have a look on the website, is, you know, there's slight different colourways in the thread and the, and the Mayuki. You get everything, though, don't you, from your crochet hook. Yeah, it's a good crochet hook as well. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, what does the size... Yeah, the size is really good because uh, traditional crochet hooks, um, if you crochet garments, you don't usually have them this small. I didn't. Like, you don't necessarily need them unless you do intricate lace work. Um, we did have some crochet hooks before, which were fine, but this one has got an ergonomic handle. And I don't mm -hmm. know about you, but if you're going to do something repetitive for a long period of time, you want your hands to be as comfortable yeah. as possible when you're doing that. Now, just let me check the size of this hook. I believe it's a 1.75 yes. millimetres. And you'll know that because you've actually got your dimensions put in there. And can I just say that that is a really good way of doing it because I've worked with crochet hooks that just have it sort of painted on. And as you start to work with it, it wears off. And then uh, you, so you if forget. you've got a few, you can't see what uh. you've got. So this is a good quality hook. Um, I've got arthritis in my hands and I broke my finger, as some of you might know, a few years ago. And I found this very comfortable to use. I think that's important to mention. Of course it is. Thank you so much for that. Plus, here you go, you get your three beautiful, very quite, quite festive colours. Yeah, think. they are festive, but I think people start to use... A make for Christmas now, don't they? Well, not only that, I would. I think they're quite summery as well. And, and all you have to do is take one of those colours away, and it's not festive anymore. There you go. It's like a sunset, <laughs> right? Straight away. It's like right. a sunset. Or just take the or, red away. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. Or I agree. Just use one colour. Exactly. Red, so. Plus, you've got your bobbins. Oh, the. I can't have enough of these. Forget bead crochet. I use these all. What? The time. What are they for? Because you can open them up, and if you've done kumi hemo, you'll know what these are. You open them up and then you can wind round your thread well, or your beads and then you close them up again. So you know when you're doing Kimima, you traditionally have these hanging from the bottom of the disc so that your um, threads don't... <laughs> I was doing the wine, the bob in a ball, wine, the bob in a ball, clap, 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 clap. Yeah. We were anyway. doing that at song time. So if you have a look at this, I've just done a little something that in stages. In this one, I've actually got a thread with beads. Oh, I see. I, see I get it. I, mean? I get it. I get it. Yeah, so it's not going to unravel when I when I put it. It's actually attached. So you pre-thread your beads. I use it for so many things. You'd use it for things you didn't even. You'd think, what can I put on the end of that while I'm doing this? And these come out these come out all the time get, get your bobbins out i think you get six of these don't you in oh do you get more than six i think you get more than six you've got one two three eight oh, you get yeah eight of them in total well um the graphics are on your screens plus then you're getting as uh, as uh, debbie said you get your mayuki um crochet thread 
Uh, in terms of meterage, you've got 25 meters on there, and that really beautiful ombre, plus the crochet needle and your Mayuki beads. I'm so excited about this. $29.99. Wow. And, you know, you've got your hook in there, and if you have a look at what decent crochet hooks cost, yeah. you've got your bobbins, you've got three of the larger tubes of seed beads, and then you've obviously got your Mayuki thread. Now, what I would say, if you've never done it before, have a practice with thicker thread because you can use any thread. It just comes to stringing the beads. Now, you're not going to have a problem stringing the beads with Mayuki thread because it's lovely and fine. So mm. you would just be able to use a seed beading needle. Um, I'm going to demonstrate with Eslon thread because it's thicker and I've chosen some bright colours so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. That is like a cotton consistency. If you've never, ever, ever crocheted before, get some thicker thread and have a practice a few rows before you use your thinner thread and choose a lighter color thread okay. so that you can see your stitches. So we have got a kit with sort of a darker black thread. Yeah, yeah, we do. Don't start with that one if you've never done it before because it's more difficult to see where you, which stitch to put your hook in. And I'll show you, but you can untangle crochet. You can well, this is no it. tangle thread. Really good Miyuki thread. Amazing. Um, okay, well, just before we get into the demonstration, says Ross. Oh, is that not the price? Okay. Oh, is that not the, oh. No, we're going <laughs> to lower. <laughs> we were happy with that. Yeah, I know, look at us, just there, happy days. I'm crocheting, <laughs> I'm doing beat crocheting for the first time. I've got eight bobbins, I've got my new crochet hook and I've got my thread and um, I'm, a, I'm a bead. Hello Mandy saying those bobbins are brilliant. JM Threads, um, use, use them um, back in the day, back in the day. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, and yeah, I, now you've said about the Kumahimo, I can imagine. I remember them being on Kumahima. They were, weren't they? Um, hello, gorgeous ladies and fabulous crew. Amazing show as always. Debbie, uh, could you complete, uh, could a complete newbie follow along with your demo, please? Yeah, absolutely. And then when you've seen my demo, then you can go online and there are lots and lots of, um, if you put in uh, tubular crochet demos and you'll be able to expand. And obviously okay. we're limited here with our camera and our time, but I'm gonna give you the basics um, and you can go on from that, but you can certainly watch my demo back. And you're going to, if you've never done it before, you're gonna do a few rows, get it wrong and pull it out and start again. Everybody does that. Mm. It's practice. You're and gonna start somewhere. It'll click yeah. and you'll go, oh yeah, but the great thing about crochet, after you've stitched, you, you pull it out and you haven't wasted anything. You just start again and I'll show you that. So yes is the answer. Okay, let's drop that price. Let's okay, do it. Let's do it. Um, and we are matching this price across all the kits. Is that right? So you can shop ahead on the other crochet kits. It's just down to colour choice, really. The only difference is that maybe um, different Mayuki beads and a different Mayuki thread. £19.99. pence. I mean, look at all the bobbins that you're getting and eight of those in total um there's your mayuki thread there's your crochet needle um which as you said yeah the ones that we've had previously previously were like metal they're metal and they have and that's fine there's nothing wrong with that but that isn't what i choose to use as a crocheter yeah um i would choose to and if you look at the handle it's oh, it undulated it's it's ergonomic it's meant to fit in your hand and also you know the quality of your hook on the end there um that's going through your material and you want it to glide. You don't want it to make your job any harder. Not scaggy. And I, no, exactly. And I found that these, and you can get rubbish hooks. You can, I've used them. You know, you don't know when you're starting out. And these are good. So yes, I was impressed with Lovely. this. Lovely. Okay, over to you. I'm, I'm excited. So, as I said, you can, of course, use the thread that, that and you'll want to because it's beautiful colours. But if you've never done it before, I would recommend starting with a thicker thread so that you can see more what you're doing. Do a couple of rows, pull it out, and then you can start on that thread or even continue and work, work up to that thread. So in the kits, you've got three colours of seed beads, and I would recommend that you start off with a three-colour repeat so that you can see exactly where to put your hook for the next bead. And I'll show you that in a moment. So the first thing you need to do is thread on your seed beads. So because I'm threading onto a thicker cord, I've got um, a wide-eyed needle, a big-eyed needle. We do them here at JM. But if you don't have a big-eyed needle, you don't have to worry because you can use one of our seed bead needles and just put on a thin thread um, in a circle and tie it and then you can just put this through the thread. So you don't actually have to have a big-eye needle. So we're going to talk about how 
much of the beads that you need to thread on um, for your project. I think that's quite important to know. So we're going to be measuring and I'm going to be explaining how we work that out. So for this particular pattern, we're going to work in a six bead round and it, that's what made this bracelet. So this bracelet is made with six beads circumference round in a pattern and that is the easiest way to begin because mm. you're going to know which colour. Isn't that colour way absolutely it's gorgeous? Really Sorry, I just had to admire that colour way. It goes beautifully with amethyst as well. Okay, so I've already strung some on here but I'm going to do some more so you can see how I did it. So I need to just go to my last bead just to remember um, the order. So take out your three lots of beads. So I'm not going to do loads on this but just so you can see. So my, my um, sequence was orange, dark purple, light purple. So I'm going to go orange, dark purple, and light purple. I love these purples. And again, you can use all of these colours, one of these colours. Once you get going, you can use a single colour, but it's really as helpful to do three colours. So what I've done is I've popped my thread on my needle and I'm just going to get this out of the way by winding it round. And I'm going to do a six bead circumference pattern and that is just going to be repeated. So I'm going to go one of my first colour, which in this case is orange. I'll try not to get my head in the way. Um, second colour is dark purple. Third colour is lilac. And then start again. Orange, purple, and lilac. So I'll put that down so that you can see that that's my sequence there, my six bead sequence. And then I'm just going to repeat that for the designated length of my bracelet. So let's just do another couple of passes and then I'll talk to you about how we work out how many beads to thread on. So orange, dark purple, light purple, that's three beads, back to the beginning, orange, dark purple, light purple, that's my six bead round. And I would just keep repeating that until I have the length of my piece. Now, the way we work out how long our bead string needs to be is on the circumference of your bracelet. So this is, and you'd probably want to start with six beads as a beginner. This is a six bead circumference, which means that your number of beads have to be six times your desired length of your finished piece. So for example, if you have a, and just let me check if I'm telling you this correctly, yeah. If you want an eight inch bracelet, it would be eight times your circumference, which is six. So eight times six, and obviously then you can work out how long it needs to be, so that's 48. So then I would keep stringing and keep stringing and keep stringing. And it's not an exact science. It doesn't have to be bang on to the millimetre. It's just until I had 48 inches of strung on beads. Okay. If my bead circumference was 10 beads instead of six, and I wanted an eight inch bracelet, it would be 12 times 10, because I have 10 beads, not six. Okay, mm -hmm. And that's how you work it out. But there are a lot of tutorials online that will explain to you how to um, read a pattern and how to work out that length, if, if that wasn't completely clear. That bracelet, um, it's beautiful. Um, I've got the beads. Oh, yeah, go got for the it. Should we yep. bring that to air yep, as well? Do that. There you go. Lovely. Here we go. Just so you can see all of the components. So the, this is that, that kit, isn't it? Yeah, this is the one that I made the bracelet. This is my absolute favourite. It's actually been the most popular as well on pre-order. 23 have already gone. Yeah, so if you love that bracelet, ah, you know where it's going to as well. And as I said before, you can make necklaces, you can make anything you want. You can make a continuous bangle. You don't have to put a clasp on it and roll it over your hand, you know, like a, like a bangle does. Oh, yeah. Um, and you've also got, the benefit here is you've got the lighter colour in the Mayuki thread so that this will be easier for you to see when you're learning. But I would still use a thicker thread and do a few practice rows yeah. first. Yeah, okay. So you obviously you don't have to thread however many um, inches of, of beads onto your practice thread, just, just a few sequences. 
Okay. So this is where your little your little friend can can come in. Your little uh, bobbin friend. Your little bobbin. So you need to obviously move the beads down as as you go along, and it's fine to just wrap them around your your spool when you've only got a few on, like I have. But when you've got your full sort of eighty inches of beads or whatever, it's going to get a bit more difficult. And it's all about muscle memory and practice, and your hands will get used to it. But what I tend to do is open my bobbin. I release, I'm just going to move these seed beads out of my way or I'm going to ping them everywhere. So excuse me a minute while I just get Scoop. rid of those. Goodbye. Scoop. So you want to make sure that you've got a workable length of thread, but not too much because you don't want it to be tangled. And you need to release a few beads that you're going to be working with and the rest you don't need. So what I tend to do is take the rest and just wind the bobbin. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's Tiggy's favourite jam. That is. There we go. She loves so that. So that <laughs> I've got all of that out of the way, and it's it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be bothering me. So all you're focusing on, on watching me do now is um, the thread at the end. So I'm going to take this needle off I don't need this anymore and we're going to start with um, our hook now any crochet starts with a um, slip knot and it's super easy to do now are you going to be sewing this tail in at the end so you want to leave enough of a tail to be able to sew in a knot at the end so I'm, I'm rubbish at estimating length but that's probably about what six seven inches yeah six seven inches so if you leave about that much now a slip knot is very simple and there's loads of different ways to do this you can have a look on youtube and that you'll see 50 different ways that people do it this is just the way i do it so you take your thread into a circle so i'm going to put that down first of all so you can see what i mean so you literally take your thread <laughs> stay there into a circle all right just uh, just crossing it over and then Bring your tail along the back so it's like the peace sign. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then you reach in with your hook and grab that middle bit. I'll show you that again. And it makes a slip knot so that, look, it, it moves. Okay, so I'm going to show you that again. I'll show you that again. I'm just going to, and you can just pull it out if you get it wrong. So making a circle. Yeah. So this end is, that end is attached to your bobbin and this end is just your tail bring your tail around the back so you've got that little peace sign put your hook in and grab the middle and it makes a big loose loop and then you can tighten it now the common mistake here uh, with any crochet is that you make this too tight and you're forcing you're trying so hard to get your hook in and out so make sure you've got a nice loose loop on there that you can move up and down now the whole thing about crochet is how you hold it I can show you how I hold mine um, and you will find a way to hold it and it won't be like this but this is something to, to start off with so what I do is I take it around my little finger and then I kind of, I grip it there and then I take it over my pointy finger and that way I've got hold here and I've got tension here. So that's what I would do. And if you've done the chain stitches before, like with the seafoam necklace or you've used chips, it's just a chain stitch. So for this, we're going to use beads and we're going to use them straight away. So because we've got a six bead pattern, I'm going to drop down my first six beads. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, as you get going, you don't have to keep dropping down six beads, but this will help you not get in a pickle. All right, so you've done your slip knot, and you're going to drop down your first six beads. Now, I'm going to try and do this slowly. Okay, so just let me, bear with me while I get, I hold it so your aim is to wrap it around I'm just going to take my rings off actually because I usually don't wear them when I'm working and the great thing about putting it around your little finger there is I can squeeze it so that yeah. I'm kind of I'm um, controlling the tension that's what I'm trying to say and then over the top of that finger now when I'm crocheting with wool I don't do it that way I take I take it a different way but remember we've got to control these beads so what we need is a little bit of um, tension here and I need to be able to start to maneuver these beads now when you first do it if you've never done it before you'll be all fingers and thumbs but don't worry about that that's that's normal so what we're going to do is a chain stitch for the first six beads so but each bead each chain stitch is going to have a bead in it so I'm going to drop down a bead okay and then I'm going to it's called yarn over 
bring my, I'm going to say yarn because I'm so used to saying that, my thread over the top of my hook and then I'm going to just pull it through uh -huh. the loop and that's all there is to chain stitch and then in that loop is my little bead. Now for this initial six beads you don't want to make them tight you're going to really struggle getting in and we're going to do that for the rest of the, the um, round. So I'm dropping the next one down so this is my dark purple down to my hook. I'm going to yarn over so I'm bringing the yarn over the top of the hook towards me. I'm going to grab it with my hook and pull it through. So let me move those back. So now I've got two yeah. beads captured and I'm just going to do this for the next amount. So that's three. And I'm moving the thread through my fingers as I'm going. Now you're going to get to a point where you get stuck when you first start. Keep practicing, you'll find a way to hold it. It's all muscle memory. And then moving my bead down and then yarning over pulling through the loop and as you can see my stitches are quite big for this first row because I need to be able to see what I'm doing for the next one. Drop my bead down, yarn over, bring that thread towards me, grab the thread, pull it through and this is my last one, drop it down, yarn over, bringing that thread over the top, grab it with the hook and pull it through. So this is what I'm left with. Okay, so that is my one, two, three, my six bead basic foundation row right there. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. Do you want to do, do next to, kit? Yeah, do Let's the next do kit. next kit before we dive any further. So um, we've got the blue colorway, really pretty. And is always a, um, a, a popular, co uh, popular color choice. Yeah, that's lovely. That's the one that I did the other uh, choker necklace. With. Ah, amazing. Love that colour of the thread as well. So again, you're getting eight bobbins, you're getting your, um, your crochet hook, you're getting a different threading material, equally Mayuki though, um, and no tangle. Uh, th thread bobbins, you get your three tubes of your Mayuki in your Caribbean Sea turquoise green and your silver line capri blue ab amazing so you know where it's going to as i said earlier on it's all about the color choice basically your favorite colorway this is a lovely colorway as well isn't, isn't it? it i think that's really summary and again you can take away a color and or add a color and you'll get a completely mm. different look but the important thing is that you have your sort of three different colors just when you're starting out because it makes it a little bit easier well, so look, they could be your three yeah two kits. that's literally the green from the first kit that we brought you earlier on yeah absolutely you could mix all of them up couldn't you beautifully yeah definitely. um back to you then make okay. sure how many do we have of each of these kits sorry ross 80 okay so it's a big quantity but i should imagine they're all 19.99 there's going to be a few people that's going to cross by the the kits as well okay and there's people who have some seed beads in their stash possibly that they could add to these as yeah. well oh I'm, i need to say that these are size eights aren't they yes right so these are size eights you can work with size 15s or size 11s or whatever size but i would start with this is a perfect size to start with because it's more see, manageable you can see them mm, that's always useful. <laughs> okay so i've turned my work now and this is the end with the tail and this is the end attached to the hook Okay, let me move my fingers so that you can see that. And what I need to do now is bring that into a circle and that will be the basis of my pattern. So what I need to do is bring down my next six beads. Okay, so I've taken my next six beads and you can stop doing this when you get into the rhythm. You can just have beads on the go. But for now, this is going to help you to not get in a muddle. So one, two, three, four, five, and we need one more. Six, let me put that down. My little orange one has escaped. There we are. And obviously I'm picking it up and putting it down, but you will get into a rhythm and it will, it will flow. So what I need to do is place this into the very first stitch on my hook so that I am creating a circle. And what you're gonna do is go underneath this bead. So if you have a look at the stitch, there's a couple, there's like a V shape on the back. Can I show this to, to the camera so yeah. we can get really close right you see that v stitch mm. you don't want to go under that you want to find the piece of thread that is exactly got the bead on it so i'm just going to get under and then i'll get out of out of the way so you go under the stitch that is housing 
the bead. Okay. okay, so you've got one thread going through the bead and you've gone through that thread. That's what you're aiming to do. Okay, so I wanted to show you that really close up. So I'm just going to get my hands back into exactly the same, holding it exactly the same as I did before. So I'm dropping a bead down for my second row. So I've prepared my next six beads and I'm drop I know now that which bead to go into because the colour that I drop down is the same colour of the bead that I'm going into. Now that's quite important because it, especially as you go on, it really helps you to know where you are. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go into this bead and it's just under that uh, that I showed you really closely so that now I've got two on my hook. Okay, now what I'm going to do for purposes of demonstration is, can we get into that as closely as possible? Because so you really do need to see this closely. Okay, and then what you need to do, you know that this bead that I've dropped down is the same colour as the bead that I've gone through. And that's going to be the same all the way along. And what you need to do is push this bead to the side of your hook. The common mistake is to start crocheting and that bead is either on top of the hook or it's on the other side. You have to push it to the right and you'll see it as we go. And then bring the colour down and it's literally exactly the same. You yarn over, but this time you've got two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first loop and through the second loop. If you are a crocheter, it's a slip stitch. Okay, so you slip stitch. So now your little circle, and obviously you wouldn't keep stopping and starting like this. You've got your little circle there. You've made it into a circle. See it? Okay, and we're going to move on and do exactly the same. So if you're thinking, okay, it looks like a bit of a bird's nest. What the heck am I doing now? Then you know that you're going to be going into this colour B because this is the next bead on your thread. So I'm going to go into the next colour, making sure that I've gone directly under the thread that the bead's through. I'm going to drop that thread to the side. And it's a bit like Kumihimo. You kind of take that thread over the top, drop down the bead. It's the same colour. Make sure that your um, bead is sitting nicely. You're going to yarn over, pull through one, loop and pull through the next loop. I'm going to do one more and then we can bring another kit, okay, and then we'll move on to the next yeah, yeah. step. So then, again, at the moment it just looks like a mess, but it'll take about five rows and then it will start to take a spiral shape. So I can see that on my um, thread, the next colour is the orange colour. So if I'm a bit worried and thinking, well, which one do I go into next? It's not clear to me. I can see that I'm going through that colour. So the next one, in my round is the orange colour. So I'm going to push that bead over to the side. So push, drop the same colour bead down, yarn over my hook and slip stitch. So through two loops on my hook and I'm coming through both loops. And that is all there is to it for the absolute rest of the um, of the bracelet, but I'm going to show you when it becomes a tube how we, we move on. So this is a good time to bring the next kit. I'm, I'm curious, how fast can you do this? I get into a rhythm, so I can do it quite quickly. That's, it's challenging me to go really slow, because you know what it is? It's muscle memory. Can, 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 uh, I mean, we're going to bring you the last colourway, and I'm going to say, Debbie, go go for it. See how fast you can. Show us, show us your crochet oh, action. Oh, my God, the stress. Sorry, I probably. Here's the kit. Here's the, here's the, in the meantime, well, sorry, uh, have I just thrown you, no, you under the bus? No, I'm joking. I didn't think so. I can imagine. Whoosh, 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 literally, wh I'm, I'm literally uh, not getting this at all. Yeah, tongue out to the side, concentration. <laughs> um, and I'm just imagining you I literally like chopsticks. It goes into a little rhythm. It's all about your um, muscle memory of your hands. Sorry, Roscoe, um, here's the next kit, here it is. 
Here it is, priced on your screen, no surprises there, $19.99, absolutely amazing. And this has got, you can't really see it there, can you? Um, that darker bobbin thread, um, sorry, crochet thread as well. You get your, your crochet hook, you get eight of your bobbins, and you get those three beautiful colours, which are, by the way, all size eight, pebble stone, ooh, that's pretty, um, silver lime peach, and also you've got your lined amethyst AB. Beautiful. Right, ready? Yeah. Are you ready? On your marks. Get set. Oh, get quite eye crochet. <laughs> <laughs> On your mark, get set, crochet. What a big cheater. Right, so. I want to see you in, in, in full swing. For your first five rows, up to about five rows, it will look a bit like this. It's a yeah. bit like a bird's nest, and it's quite hard to see what you're doing. But when you get to about five rows, it will start to look like that okay so there's two benefits here so you've got something to get hold of to hold on to and you can see it far clearer okay so we're going to continue with um this one which is okay. the same but um you'll be able to see what i'm doing far easier so just give me a sec to move these out oh, i'm intrigued how quick do you reckon she can crochet <laughs> i reckon you'll be pretty fast now this is a stitch marker and you can use um a bit of uh wire or anything yeah. it's just so that you can put you can stop the crochet and put it down so then when you get to here it's i'm just doing exactly the same um and i've got all of my bees because i was bringing it with me and i hadn't finished all wrapped around my little bobbin so if you're wondering what your little bobbin was for so when you get to this point you're not dropping down six beads every time because you're in a lovely um rhythm uh, hopefully <laughs> and you don't need to you just keep dropping down as many beads as you can handle so just hold on i'm a bit i'm a bit tangalized oh, i've literally put you in on the spot here haven't i well it's not going to be quick <laughs> so just let me tell you that <sighs> Um, make sure you check out your baskets on these amazing kits. They are still very, very much available. Um, we're just going to squeeze. Look, here we go. Some lovely sterling silver base metal chains. Just while our Debbie is sorting out. I'm just right, unraveling. I'm an unraveling. I've, 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 I've thrown you under the bus, haven't I? <laughs> so you're getting all that lovely chain. Five chains, five different designs. All diamond cut. In your silver plated. So you have got the precious metal plating. Shout when you're ready. I'm ready. She's ready. She's ready. We'll drop that price for you. They're all, what, 18 inches in their size? Oh, look at that. I mean, the four pounds. Four pounds per beautiful silver plated chain. Not stopping there, though. We will go even lower. Don't go yet. Just Don't. you wait. Don't Just go. you wait. Don't go. Yes? Hang on. Okay. No? Oh, right. So now I've got a tube. So I'm just going to drop my bead down. I'm doing exactly the same. Drop the bead, yarn over and pull through both of my um, loops. And that's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to have to cut this short because I need to show you to finish. Yeah. So we're going to go for as long. And we talked about length at the beginning of how long it needs to be for as long as you need. And then when you're finished, you're going to need to do a couple of rows without any beads. And this will just pull together your um, piece. So you just go under the bead as we've been doing push it to the side, but you haven't got a bead to drop down. So you're just yarning over and pulling through both hooks. And you will just keep doing that all the way around until you've pulled in your piece. And you'll find that it'll start to, you'll get a, just a thread string of crochet. And if we have a look at this end, it will be pulled in and then you'll be left with a tail. So you can then just pop this tail onto a needle and just sew it through and tie some little knots. And then when it comes to actually popping your, your ends on, there are so many different ends that you can use. You could use an eye pin, you could use wire. What I did was I sewed my ends in and I'm just going super quick now because I know we're running out of time. And I popped in some wire where I could get it in or you could do it with an eye pin and then made 
a loop, a wrap loop. I'm not going to show you how to make a wrap loop. You know how to do that. So then you've got a wrap loop attached to the end of your crochet. So you're ready then to pop on anything you want as an end cap. And I've just got some here to show you things you could use. That's a good idea. The lucite flowers um, you can use. You could use bead caps. This is all JM. Uh, stuff. You can use the actual Kumihimo cap that you can glue in. So you wouldn't mm. need to put your wire through the end as an anchor point and then put your bead cap on. You could just take your end. So imagine we've, we've trimmed off all our ends here and we could just literally glue that in with some jewellery glue, just like you do with Kumihimo or, or anything else. So there's lots of ways to finish it. It. So I've given you the very basics there, but if you go onto YouTube, you will see all that slower and for longer, and you're looking for the slip stitch bead crochet tutorial. You want to start with that, and then you can work your way up to the single crochet bead tutorial, which you'd usually do if you use more than 10, 12 beads in a round, but we're using six. So slip stitch, bead crochet, perfect. I love them. If you need any help, just shout Jam Guest Designer Debbie Kershaw. Oh, bless you. Bless <laughs> you. I bet you're literally like a wizard. Do, 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 do. Literally like a wizard. And just get, I, can, I can see why so many people do get into... It's very crochet. repetitive. You just keep doing it and keep doing it. You're going to get lost at, to begin with and, and redo it. Just pull it out and start again a few times. And then you'll go, oh, yeah. I guess I would like if you're learning knitting. It's like tap dancing. Like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. I mean, I've never, I've never, that's never clicked. Never, ever clicked. Oh, pardon the pun. Um, absolutely unbelievable. I love these. And of course, the photographs will be uploaded to our Facebook page. Yeah. Um, we'll just bring the graphics to your screen because the last few chances of the sim silver um, opalized uh, um, ammonite is on your screens right now. I I'm all over those. I think, I think Little and will absolutely love that. Yeah, definitely. Just very cool, aren't they? Really cool, cool, fascinating history. I've really enjoyed today. Hasn't it been? We've had amazing things today. Really, the kits, everything, the demonstrations, yeah. the deal of the day, the showcases, the deals. Honestly, I think it's been absolutely fabulous. So, it really has. Um, thank you so much. When are you back with us? Do you know? Yeah, not this weekend. The weekend after on the Saturday. Oh, look, that might be with me. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, oh, not us. Well, thank you so much, my darling. <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks for having um, me. I'll see you now on Saturday. I'm not here on Friday. Um, so, yeah, um, places to be, but have a wonderful couple of days. Make sure you do check out the website if you've just tuned in because we've still got amazing deals locked and loaded on there. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. And thank you to our lovely Debbie Kershaw once again. Oh, we I'll love you. I'll see you soon. Come and find me if you need help.